Chad, how's it going? I'm going to stream. Okay, I'm always late. I need to log in. It's Uber's time. And I'm not prepared. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, we had two sub gifts from Blizzard87. Thank you so much. And Hell's Nemesis also has a sub earlier. I think that's before the stream. Right here, thank you. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Ready for the Seneschal buffs today? Later? Okay, I need to see how many mats do we have. Almost nothing. Yo, no, true Pelican, thank you. Hello Pattern, hello Fetty, hello Harley, Bane, hello user 42107, hello Seba, Grognar. Ready, okay. Hello Fancy Chat, and Tomato and Chris Mate. Okay, we're doing some uh, Ubers now, guys. Vulnerable close berserking. I think that should be really good, actually, right? For like a rent build. Should I get this? Do I care enough about rent? I think so. Hey, J. Nero. Do I like the season? Yeah, I like it a lot. I have so many mats. Just checking right now. I have 50 million hearts, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did I ask you, how do I have so much? Kind of chestnut here. Oh, we can go down down really quick. Living vicariously through me. Nice. <laughs> Got a lot of things for me. I'm willing for a round of layoffs at the company. Oh, shit. Wait, are you affected by it as well, or what? Oh, that sucks either way, I guess. And there's like lots of layoffs happening, it seems, right now. I also saw the, the Microsoft Blizzard thing. 1900 people or something, it's pretty crazy.
They have farmed all night, they have 25 durias soon. Are you still up, Solnalika? What the, what the hell? I don't know, do I sleep? I do sleep, I am. I slept like 6 hours today or so. Okay, Chronix is here. Where's the Cora? No, Kronis killed too much. The Kratos, I remember, Sonica. I want to know how to make the barb less squishy. Any quick advice? Uh, number one, always keep your resists. And number two, always keep your armor. So you want to get 70, 70, 70 everywhere resists. And then armor, depending on the level of monsters you're fighting. Usually you want to end up somewhere between like 10 to 13k. To go to high tiers. Oh, that's a pretty good glove. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a sign. I think I'm gonna try Polarized Druid. How is it holding? Polarized Druid is really good. Dude, what are these gloves? Six and a half crit, eight attack speed. Overpower, three ranks to Huda, okay. Login, I guess. Hello, Mason Rod. Do you feel vaults overtuned? Start playing Slark and he's by 9k armor and, and, and 70 rest. You still get one shot from time to time and, 90, and 75. I'm not sure what one shots you are. Maybe you're standing in like on death explorers and some like fire enchanted or whatever. That could happen, but if you have armor cap, rest cap, you should not get anywhere close to getting one shot by anything really in these tiers. Unless you have like really no damage reduction, but I mean you have... You have a lot of damage reduction on Sork. You have like burning damage reduction on the burning instinct board. You have uh, like territorial, for example, for close damage reduction. Like just from the paragons already get so much, I think, on a Sork. Sorks are pretty tanky usually. I go drill time guys. I'm on. Do you want to do rota before players marvels before drill? Uh I'll be doing drill now a little bit first of all. And then I have to uh, like start converting some of my mats. I have like so many, uh, especially Varsha mats. Gonna do a bit of hell tides as well. And yeah, I will need some time to get ready <laughs> so I guess so. It'll take a bit. I'm just getting started here. Uh, how many of these cores do I have?
Stone, stone, ink, copper, cinders. Who's there? Is anyone there? I think on this. Yeah. Are there any particular regulars that I would say are stable for barb? Uh, good question. I guess territorial. Territorial and undaunted always work basically. They give you damage reduction. It's kind of nice. Exploit is also like very used very often. Ire, yeah, Ire is like the most important, I guess, because every single build runs Berserking, every single build runs Carnage. What is it called? Blood Rage, sorry, Carnage is the other one. Okay, let's do this. Hey, fake blood. Thanks for the mouse. this go? So we do a um, prediction again, guys. I think we have 30 durials now. Oh, there's some big rents there. Yeah. Damn, son. <laughs> okay. Okay, Uber drop in around 30 runs, guys. Yes or no? Let's go. Predictions up. Why is my two hander fully upgraded? Uh, because I figured I would replace it with better stats. It has core skill damage, that should be close. The Berserking is not really great, the strength is not really great. I think I have a better one somewhere, so I just never upgraded it. Not that it really mattered, to be honest. Because it's the barb. Oh, give me needs. Okay. I'm sorting. Why is no one resetting? <laughs> Thanks, John Dawson. The mount was some BlizzCon. I think I can still buy it. State of Rogue. Really good. Thanks, Mo, by the way. Okay, let me scroll up a bit. The gear is good, we had the same problems in Nord 90 plus before with Sork. Yeah, I mean, 90 plus is like not that easy, right? I mean, if you want to do like these high tier 9 dungeons, you need a pretty good setup. And you need to have some damage reductions. Like, okay, okay, you need to have high armor, like, you know, 12, 13k for 90 plus. And uh, you want to have a capture resistances, and you still want to have like you know a defensive aspect or two, or like a defensive cliff or two or three, or you know some things on the paragon boards. You want to have like a flame shield, for example, and that's how you survive. I mean, you can't just go in and just tank everything. And the vaults actually have a lot of like monsters. You know, there's like a lot of stuff going on. So many tusk comes. Yeah, if you're using Raymond, of course you're gonna be squishy. <laughs> Raymond is like the opposite of what you want if you wanna be tanky. Why did I move to East Europe? Uh, because my fiance is from Greece. So I moved there for a little bit, and now we're here because we had shit internet, and I didn't want to have shit internet when Diablo 4 came out. Uh, 
Yeah, Greece is great. No, I'm in Bulgaria right now, but we're going back to Greece at some point. Internet has arrived. The future is here. I love it. No, glad I have a jelly door. Oh, I'm ending fury. <laughs> it moves because you can't play video games. <laughs> I mean, just playing was fine, but you know, with the streaming and all, it was, um, like, I was streaming in 720p for, like, you know, I don't know, one and a half years or something, when I was in Greece, and I, my YouTube uploads were really slow, and, you know, it's just, like, when, I, when you want to release, like, you know, three videos a day, or more in some cases, you know, like, during the early D4 days, I was doing a lot of stuff on YouTube, and I was streaming all day, and, you know, like, a, a typical YouTube upload, I had to wait, like, an hour or so to even do anything, right? So, I, I just I just lost so much time. I could have like streamed or do other stuff, and I just couldn't because the internet was so slow. And I had to stream in 720p and all that. So, I could definitely not do like double stream with YouTube and Twitch with the old internet. Check my transmog redeem. Oh shit. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Wait, what do you want to show? Ask it, Inka. Yo, Breezy, sure, thank you. Okay, this is awesome, carry on. That goes into the ice cream fund for next time at the beach, I guess. That's a shitty way to lose your hardcore character, initially, Anders. Unlucky. A logic, Luna event, buffing shrines, do you think there will be any interesting interactions at Varian? I mean, it just seems like the shrines are stronger, not longer or something, so what inter interesting interactions? I mean, are Varian is going to be better when shrines are better? That's basically it, I think. If you really need something, the points are gone. Yeah, you, you earn points and you spend them. So, Pascodinka, do you have something to show or what? Today's patch, yes. Should be in like four hours. It's kind of funny when he burrows and then just dies on the ground. There's a patch notes, yeah. Make sure my patch notes. What's the new patch? We're gonna make patch ruins account wide. Yeah, I don't think so. There's buffing the pets a little bit, the nerfing suppressor and vampiric, and lots of bug fixes. They're also fixing starless skies now to work with channel skills, so that's kinda nice for some builds, I guess. Grats, oh, we? No 
Oh, is that enough? Let's see. <laughs> it's not. It was like 1%. Need one more swing. Okay, how's the prediction looking, by the way? 53% say yes, 47% say no. I see people are on Copium again. So by the way, we have like over 80 runs now this season. And no one in this party has found an Uber. It's actually insane. It's actually insane, man. <laughs> and we've always been doing these runs together. Like, you know, together we have like, you know, 300 runs or something. So we should have gotten six Ubers. <laughs> Yo, OG Muffin. Thanks for two subs, man. Found a Shaco and Grandfather in 50 runs. What do you do now? Oh, well, now you found a Starless, guys. Good luck. Well, I guess for Hoda Barb or so, Starless is somewhat optional. You may not even run it necessarily. If you run Red Fever and stuff. But yeah, I guess you might not have to farm more Durials necessarily. Eh? At least. To do was also go to level 10. I mean, the stones? No, you only need to find them once. We are runs, I need to do it too. I must be patient. You must be patient, yeah. I mean, you have like a realistic hope of getting the Ubers you want between like 300 to 500 runs, I would say. And if you get unlucky more. So I'm somewhere like 20% there now or so. Fuck. That is very long. Do I ever play with viewers? Uh, occasionally, but I mean, most of the time I'm just like, you know, doing my thing, testing builds, leveling my characters, and it's not really too much opportunity, I guess, to play with viewers. Unless I specifically do something with viewers or something. Or like, you know, okay, boss fights, this stuff here, sure, I can do that. But also, I'm on hardcore, and well, most people are not, so. That's another problem there. Finding four out of four weapons with two uber grinds. Nah, it's pretty easy though this season. With 925 loot guaranteed and vaults, you get a you know one and a half inventories full of loot per vault. It's uh pretty nutty, to be honest. What's the best elixir to use in this build? Uh, cruelty or assault, I guess. Let's say. Kind of big ring. Max life, almost max resource. This damage. I wonder if this is all vulnerable and this is like a rendering. He has crit. Crit one lucky hit resource. Interesting, he's running gushing wounds. Okay. I 
My chat window just closed in game while I was typing because my character was knocked back. What the hell? I had to type it again. <laughs> I was just typing to Condor so quick. So it's actually not a good ring, yeah. You know, it has the max resource and stuff. I've Yeah, 14k armor and all resistance max and 9 dungeon plus still one shot zero skill issue. I mean, it could be skill issue, but I mean, if you go with 90 plus, you know, it's like some of the hardest content in the game right now. You need to have defenses more than just the basics, you know? Like, armor and res is just the basics. And then you also want some defensive aspects, you know? You want like 20% damage reduction from the aspect here, maybe like a defensive glyph, 10% damage reduction there, maybe some stuff on the paragons. I don't know what class you're playing. So, uh, you know, you want to at least stack like maybe two, three, four sources of damage reduction in addition to all res and armor. And then suddenly you take like, you know, only half the damage or something. Let's take a bit of life as well. I mean, if you don't have any life, if you have like, you know, 10k life or something, then yeah, you're gonna get one tapped. You want to get into D3? How do you start? I say, start here. Good luck. I wonder who's going to get the first Uber drop here in this party. And when. <laughs> We should get a movement speed elixir or shrine. I mean, all shrines give you 35% movement speeds when you click them, so that's kind of cool about them. So you all feel good no matter what. But your yeah, movement speed elixir is like surprisingly missing from the game. I think that would be very valuable. And the cute guys only. I want a quick overview of the outfit today. Well, I'm on Team Red. I'm the red hoodie guy. You know, that's the blue hoodie guy, and I'm the red hoodie guy. So. I can shine the glyph for the rest cap increase. So fire chance you can really take the fire explosions. Yeah, you get like plus five percent, right? So we have two fire enchants, you get eighty percent. I think you also have potent warding that gives you even more, right? You can like eighty three or something, so that basically gives you like almost half damage reduction for a fire element. It's not bad. The fire is definitely the most dangerous element in the game, I think. Yeah, 83, exactly. And you need to come on the rogue as well to get uh, scoundrel's letters. Maybe you should do a few runs on the rogue. I want to try scoundrel's letters today and see how it goes. I'm farming Grandfather, Shaco, Starless guys. I guess Doombringer doesn't really matter for Gauntlets. We're not gonna run Doombringer and Gauntlet builds, I suppose. Oh, no, Melted Heart. But yeah, I need those free Ubers.
Need Shaco. Good luck. So we've done eight or twelve runs now. So I try Uber from Barb yet. Ah, it will be very easy. You have enough Hugo Speed to just, like dodge the skulls, you even have enough toughness to just tank a skull if you want. And should be that hard. That's a very high brawler aspect. Precious stones to catch the light. Okay, let's do those four runs and Melok on the rogue. It's the best way to farm XP, 78 to 100. You can currently run T tier 50. Uh, you want to farm dungeons, 44 tiers below a character level. What build are you doing, Toto? If you're going to that build. We need a lot of HP, skulls in phase, phase 2, almost one tap. Yeah, I mean, almost, it's almost. And then you press Challenging Shout. If Challenging Shout up, you can, you know, tank a skull and just run through them. I guess it should work on Barb pretty easily. You can also do the barrier thing from your pet that has like this. Protect, yeah, 50%. Actually, wait a minute, if I slot this in. Yeah, 125% of my maximum life is barrier. <laughs> wait a minute. It doesn't even work. It's kind of funny, actually. You can only have 100%. I wonder if it actually does anything more than that. What does it mean from dungeons 44 below a character level? Dungeons have tiers, it's like greater rifts. Yeah, this one says tier 90, so this will have monsters level 134. Sorry, it has monsters level 144. And you want to farm monsters that are 10 levels above you. So, the monsters are plus 54, and you want to farm plus 44. Or minus 44, rather, from this year. I was just asking what build you're doing, Dodo. Since the red hoodie guy and the blue hoodie guy can be the green hoodie guy. Ah, uh, maybe? Just uh, start up the stream and see how it goes. There's also the Maxwell hoodies, guys. They're pretty cool. You can purchase them from the Maxwell store. I like mine a lot. Panaf is still the most dominant. What do you think of TB or Flurry RF? TB is fine, but you definitely notice the lack of damage for like high tiers and bosses a bit. Where Rapid Fire just destroys them. Also, Barrage is really powerful right now. I've played Barrage lately. Barrage is nice. Um, the melee builds are just like not scaling as well as the range builds. But that being said, I just recorded a huge guide for Twisting Blades. That might go live later tonight, and also updated the maximum guide again, like some tweaks, and a few days ago did like a, a pretty big update on Tracing Blades, so that's in a pretty good spot now, actually. 
Yep, it's actually nice, yeah. Full attack speeds. Decent berserking. Make a picture of me and print on a hoodie. That's an event. Oh shit. Who do you see on a hoodie? That would sell well, I guess, right? So then there is our Temus Ra, I'm quitting. F. Are you doing it solo, Karaza? If you do it in a party, it's not that bad. I mean, 10, 20 runs or so should give you a really good chance of getting any of the Uber, uh, any of the uh, uniques without the Ubers. I do not have Granatala. I think it was 12 runs now, or 16. So we have some somewhere halfway done. Took 90 dollars a season against free Ubers. Ah, you were very lucky there. No, that was a that was only a sword and only one item. If there's an Uber, it's always two items, so this is an Azure Wrath. Oh shit. That's a lot of stuff in my inventory. Yeah, I can't really contribute on a fight anyway, I suppose. Let's just do this. Let me save it for later. I don't think we really care about uh, the consumable space right now, right? Just in blades, no base is gonna be crazy. Yeah, I want to try to get um, Scoundrel's letters right now. I just want to see what happens if I do it. Probably not really gonna be that great, but um, let's do it. Uh, can we do like damage reduction on this thing? I think so. First drops a chest, but it's soul brand. F. What's rogue meta right now? Ah, pen F, barrage, to be. Anonymous gifter, thank you. Literally shoot traps. Yeah, with Penshot, that will be funny. I have high enough attack speed. I guess Twisting Blades is like easier to get a lot of attack speed. 
Like you get inner sight, you get accelerating, you get Asheras. And just like spam, 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 spam doing inner sight. Could be interesting. I wonder how that will work. Maybe it's gonna be fine actually with a lot of attack speed. Like attack speed even on the two handed or something. Thanks for two subs. No damage here. Ah, okay. Can the rogue up to 100, which one should I dedicate? So one shotting. You can do both relatively easily. I mean, they're both good farmers, they're both good one shotters. Six percent gods there. <laughs> Rogue build experience also the nation amount for a grenade build. Oh no. I'm not sure if we wanna go that deep. I don't think there's really much hope for any grenade stuff, if you ask me. The best druid bossing is Nader. It probably is. Or polarize. You can do some, you know, big all power crit combos with like 50 million on a pop of God Slayer and stuff. It's not bad. That's my armor. 10.3, okay. Just spam it. Oh, wait. The one item I don't really care about, but okay. <laughs> now I'm the rogue, man. I go in the rogue, it's like three runs, and I get one. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, the curse is broken, guys. After almost 100 runs, holy shit. Well, one down. Thanks, Mark. Okay, prediction is uh, Believer's win, apparently, today. Pretty well. Yeah, thank you. I guess we can use it on a barb, actually. I'm not sure if I want to put it on a rogue, but on barb, it's going to be like Omega tanky. Might do that, actually. Can easily give up an aspect. Even the rogue actually might do it for high tiers, we'll see. They actually got an like, indirect buff this patch, right? Because they buffed maximum life. Like it scales with your life bonuses now. I'm gonna try Stardust. Yeah, Stardust is gonna be huge. Chest armor. Okay, got scum roll. And a good roll too, 76%. So did only four runs, that was it, right? That's what I actually wanted here. <laughs> That's okay, roll. Put a thing in a stash. Yeah, 
We could also go on the Druid for a bit, maybe. And try to get a Tempest. Let's do it. We level 88. Should be fine. Hey, dudes. I'm trying to make a Pain Gorge or Basic Attack Frenzy build. Uh, I have no intentions of doing that. But uh, maybe I'm going to try some stuff with Pain Gorges, but I will probably do an Arc Lash or Stormclaw with it. Like, Frenzy uh, just doesn't really do much damage, I think. Any idea? Average crit cap power of the whole barb. That's like 300 million. It would be funny if I could have Arion. I would definitely try it if I get it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, I don't have armor as well as. Uh, this isn't pretty juggernaut, I guess. I'm gonna be chilling. Nah, this 1000 barrier is not really cutting it at this point. Try to get a tempo star real quick. Oh, we got it. Easy. <laughs> First try. <laughs> okay, relogging again. Never mind. <laughs> okay. We got what you wanted. First try. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. Don't ruin all that work. <laughs> Sorry, Coraza. <laughs> well, I have a Tempest one now. I guess they're gonna respect to Lightning Storm soon and try that. But I have so much fun with Tempest Light, man. I might take Tempest Light to level 100 at least. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna just like try some higher tiers, see a bit how it feels, do some stuff, and then we're gonna leave it there. But I still need to make a planner and stuff. But yeah, first try Tempest War is kinda cool. Alright. So who here has tried to get Tempest Raw unsuccessfully this season so far? And how many runs have you done? Or how many did you do until you got it? Twenty runs to get one Tempest run. Tempest Raw, seventeen runs, ten. We got it from Nightmare Wars, so not bad. I seem to find Beast in the Ice I just realized on my druid. I don't have the gloves yet. But I guess it shouldn't be too hard. Level 80 while loading Druid on your first character. Oh, that works. First thing, so you see a helmet drop, but it's a gold slayer crown. Yeah. Oh, 
Are we salvaging? I think so, I'm like a bit desynced. One hour runs, no Ubers. Yeah, for me it was like around 90-ish now, I think. We like at around 100 now. These fall even good. Uh, it's good to one shot durials. I've been trying to make it good for other purposes, and it's kind of tough, to be fair. It's just like, you know, combo points just like are so supreme already, and Beastle Boots benefits combo points even more, basically. I tried to make like a Death Trap build that runs it. It kind of works. It's hard. You see how you start guys with Bis Barrage Plan, is it good with column points? Yeah, with high enough attack speed you can easily keep up the buff. But um, it's mostly good, uh, good for like the higher end content, I guess. Or like if you're fighting bosses, right? And the thing is, if you don't fight bosses, then everything just dies anyway. Like, even if you don't stack it, you get at least a 10% damage buff. So it's already like, roughly like half an offensive aspect. And if you do a second combo, it's like the same. And if you do a third one, it's breaks even, and if you do a fourth one, you have a bonus. So, it's kind of nice to have starters anyway, and it also helps with the res. Okay, Condos is BRB. Which sounds like Whisper Time. Does the hell Starfall Corona drops from Helltide Helm Chests? Mm, no. The Helltide Chests are completely random when they drop your nicks. Starfall, you should get it from Beast in the Ice. That's the real way to acquire them. Stars is based on any spender. Yeah, I mean, for common point builds, you can definitely argue not to run Starless. Uh, I think, for example, in like the Uber variant of like Pen RNF, I didn't actually put Starless. Or, I mean, at least you can not play it if you want to. Because, uh. You have the problem that you just, you know, lose the stack. Like, if you don't attack regularly, you're just gonna lose the stack. Where's the guy? Badu. Rogue should get an Uber crossbow. And they have not made any class specific Ubers yet. I wonder if they will. I think they could, like long term. Oh, what the fuck? Why am I here? Yeah, I think long term, if they like actually add a lot of Uber uniques and they add like more ways of farming those Uber uniques. I think it would make sense to also make class specific ones at some point. On the other hand, you know, you're gonna lock like, you know, specific builds behind those Uber Unique drops that, you know, most people will never get. So, okay, if the, I mean, we have a lot of builds to play with, right? It would be okay to make that at some point. As like, you know, build option 15 and build option 20 on a certain class or something. Tamarasaur is not an uber unique, no. It's just like the most sought after item ever. And well, before season 2 we didn't have any way of farming it directly. You know, if Gone is season only or also eternal. They have not said that. I would think it's also eternal. But maybe not. Here 
is done. Ja, aber das. Das is said, they don't want us to use only uniques, but we're getting there. I mean, we'll see how it will be with the itemization we work next patch. I think that's just definitely going to put a lot more power into normal items instead of Uber, uh, instead of uniques. But yeah, I also don't really like like how many uniques you're actually wearing on so many builds. I think they just made uniques too good in general already. And it's not, it's fun, it's cool that there's like some strong uniques and you're looking forward to to grind and stuff, but. Ultimately, I think it would be better if there was like, you know, more like the PoE system where you have like rare items that, you know, just like can roll so crazy or can like craft them in like crazy ways and stuff, right? But most builds just mostly run rares and maybe like a few kind of like special uniques that actually like change a build or something. No, thanks for just us, by the way. And I think especially the build specific uniques have become too mandatory. Oh! Shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Two handed sword. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Today is the day, man. Okay, that's actually a big drop. Finally. I guess I can go back on the rogue. <laughs> oh, man. Back to the rogue it is, guys. <laughs> Oof. I need a shaka. Doombringer and grandfather, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. It's been like 15 minutes since the Doombringer drop. I got a Temper Throw first try. And now this, man. Okay. Good thing my good thing I got my rogue high enough now. Level 90 is okay to just chill the end. <laughs> okay, pop a pot. My last pot. Finally, man, we're getting something. I mean, start a sky still, actually. I forgot. We also need starless, but okay. We're getting there. Alright, so I'm waiting on a rogue now because I can't get Grandfather here. It's the same pool as the bar without the Grandfather. So that's why I'm doing this. You do not have tables equipped? Oh, I do. The feeling of getting Grandfather is amazing. Yeah, it's... It's like the only two sword I can drop, right? It's not like... It's not like there's anything else, right? You have a Shako, okay, there's like seven different helms on this boss. There's an Azure Wrath on the Barb, all that stuff, right? And here, you just get it, man. Two in a sword, you know you got it. That's good, man. How many runs? Um, the Doombringer was like... 80, 85 maybe, 90? And uh, grandfather was like hundred now or so. We're like we're like slightly over hundred, I think, at this point. 
So it's kind of like averaging out finally. Like usually it's one in fifty for an Uber, and we just had like an insane unlucky streak, and no one got anything. This entire party, no one got anything. In all these runs, actually crazy. So I'm getting them now. When I sword on rogues, only doom. Yes, we can get a doom, but he can't get a grandfather. So, Rogue is a good class to farm this with, because it has the smallest pool. And then 16 got Selig and Starless and last 10 runs. Yeah, I don't really need Selig. I think Selig is somewhat useless in this season. But like high end content. But we'll see. I will definitely try the new Selig if I get it. True will be better, no grandfather, no doom, but it has Arvarian. Ah, true, I guess. Since I have Doom, I guess I could do it on Druid. Is there any other item I want on a Rogue? Hello. Maybe I will do it on Druid now, you're right. And I could get Arvarian. A backup Doom. No, I don't need a backup Doom, it's fine. Like, I'm not gonna risk any of those Ubers. Like, if I don't have a backup, I'm not gonna risk any of them. I'm not gonna touch them until the gauntlet. It's fine. So, it's all good. Don't need a backup. But yeah, I guess I should go on the... Druid. It's the same number of items, right? Yeah, I think Barb and Necro have more than the rest. Because they have Doomringer and Grandfather, both of them. Wait, and both these items are the ones I got. Okay, Dakora has three runs left. Let's just say we don't get another Doombringer in those three runs, right? So, it's fine. What build would I play for Sorek? Uh, I want to do a Fireball Meteor. Should see amulet for rogue is, is perfect. What is your amulet? Can you show my talents when you have a sec? On this build? Uh this is not exactly what I was uh, I was expecting everything of this, there's no plan for this. And uh you're gonna you're gonna see it later. Once I am Back to a solo. What's the tankiest build in season 3? Is it Hoda? What is unkillable early before 100? Uh, anything from Barb is basically unkillable, I'd say. So yeah, Hoda is a good choice. Barbs don't really die in this game. That's a pretty good sword. And we actually need one, right? <laughs> Wait. We have this. Okay. I remember yesterday I was doing these twisting blade runs with my level six hundred uh, item power six hundred sword. class have I had the most fun with this season? Rogue. Barbara, Shaco, Doom, GF is like 50k plus HP now. Yeah, it's just insane. You get like, I don't know, almost 6,000 flat life from the two items, and then you get a 40% multiplier on the Doomringer. 
Now it gets ridiculous. Oh, I'm back. Thanks for the suckers. That's a free Uber, so it should be ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. I think Doombringer in general is maybe too much of a defensive item. I think they should rework Doombringer to be a bit more offensive and a bit less defensive. Because, okay, while it's nice that it can make defensive choices, it like very easily trivializes any kind of like, you know, like incoming damage challenge, right? Like if there's like a certain like HP check or something on a boss, let's say Lilith, like, at some point, he's going to get to the point where he's just, like, ignore everything. Because Doomringer is so powerful, and it's on an offensive slot out of all things, you know? You don't even, you don't even you know, change one of your defensive options to another one. And Mid Hard kind of has the same problem. Like, you cut that thing, and it's just, like, a tank. And this is maybe a bit too much. But okay. May the light keep you. Okay, we got our Scarus letter, so we're gonna use that later. Uh, this here. If this in case I need it. Maxwell has hold at 3 out of 5, good defense. Is that wrong? Our builds like Necro Bone Spirit actually tankier. I mean... It's a bit up to the discretion of the guide writer to decide, you know, how tanky is a certain build, or how, you know, good at bossing is it, or whatever. We done? I think we're done, guys. So if it's S3 out of 5 defense, I mean, you can always make a build more defensive if you want to. And Hoda is powerful enough to one-shot everything in the game. It can easily include more defense at the cost of damage if you want to. <laughs> okay, I think this was uh, all the Durials. Now I have a problem called triple rest on chest. And I actually want to <laughs> wear Scarlet's letters. And well, we have, okay, wait a minute. We have rest, rest, cold, lightning, poison, fire, lightning, cold. Yikes, okay. So I guess the strategy equips Scarlet's letters. And try to fix it here. Yo, Malavan, thanks for sub. You'll be able to find a guide for an ideal rotation on Hoda Charge. Now you press Charge, and if something lives, you press Hoda. I mean, that's it. That's not really much to it. One class the most fun right now. Yes. Woo, actually. Uh, we need an ink. Okay, 
Okay. I'll see if we make some uh, pots. I think I can get another one. Okay, guys, we're done with the Uber, so we're gonna go back to experiments now. Dude, I have a lot of pale tanks on me. Where did that come from? 300. What did I farm? Was this stuff from like hell tides and stuff? Last time we could barely craft the inventory's elixirs, but here we are. Game would be better if they just nerfed barbs into being less of a god for once. Yeah, I mean, that will happen. Nerf all power a bit, nerf banish all talisman on top of that, nerf charge again. Nerf holder a bit to scale less of fury, I think. If you do all these things, we yeah, actually have a pretty nice meta. All right, let's set some sockets on this thing. So where did we leave off last night? So we were doing some really weird experiments, guys. So this is like an inner side death trap build. Actually, I actually wanted to do this here still, right? I'm gonna try to scour this ladder a little bit, first of all. Let's try this. How's my resist? Manageable, I guess. Okay. We don't have resistant assailants on this. We only have frostbitten, so that kind of sucks. Are your hands clean? Look, but don't touch. That came about nicely. It's two diamonds. Amethyst. And I guess we go back to Eaglehorn instead of Skyhunter, actually, yeah. Hakarat's blessing on that one. What else do you have? We have a frostbit in here, actually, that we can use. So we can extract this. You can put it on a glove. Create, create maximum energy, yeah. Okay. Take all the stuff again in the inventory. I think I also wanted to do Akshia's Kanja yesterday, if I remember correctly. With Manglers. Peaceful. Skyhunter. We could also put a frost button on the go on the boots instead of ghost walker, that's actually a thing. Good business 
Let's do this. Okay, that thing. Let's see Pokemon 1.0 launch. Oh, yeah. How about you play on Sword from 80 to 100? I mean, at 80, you have like access to basically every build. Blizzard is like the overall best, I think, right now. That's so five upgrades. That's actually decent. Scarlet letters. Damage reduction good. Actually, this damage reduction rolls really high. The damage affected by trap skills. Trap skill damage. Dodge chance. Maybe it's alright. So now we also have to get Caltrops in there somehow. One, two. I already only have two points in haste, actually. I don't really want to take more. You could actually get rid of the Mangler stuff. I think that might be a strat. This is like six, five points, yeah. And then we can get one there and, and start a step again. This might actually be the tech. We don't daze. Do this. Do this. And we can do consuming shadows. And then we put frostbit in here. Now the thing is if I all read this helm. I will have a problem because I need another frost bitten, I guess. Could try to gamble for one. I do only level 90. And I want to gamble amulets mostly. Okay, let's see first of all how this works before we do anything. Let's start with this. Hi, Johan. Is there any place for TBRF builds? Yeah, playing RF without precision is kind of shit. I think. I think it's better to just like invest into like actual TB damage. Like precision has become way too powerful, especially with corn points. And. Uh, they don't really want to go about it, so... Casting a course gonna spawn... Wait. I just cast like five times and got nothing. What the fuck? Nah, uh, without resistance to Salem, this is gonna suck. Does it only work if I actually hit something? Look. Seems like it only works when I hit something. Interesting. Don't have an XP pot. Okay, I've had three inner side procs and I've not seen a single trap so far. That's kind of cool. How does that work? It has a random death trap now. I think you actually have to hit something. I think it's not on cast, it's on hit, it seems. I'm not showing anything, you need vaults for this. Yeah, let's try vaults. It's gonna finish this here. Yeah? But yeah, I should do the resistance assailant. I don't want to. 
Although we could also try the same tech on... Yeah, we can we can try it actually. On TB as well. TB also have a lot more attack speeds. If you do it. It's actually good home. Hold up. Almost there. And with position actually we need exposure. We also we don't have the death trap right now. So fuck. It's getting kinda tight here with these points. I guess we remove this. Will you play as Bill Vandario, the Rominga, the Uber Ring? Uh, no Vandario and no Doombringer, I think. Like, you're already struggling enough to fit in the aspects. I mean, maybe you can try to get a Shaco in there, but yeah. Like, you also need to get the armor somehow. I mean, Scoundrels Letters effectively has to go, I think. Scoundrels Letters is just like... I don't think it's going to be good enough. I just want to try a little bit if I can do something with this item. But the Scoundrels Letters is definitely a problem. If I could have more armor... If I had like an armor roll and then here an armor roll... It might be okay. Get side of all of Cinders. 49. That has... 103 monsters. Okay, so this is relatively high. Let's go. We got close to 20 million from a legendary Chaos Cash. Yeah, I think Chaos pays extra and Legendary also pays extra. I'm gonna get a billion gold without trading. Ah, I just do Whispers. I mean, I'm farming Duriel every day, <laughs> like, every day I do like, you know, 5, 10 Duriel rota or something, so I just stack up Whispers. Yeah, I'm not sure about this here. I don't have beast fall boots right now, right? Yeah. So I know beast fall boots here, which is spam. Kinda works, I guess. We have eagle horn. My movement key is mouse rate up and down and WSD. Seems to actually kind of work reasonably well. Maybe I should just not run the frost button at all in this setup. But it's more damage as well. It's kind of nice. Can't put it on the boots or move the mangler. I should remove the mangler. I think that the whole day stuff is kind of like outdated now. Put Frostbitten on the gloves. Put the shadow aspect on the helm. Actually, it kind of works. But I don't think Scarlet's Letters is really doing much. I think I could play this setup just without Scarlet's Letters. Like, if I just take this now, it would probably be better. Because I get my resistance on the sandland. And then we can do preparation as well. So just inner side shenanigans.
Dann hat das... Ich hoffe, ein Resistance ist in Raum. Ja. Ich nur Damage Reduction da. Und ich sag, shooting into one of these uh, packs here is kind of sick. Hey. They don't need RF. Yeah, I guess if it rewards, they don't need RF very much, that's true. It's mostly like if you actually do dungeons with bosses, but most people just don't this season. Uh, what can you do? I'm not sure exactly, but you can pick up some more passes, I guess. If not already, you can do like uh, the concussive combo with rapid gambits, etc. You can do stellar step if it's, if it's not there. I'm not sure what exactly is in this setup right now. Uh, maybe siphoning strikes, honestly. It's like some nice healing. If you like close range, you have a lot of lucky hit on pen. Siphoning strike is not terrible. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm not missing anything not running Scarlet Slatters. <laughs> Yikes, man. I mean, you should get around preparation, it just feels better. I'm not gonna do it like this Scarlet Slatter. I might try it on, on Twisting Blade. I can try it on Twisting Blade. Let's see if there's like more hope. Because you have more attack speed on Twisting Blade. If you go Ashira's and accelerating. Oh my god. Device board has reached max rank. Already getting shattered stones, yeah. Oh, look. Some of them are max. Okay, I'm dying from a volcano. No pot up, cool. Still efficacy. This allows me to respect one point, yeah. Well, not exactly respect, but okay. Let's hit this here, actually. Random willpower. Almost. Can we get that? They will fix position this patch. I don't know. I don't know how to call it. Why do you need lucky hit? Uh, on this build, you need a lot of lucky hit for exposure. This is an exposure build, you want lucky hit. So you get your uh, cooldown resets much more reliably. Ah, he's another frostbitten. Okay, perfect. So let's get this. I have two of them now. Another one. Okay, easy. That's gonna extract them all, so I can like move stuff around. So I could try to scour those letters again. Frostbit in there, resistant there. Okay, also, I also want to upgrade this, right? It's a 923, kind of low attack speed, but okay. 
just go five. Straight our side again. Okay. Let's do this. What do we have? Uh, resistance is uh, We have 9.6. He's a perfect one. Lightning and Shadow Res. Cold Lightning Poison. Fire. Maybe you could just use this right now, even though it has like one useless mod. He's an 8.8. .8. What if I equip this helm? Just need Fire Res, so I can like, put them in. I think I'll just do that. I have to collect all four runes every time you do the end boss. I'm talking about Malthus. Yeah. It's so matter 100 Ubers on Maxwell up to date. Yeah, Maxwell's up to date. I did another small tweak today on Twisting Blades. With all the other stuff I haven't touched in a while. Alright, that's Cody. I get to 80 RS. Uh, the concealment aspect gives you plus 10 when you come out of concealment. I gotta say, it's kind of funny that I have zero energy cost reduction. And this build actually works pretty easily, in fact. That's pretty wild. Okay, do two rubies. Okay, so this. A lot of copper. Wait. Alright, yeah, we changed the helm. So you have like a lot of redundant res right now. And we should have like cooldown or something on the I mean on the on the helm, but okay. And you always have res capped. Oh you collect a lot of different helms and boots in particular. Is it better to overcover us? Um, there's not much of a reason to overcover us. The only reason is if you farm Nightmare Vaults or Nightmare Dungeons and they have resistance breakers, you're gonna be protected against that if you are like overcap by up to 25. But usually I don't really try to aim for overcap and you'd, you'd naturally kind of overcap some of them through rings and you know through different rolls on your gear and stuff. And then, okay, there might be like one or two that are not capped when you have resistance breaker map, and you gotta be a bit careful and just be aware of which one is your weak one. And then try to play around that. So far, so good, I guess. Just don't try to kill bosses. Maybe they can one shot me. Mm, that's kind of hard to get one shot by something right now. Unless you go like really high tiers or something. On these tiers, though, like if you're leveling, there's not really a chance to get one shot by anything, I think. And a good thing about this setup in particular is that I quite easily proc inner side because I hit like everything. Like I don't need to aim for like the right guy or something. Like I hit basically the entire screen. But inner side is just kind of slow, I feel. Like sometimes I don't even have it before I even shoot into a pack.
Kind of fun though. Let's just like spam pinchers, no puncture. Kind of cool. It is a nice uh, pops. But yeah, I think I'll be better off just playing this with preparation. Not anything you can loot the chest while you're clicking on that thing. I didn't know that. And maybe I don't really need Frostbitten in a setup. It would probably be something to drop, like, as early as possible. Move, like, accelerating on a glove, equip starter skies or something if I have it. Or just equip the Shaco, for example. Probably want to drop the Scoundrels. Go Preparation, equip Shaco. Go Resist an Assailant on a chest. It's like your only defensive mod or something. I can keep the Juggernaut, maybe. Equip Starless, drop Frostbitten. Then you also have a bit more consistent damage. Lots of resources, lots of damage. It's gonna be pretty nice. Kind of fun just like pumping into like a big pack like this. <laughs> it's just it's set up though, just like keep hand shotting, man. I mean, on these tiers, it works, it works. I'm excited to try this with uh, TB later. For now, let's just keep going. So, this. Have I come across the aspect of repeating for Red Fire? Yes, I have. <laughs> there were two rogues almost to 100. I have found the aspect. There was some luck agent, so I have a barrier. I don't think we need to go to our try hard rats. Right? It's a perfect to simulate aspect. I'll save that one. Okay, let's do uh, the Vault of Ink. Oh, the Robby. Anything new on the turn around? Um, I mean, you have a lot of patches, items, new bosses. Yeah, I think ultimately, like in a normal season where you don't have fireflies and vaults, and this thing actually needs to do some single target damage, you kind of of need something and just like pen shotting into a boss is not gonna cut it even with starless guys i think i'm not really sure how to solve it but for now it works i don't know maybe next season with the itemization we works we might get some cool stuff that actually helps pen single target for example The combination of um, pen and death trap is just so good though. Like it's also really successful in AOZ already. We've seen that. I'm gonna use the farming death elixir mods, pale time and grave dust. Uh, you can farm cellars. There's like some cellars in particular that also have like these monsters. Uh, Pale Tongue, I think there was like one being low Kyova Shard or something. You can check for Cellar. Grave Dust, I'm sure. But the final Cellar has also undead.
But yeah, I have trouble actually killing these things. It's not even in our side. Don't know if I have shot ready. I think I'm single target is so low. Let's go for the vaults though. Okay, one top these guys, yeah. Glacier Fisher is good for Pale Tongue. Ah, is this where I got all my Pale Tongue? Yeah, maybe actually. It has a lot of humanoids. And Kazura, right? It's like Bandits and Kazura, I think. Yeah, I kind of doubt that the Scoundrel's letter is actually doing what it says, man. Like, I feel like, I, dude, I, I should get three out of four, you know, three out of four shots should spawn a trap. I don't think this is happening, man. I don't know, man. Let's count his letters. Look here. Did like five shots, six shots, seven shots, not a single trap. You saw this? Like, what are the odds? I think this thing is just not working. Like... The way it says. It does work sometimes. Okay. I have a... <laughs> I have a possible explanation. So the scoundrel letters, procs, have the same cooldown as the real skills. <laughs> Or something. I don't know, man. But it's definitely not happening. Like, I, I don't know, but it feels some like something like that, you know? It, it feels really not what I would expect. It, it must be something like that. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> but the item is just so shit. So I guess we can stop with this thing. I'm gonna bow. Too bad this is a low tier, man. Eagle horn. Nine twelve. Twenty two percent. Higher crit. Nah, whatever. My god, man. And you could actually just like TP out, right? And the uh, stuff will like, come to me. I should probably do that. And actually not pick up the the unit legendaries, just pick up the normal dudes. I think that's actually the strat here. Yeah. Okay, fuck the scouts letters, I'm not gonna do more of this. Apparently counters are actually working on bosses, but not entirely. It's kinda interesting. So apparently you can get up to like 15% damage on counters, but not more. So there's like some really strange stuff going on there as well. He's an icy alchemist, I'll save that one too. Okay. I'm getting a lot of good aspects here, and a resistance as hell, okay. Perfect, we're getting all the stuff here. Nothing I care about Toxic Alchemist. How can I help? Okay, don't do Eagle Horn. Let's go back to a normal chest. Let's go back to other, other Helm. This has Frostbitten, this has Resistant. Now you have double Frostbitten. Um. So it's again with preparation a little bit. So now we should have Manglers there, like some other offensive power. But what would we run? I think what actually what we would run is something on the neck. And put Frostbitten on the glove. Oh, we actually have that. We put Juggernaut on the helm. We put something here that actually helps us. Uh, now what would we put there? We could do Windstriker for speed. Let's 
put this back down. Put this here. Where's my old rogue gear? I think I, I took it from there. And if anything built. Wait a minute. Where are I gonna put all these points? Okay. We have a wind striker. Maybe he's gonna go back to wind striker. Put Juggernaut on the helm. It's a 22. It's 16, 22, 15. Okay. We have a bunch. I can do it. thousand armor. So I do this. So we should be pretty fast. We don't do these shenanigans anymore. We do this. Can do this for the crit. We actually want to get more points in concealment if we can. I'm not sure how, though. I might have too much movement speed, actually. Maybe take the con start step out and put in concealment. That would be somewhat helpful. It's also a 30% chance to reset the imbuement when activated. Uh, okay. Let's do one world run. Death Pulse. Let me try a bit of... Um, Open world. Dark shot could be nice for movement speed. Yeah, I mean, if you're spamming pen shot like this, you will actually get a decent amount of dark shot stacks. But I don't really have slots. And we don't have points either. Like, I'm already struggling to get all the stuff on my skill tree that I want. So I don't think we would do dark shot stuff right now. I don't have an aspect slot and I don't have the skill points. I mean, it's not bad. As long as you like play around the elites. Properly. Oh, next set, why do I only have a build for pen turning shots? Uh, I have like seven rogue builds this season. They're all linked in the description. Enjoy. Yeah, this Frostbitten Exposure combo is very nice, actually. And Icy Alchemist. Like, this is a really cool combo. And this works, actually, pretty well. The speed is fine, I'd say. We have Windstriker, Ghostwalker, we have, like, cap movement speed pretty much all the time. You're using eagle horn, man, of all things. <laughs> kind of strange how that works. I think if they made like eagle horn, if they gave it like some kind of like single target effect, that would be the dream. Like you know, if it if it somehow benefits you the most on single targets, because that's really what penshot needs, man. It needs something to kill the boss. And this like bouncing shit is just not really helping.
Like if it gives it like you know like it, it's it's like a chain when it comes back or something, or like it seeks out an enemy. Like imagine if like the pen shot like just it comes back and seeks out an enemy again or so. Yeah. And you just get like double damage on single target, for example, with pen shots, with that or so. That would be uh, good, I think. This would actually feel good then. At least playable, I think. If you're going to a normal nightmare dungeon now, I can try the boss, but it's gonna be horrible. Explosive for a final shot, we'll need that. Those just feel nice though. <laughs> But then you see, like, I can't finish this last guy. I need these explosions. Wait, did I forgot the stacks? I forgot the stacks. Oops. I was supposed to put all these points. Oh, that's nice. Oh, 30 minutes, actually. Let's go. I have a ricochet. I mean, RF is already like the strongest single target skill on, on Rogue. Like, we don't need more single target on Rapid Fire, that's fine. But you can't really play like a pure pen build. That's the problem. Like, it always comes down to you have to kill the boss somehow, and you can't kill the boss with pen. So. That's the problem. And now even less so, because previously at least you had the option to go like... Poison Imbument and stuff. And first of all, half the modifiers not, don't work for Poison Imbument right now. And second, they made Precision like ridiculously OP, so every range build is really gonna run Precision. And Precision also doesn't work for Poison Imbument. So... It's just like a whole mess, and the only way to really kill bosses is with Rapid Fire. But then again, if you play Rapid Fire and you don't have combo points, it's also like benefit. Like Rapid Fire benefits a lot from combo points, for example. You kind of want those. Why do I say it's best to use almost on amulets? Because amulets are the hardest thing to get in the game, that's why. Like, you can get everything easily, like, I mean, a lot of builds just run a lot of uniques, first of all. So you don't need, like, pants most of the time, you don't need a helm, because Shaco exists, and all that. And, uh, I mean, this is just, like, the hardest thing to roll. This is why. I think Lord Zia and the Monetarius need to be adjusted. I agree with that, actually. Like, you can farm everything all the time, but you can't farm zero, man. You have to wait like three and a half hours to get a world boss. And do that three times to get one zero. Like, what the hell? And the Legion events are a joke, you get one. I can farm an entire Varshan in the time it takes to do a Legion event. And I have to do nine Legion events for one zero. Like, it's. <laughs> Pretty imbalanced. I think you should probably just like make world bosses five and legions two or, or three or something. Maybe that would be uh, fine. Like, legions actually take a long time and don't really give you much outside of the blood. Should we use X-Files on the S build? Uh, no. I don't think X-Files actually works with Berserk Ripping. I'll be surprised if it does. But it's the only source of bleed in our build, and... No. 
Even if it did work, I guess it wouldn't be that great. It would be interesting to see X-Files on a rent build, though. You can run, like, the new unique ring. Charge into the pack. Everything is rendered. Everything explodes. That could be interesting. It gives you, like, better clear as well. Bit for, like, the stuff you didn't hit. I'd really like to see, like, an X-Files rend setup. What's the best setting builder now? Oh, my class. Kind of interesting, like, I only put Death Trap here, and the enemies were affected by traps long enough for me to reset the Death Trap. Kind of cool. Rogue leveling builds. I'd say pen shots. There's a lot of density in the robot areas and in the vaults, so pen shots, profits. Later on, it evens out a bit better once you have, like, you know, a perma shadow imbue on the other builds. You can easily do AOE damage with that, but early game, there's like so much density, and I noticed like Pension was just really nice. Which makes Zero cost 5. Like the Living Steel dude. I mean, that's also an option. Just make Zero cost 5. I would probably prefer that instead of like upping the materials you get. Because more materials means more clutter in a stash. They only stack to 50. So I'd rather have fewer. But then again, I mean, who gets the 50 blood? <laughs> yes. Okay, this was disappearing in a few minutes. I have to hurry. Isn't that too long for no reward, yeah. Yeah, in general, we have the problem that all of the open world stuff is just, like, not rewarding, right? You get 925 loot so easily. You found Duriel 100 times. Uh, you get uh, 925 now, easy peasy, and Nightmare Dungeons. Like, I don't think they sh I think they should have never made, like, you know, 925 loot so available. But now that it's the, the meta, then, you know, you just find me 925 stuff, and you just ignore all the loot in open world. And it just sucks, right? I, I don't pick up anything in open world. Maybe a ring, if I see one, or an emerald. Those are okay, but these are the ugly items that are really worth picking. I feel like I'm missing like an entire board on my Paragons. I need to check actually. It's like, wait, am I going for Eldritch Bounty? I think I don't have Eldritch Bounty, right? You should probably be doing that. So go up there and add Eldritch Bounty, I guess, in some levels. That'd be kind of nice, since you do so much Shadow Imbue. For some reason, I found the other bosses only, only done with Shaman Krigar for Duriel. Yeah, it would also be nice if they just, like, you know, take Beast and uh, Lord Zier and also give them, like, uh, the Duriel mods, for example. Or just, like, you know, make a second Uber boss and then, like, share the loot pool between them. Like, you know, you have, like, three Ubers that drop on Duriel and, like, three Ubers that drop on the other boss. And you can, like, also, like, target them a little bit, for example. I think that would help a lot. It's the main problem that we only have Durya right now as well. Like, take Malphas, for example, beef him up a little bit. I mean, he's actually kind of fine as an encounter, I think. Just like, like, you know, remove the, the four wings of the vault, make Malphas the next Uber boss or something, next to Durya on like the same level, basically. Give him like, you know, three or four of the Uber uniques. You get the mats from Zir and the beast in your eyes, and there you go. And the Malfus fight is kind of cool as well, I think.
I think Hell Touch would also affect the dungeons and Nightmare Dungeons. Uh, no. But in general, they should, like, st put more stuff into dungeons. Like, I'm kind of surprised that we don't have, like, you know, Malignant events, we don't have Blood Harvest, ev or, like, you know, Blood Tide events, like, in inside the dungeons, you know, like, PoE maps. Like, we need to get more stuff into the dungeons, in general, because that's what we do most of the time. And this way I can actually scale rewards and difficulty. And we don't have anything. And even if we did have these things, they wouldn't give us anything special because Malignant Hearts are gone, Vampire Powers are gone, so it would have to be worth for something to do, right? And we don't have anything like that anyway. But yeah, I mean, why not? You know, why don't you put like some Blood Harvest event or like Blood events from like last season into the dungeons or like Blood Seekers? And those Blood Seekers drop the fucking blood for Zir. I mean, it could make more sense, you know? And then you can choose to do those events, and you can farm Zir that way. Or you skip them if you don't want to. And you can do the same shit with Vashan. I mean, even if you don't have like any like, you know, actual like, you know, items or character power or something associated with these types of content, you could at least do that. Okay, let's see this. That's gonna be uh, horrible. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. It's like one of the tankiest bosses here. Look at the stagger bottle. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. What build is this? Uh, I cannot explain. Exposure, pen shot, prep, shadow, something like that. And I'm running an eagle horn, by the way. <laughs> Fucking eagle horn, dude. And not because they buffed it. Use the deprivation in the open worlds. Uh, most of the time I don't, but right now I'm, you know, trying weird shit. So, it gives me uh, more attention to pay to what's actually going on. And also, I, I just, um, I'm gonna go back to farming bolts, I guess, after doing the hell tide chest here. Yeah. So, rapid fire flurry build on Maxwell. Is it good with twisting blades instead of flurry? Uh, you could also do the twisting blades, I guess, if you want it. Just like replace the flurry aspect and the flurry points and stuff. But I guess the single attack, the AoE damage doesn't necessarily improve much, and your single target goes down a little bit because you like the attack speed from Flurry. So it's not exactly a great combo, I think. How oh, hard is Beast in the Ice? He's level 85. He does hurt a bit, so make sure you have at least a Cold Rest capped. And you're like maybe around level 85 yourself. If you know the mechanics, it's not that hard to dodge everything and you're fine, especially with flame shields. I 
I have the default plan for double swing and speed spell. Yeah, I have, I've upped the double swing like two days ago or something. I'm also gonna record a video for it tomorrow. Now, uh, Road Puzzle is coming soon. You reach level 50, don't know what to do, huh? Well, uh, first of all, if it's the first character ever, make sure you finish the Renown. So, all five regions they have these Renown rewards. Make sure you get to five. Collect all the altars, explore everything, because this is going to be a permanent boost to your entire account, basically. And then I can basically try to get to Torment difficulty. And in Torment difficulty, you can basically start farming for all of the endgame stuff. There's like the Hell Tide, so that's what I'm doing right now. There's the Whispers, these things here. You can find the seasonal stuff. There's the seasonal stuff right now with the little leaf. And then go from there. Found the Nightmare Vaults. Any cool builds that use Andes? Yeah, uh, Andes is not really a build defining unique anymore because they killed Poison Shred. It was really the only build that was defined by Andes. It's just like an item you equip and that's it. Or you don't. Well, it does definitely work better than some builds than others if you have a lot of lucky hit. Like on Infinimus Necro or even on Penshot here, I think this could be a build to try Undies with, to be honest. It might actually be somewhat good. If I get it, I might try it. I'll have to get it somewhat soon because I'm probably going to respect this rogue at some point. Can use on stock for extra Tarasha stack. Ah, oh, yeah, true, actually. That's kind of good. I forgot about that, actually. It gives you a Tarasha stack. That's actually. That actually makes a somewhat decent item suddenly. It's like a 10% DPS boost or so. Plus the attack speed. I mean, the lifesteal is somewhat useless, though, but. I guess it can still help you in, 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 a, in a clutch situation. By the way, uh, has anyone ever not gotten their Cinders to carry over when they switch characters? Has anyone tried switching characters in Helltide? For me, I think always my Cinders carry over so far. But maybe I'm just lucky. I wonder if they changed that this season. Son of Marvel, so 90s, that's one type to 80, warrior on hardcore. Oh shit. No scroll? Now, Tarasha is not more good for itself. It's one stacking buff. But yeah, you have to go from 45 to 60. So it's like. I don't know, effective 9 or 10% DPS increase. I mean, I really nerfed the Son of Malphas. As long as you don't stand in front of him, he doesn't hurt really. You can just like try to dance around him and always stay at his back and he doesn't do anything to you. Okay, should I just try to farm an extra chest and then relock on another character and see if I get it? Let's do it. So still back out in second phase. 
get insta buff when you get on breaking platform. Uh, I haven't seen any bug like that, so I feel like dying instantly on the platform. Must be pretty rare then, maybe. You only need to stay on a breaking platform for like 2 seconds, and it breaks off after 6 seconds, so there's a lot of time for you to get off. To level in all and 40 might do some core farm. Well, you can farm the elemental cores in at level 1 already. You can't get the igneous cores from Malphas, but you can get the elemental cores that you need later to summon Herald of Malphas. They can do that anyway. And then, just like, you know, once you invoke 4, you can do uh, just like Herald spam basically. It's also what I've done with this character a bit. And that worked out pretty well. Unique stones, game changers. Well, not really, but they're pretty OP. They just make your character, like, you know, roughly plus 50% DPS or so. And that's it. Plus some other little perks, like, you know, maybe more cooldown on your defensive skills. Kind of fun build, man. It's cool. It's not frostbitten. Better wrong. Yeah, I'm just gonna risk it. I'm gonna farm 275 and relock and see if we can open a chest. Who's training in Diablo 4 anyway? Currently, no one. Turns out. Well, I guess you can still empty the mats. I'd like to see how well this build would work with a normal pair of pants. Do I have any here? What if I don't play Tibolts? It would probably still kind of work, actually. Let's go and do it out of curiosity. Weird DC error. Can't we log his character is still saving? Yeah, that, that happens when you DC like in combat or so. You have to wait like a few minutes.
My trade is not reactivated yet. They're taking their sweet time fixing a bug. Okay, pants. Do we have pants? Umbrus leggings. Okay. Actually, we can also check like how much we're gonna get from Umbrus. They're gonna have less damage now as well without the bolts. Well, they keep trading the same bolts yeah, because of the dupes. And apparently you dupe items through trade somehow, so there's like something going on. You can still like drop items on the ground and, draw, and trade that way. You just can't trade gold and you can't dupe. So they're trying to fix that. What do you have here? Ranks for shrouds and concealment. Okay, it's actually kind of cool. We have concealment ranks. Yeah, I think it's going to be tight though now. I think what we need is something like... Aftermath, let's see. Maybe that helps. Yeah, no resource cost reduction, no tables right now, and no inner sight. I guess if I had Ravenous, could remove like accelerating good ravenous or something or roof respite and it'll probably be fine. Deep freeze gamer, let's go. Okay, I guess you should stand still here as long as possible. the third season in a row of either at the league start? Yeah, uh, Probably, yeah. I mean, last season happened, and I mean, season one, no one cared, I guess. Because they didn't have mats. I mean, the, the bug is old. They just never fixed it. So either they were not aware, or they thought they fixed everything, and they, they actually didn't, or something. So I also wasn't aware that there was still a dupe going on. But, you know, no one really can't anymore once AOZ was out. So, you know, everyone was blasting AOZ and, you know, I, I didn't pay attention to the, to the du to dupes or something. So, most people had quit this season. Is it possible to get an absolute perfect build of every aspect, everything perfectly rolled? Yeah. I guess if you invest like a thousand hours into a season, you trade a lot. You could. I mean, the aspect is not hard, but every single stat, it's tough. But you know, 925 loot is about abundant, so. Move speed by mastery, blue amulet F. I got a Doombringer and a Grandfather. Two swords today. Hello, uh, y'all. I'm great, and you? There were old eight obols on the ground. <laughs> Just noticed. Almost 93. I have enough burst damage for stuff like this here easily, so it's kind of good. Oh, 
find diamonds in the weapons because this build runs no witnesses. It's actually one of the few builds in the game that have useful gem sockets. Can you believe it? They actually do more than nothing. It's crazy. Now we're getting down to 100. <laughs> Soon. Got a Shaco cell phone, grass. Greetings. The next action reveals me and deals 20 percent increased damage. Oh, that's gone. Wait, why? I didn't press anything. You can actually have very easily like five dark short stacks, it seems, running around here. I wanna try to remove them and see how fast they actually stack up. So let me hit them let, let, let them hit me a bit. Okay, so they're gone. Only have one. Okay, they don't stack that much. So I think you want to put probably this on the legs and then have like another utility there or something. This could be Mangler, I guess. I think we're gonna make like one or two level ups, and then we're gonna try to get Eldritch Bounty. We need something like, I think, 17 points. So we're gonna have eight more in two levels. And I'm gonna remove a few small ones. Okay, let's put back the table as well. I think you kinda wanna play as a table as well. But it does technically work. As long as you don't have to get any bosses. I've seen the pet damage from Rob's videos, yeah. He did like a, what is it, 4.8 trillion tick or something. Yeah, that's just like some bug with Tempest and Poison support. That's kind of like to scale infinitely or something. But the damage is generally relatively strong and it's gonna get buffed today as well, it's kind of interesting. Okay, let's try to only play with the minimap. I'm only looking at the minimap. <laughs> I think there's a champion somewhere. I'm getting tanky. Ah, sniped. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that was a funny challenge. Okay. Only looking at the red dots on the minimap. I'm trying to snipe in that direction. Well. Let's do the vault real quick. I actually have 19 minutes. Vault of stone. So this one. Let me finish the whispers and we relock on another character real quick and then hopefully keep our cinders. Can I kill Dury right now as I am? I can, yeah, but I probably couldn't kill it before this day ends. But it will be fun. Thanks, Grizzly.
Reduce the sinus on logout. Well, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. But I wonder if they changed it. You know, they did a Helltide change this season. And so far, I've never lost my Cinders when I relocked. At least I don't remember. I think I always kept my Cinders when I relocked another character. So maybe they just changed it to this patch without telling us. Last patch, it was like kind of like a 50 50 if you keep your Cinders. So I'm just gonna try it now and risk it and see what happens. Because I would really like to have found them on the rogue so I get XP and stuff. I'm really after finding Uber and Nick because Grandfather is the only Uber and Nick that is path specific for me. And if I go on the rogue, I don't have Grandfather in the pool, so I don't get it again. Like, you know, if you, if you find a Grandfather again, then that could have been another Uber and Nick, and you just lost it. So yeah, this means also I don't need to do my barb one shot setup anymore. <laughs> I was actually going to respect my barb to Hoda and watch the tutorials. But I guess I don't have to do that anymore now. I have to do it on the rogue instead. Let's do the run one shot rogue. And the other guys are also getting stronger now, so we don't really need like one shots that much. Open for Temis Rocket and Andes. Ah, that's something. Having our trusty companion actually help out of single time damage is really nice. Let's build right now. It's nothing more satisfying than Death Trap in this game. It's just such a nice skill. Change my mind. So all these legendaries should get sent to me, right? Let's try that. I'm getting energy, uh, tablets will, and consuming shadows. Although maybe I'm gonna remove consuming shadows and get some more points, right? I gotta try that. Maybe tablets will is enough, and also innovation we have there. So I guess we could actually spec into the Umbers here. Could also do sturdy actually, some damage reduction wouldn't hurt. Okay, let's put uh, these pants back. Also we're not gonna do beastfall boots anytime soon, I think. And the rest we might try more. Actually, we're not going to do more rapid fire either right now. Let's put this here. We're going to do Blade Dancer though. We might do this. I see Alchemist. This is Twisting Blade. This is Rapid Fire. We don't do Sky Hunter. Okay. Ah, we have the close damage reduction there actually. I should also have that. And now we have 12% more close damage reduction and 2.3 and 2.3. 
Should have done it earlier. Let's finish this. We also have a world boss soon. I don't have a link to this build. This is just a work in progress. Only make a rogue less squishy. Dark Shroud. Smoke grenade to disable enemies. Sturdy passive. Stack uh, resistances and armor. Might aspect, projectile aspect. And the hours of land first, build farm with death travel and release, make it on statue. <laughs> nice. Uh, Death Trap broke on launch, man. That was the shit. That was really cool. Too bad the meta is so fast now. Like, it's not like a racing build anymore. It was really good on launch because the meta was a bit slower. And, like, we didn't kill stuff instantly. And, like, you know, charge style. They really need to slow down the game a tiny bit again, I think. And then a lot more builds just become so much more viable and stuff. Like, if you can, like, one shot the entire screen of charge, then, you know, why would you play anything else, right? So... And even on our classes, you have, like, similar problems. Like, if you need fights, you know, last maybe something like two to five seconds, I think that's optimal. And, okay, you can last down most trash packs instantly, that's okay. But also elites just dying in like a, a split second, it's just like, you know, like this pace here is okay, right? This, but this was a, not a normal elite, this was like a big guy. This was Herald of Malphas, who's like three times tankier than normal. Most uh, normal elites just pop instantly. Charge of mobility skill, we don't need spammable mobility. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm not sure what they were thinking with this charge cooldown thing. I mean, okay, making like, you know, a potential like charge barb. I think it's okay to have like one build on barb that's like charge focused, right? But every single build just runs all the charge stuff. Every single build is like exactly the same on barb with just like, you know, 5% of a different flavor of core skill. And this is it. Everything is charged now. And it's just better than anything else on any other class in the game. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go into the health head zone just in case. You need help with your rogue build. I can help you. I need to give other items an item slot or take one away from Barb. No, nah, the more weapons is not the problem why Barb is so ridiculous. You can easily balance that out. You can make the class specific powers, you know, less powerful. You can make the Paragon Nose less powerful. You can make the Gliss less powerful. There's like many things you can do to balance it out and to reduce the scaling of certain things or whatever. It's not the extra weapons that's the problem. Okay, Copium. Do we have cinders? I don't have a link to this build. I might back one though. Okay, we have 450 cinders. Turns out. Let's go. It worked. Oh, hello. <laughs> I spawn the event and a harbinger pops out. Like, what? <laughs> Alright. Wait, it's just that simple. The balancing stuff? Yeah, I mean. 
if you understand the game well enough, I don't think it's that hard to balance stuff to be, you know, reasonable across all levels. And I mean, generally, they're doing a fine job, I think. It's just that they always have these outliers, you know, like the Charge, like the Hoda. And they take way too long to actually, like, bring them down again. But yeah, I mean, there's not that many things right now that are, like, really a problem in the game with balance. Yeah, I think, you know, it's overpower, especially through Banishal's Talisman. It's uh, Charge, it's Hoda, maybe Precision. If all these things are like adjusted a bit, I think we we're in a good spot actually. But now, and then we'll see what season four we're doing with like new stuff and itemization. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I might keep doing this by the way. I think um, I don't lose my cinders anymore. I think they made it so you can just change and not lose cinders. Has anyone lost their cinders by swapping characters this season, guys? Yeah, I think Banasaur's Talisman needs to be nerfed. It's just, you know, it's just such an oppressively powerful item. And also, like, it creates this, like, weird, you know, problem where your normal attacks and even your normal crits, if they don't overpower, they just do no damage. Like, sometimes you can't even kill trash monsters so you don't overpower or something. Like, it's kind of stupid on, like, you know, high tiers on, like, an overpower focus build of Banish Lord. Like, just guaranteeing the all power is already, like, a good enough of an effect. I don't think it needs this extra damage bonus, or at least it could be brought down to, like, way less. Yeah, and also the fact that all power scales, like, with the life now, and they just buffed everyone's life by, like, 20,000 this patch, or more. You know, at least, like, the in-game builds of, like, Shaco, etc. You have so much fucking life now. I wonder why they did that life change. That was really strange. I feel like it was like completely un uncalled for. But... Am I not bored? There are other cool, game other cool games to play. Yeah, they are. And we are about to play some other cool games very soon. Especially Nazi Fog. But I mean, right now I uh, enjoy the new season, which just started one week ago. Before that, I was playing some D3. Okay, um. It's just a like somewhere here on the right, I think. You're playing the Meteor Fireball. It's not even like fully done. I think it's like some some half finished. Oh wait, we have to wait. Did we find a Tempest Roll? Oh, is that from earlier? Wait a minute. This might no. This is the one I got from Durian, right? It's nine twenty-five. Okay, we didn't find one. <laughs> I just kept it here in my inventory. Your friend's kid who is seven switches games on Roblox every 45 seconds. <laughs> that sounds like a very healthy uh, development. Yes. Oh, I didn't do the Forgotten Souls. I wonder if it's still there. It's like up here on many stuff. There was like a Skrull, a Hell's Hell Vein. Too many cinders, by the way. Okay. 
Guess we're gonna open a 75 chest. World Boss a 9. Yeah, I'm gonna go back on the Rogue and do the World Boss, I guess. It's gonna finish the Cinder thing here. And I guess the Vault, and then we relock and we stay on the Rogue and maybe do more Helltide then. This Pendulum build is kinda fun right now, so it's gonna stick to it for a little bit. Then we're gonna try more testing Blades later. The day is young. Okay, we need uh, chests, actually. I can't remember getting 10 living steel from a chest a single time so far. Oh, wild. Well. Oops. The newest patch is not out yet. Will it be season 31 in Diablo 3? Yes. And 32, and 33. We have Hannah's Zorg and Hannah Barn, what to try next? Try range the rogue, it's pretty fun. Okay, that's stuck like two chest pieces. Wasn't there a thing here somewhere? I think it disappeared. Yeah. I think the hell veins they move at some point. So this one doesn't seem to be here anymore. Potential birds are swapping out five for death trap. Uh I need to check actually. But I took the rapid fire build as a as a start. And then I started making adjustments. I have no idea actually how close we are to the planner right now. Delphi, fat guy, let's go. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't open it. What happened? Uh oh. Good doing so, yeah. I don't know it exists. Okay. Let's go down. No shoulder. Thank you. Any good Duriel killing build for Rogue without Duriel loot? Uh, I mean, I guess you just play Rapid Fire. And I mean, as soon as you get Godstack Crown, you don't really need any Duriel loot, really. I mean, if you want to do like the full one shot combo, you probably need Godslayer and Tibalt. But yeah, if you have Beastful Boots, yeah, you also, you also have Banners Lost as much. Just play Rapid Fire, I guess, and try to get some of the drops. There's a lot of Duriel stuff actually that they kind of want. Maybe like the full one shot combo work. We have five minutes left, we have to hurry. Then we can do this the vault as well. I have to go real fast on the vault though. So this thing. 
This is a vault of stone, right? Wait, I can't click it. What? I, I clicked it like three times until it worked. What happened? This is a very fast vault, man. Oh, there's a world boss as well. Three minutes. Oh, shit. Hmm. Probably can't do that. Maybe I skip the vault. It's fine. Let's sort out this stuff here. It is done. It is done. Eight million gold from the chaos box, by the way. The forge is always hot. I can break that down. You can still don't ruin all that work. I can get to a world boss just fine, that's fine. It's gonna rogue. Dead and die, is Ash and Penshot. Always in Penshot with Bursting Venom. <laughs> Can combine this with X Files Ring as well, maybe? Could be interesting. Uh, let's keep this Tempest Demise, actually. I want to see like a boss fight. Out of curiosity. These bits still have some life in them yet. Thirty six seconds. Let's see how boss hard will go with us. Patch is on life. Should be in one or two hours. Oh, wait, you have it already? And I have shows the enemy level now? Oh, that's cool. Okay, maybe patch is out, guys. Is it out? Poggers. Does this do that for me? No. Okay. I guess I have to relog. Wandering death. Dude, I'm fucking alone. Wait. This is not the time. No, this is built. Okay. Uh, Firefly, you got this. Actually, <laughs> he, he, he does have it. <laughs> it's not me doing the damage. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? We have reconstruct. I guess I'm gonna let my guy solo world boss now. Because I'm not doing anything.
You know, it's gonna be like some three minutes or something. Not too bad. <laughs> a sort of world boss. My guy's not even max, right? Level 7 Firefly, level 5 multi shots. So if that was a bit higher, it would be pumping. Boss could be dead, I guess. Should we craft a few of the caches? I guess we could. Five K iron chunks. Yeah. Reading and rapid fire remove forty percent of the world boss HP. If you're not one shotting the world boss with a rapid fire, you're not doing it right. Nice single target build, yeah, thank you. Look. It's impressive, right? My well, rogue seems weaker than a level 80. Um, because I completely respect this entire character. To uh, weaker builds. No thanks, Jakey. But I'm running the best for the rogue at the moment. Hell no. But it's not a combo point build. And that's already a massive win. Oh, these world bosses are so weak, by the way. They just do no damage. You can probably just run through the beam. Let me try. What? Wait. Okay, it does it does hurt the beam, but that's it, man. Yeah, my rest caps. And they have zero defensive aspects or anything, man. It's a joke. All's even close. Okay, good go good job, Construct. You did it. Kind of more here. It's also whispers again, actually. Thinking of the Onyx Watch Tower while they added. Who needs some perfect powers when we have the Firefly? Hardcore and Softcore have different servers, yeah, of course. I find Grant that yeah, I got grandfather and Doombringer earlier. Huge. I think I'm gonna try again to farm uh, 400 something cinders on, on this and then switch characters and see if it works.
Uh, on Doombringer Coronation, or which one should I not use? Uh, Doombringer is only really important if you run like T100 Diamond Dungeons. If you don't do that, then you don't need Doombringer. I mean, even there, you don't necessarily need it. It's just like, you know, more defense so I can YOLO and it's easier. This chest here. Apparently, Patch has dropped someone said in YouTube chat earlier that they see the monster levels on dungeons now. So, I guess it's rolling out right now at least. Is it possible to get a Harlequin with 4 and Maxwell on it? Yes. In fact, it seems like there is no other way to get a Shaco. It's always Maxwell, at least the ones from Duriel. But at least in the patch notes, it sounded like the ones that only from Duriel drop are max rolled, and those that drop in the open world are not max rolled. But so far, I've not seen a screenshot of anyone finding any Uber Unique since Duriel was introduced that was in the open world or not in Duriel. So, I have not seen confirmation of if we have max rolled Uber Uniques everywhere or just on Duriel. Has anyone seen one? Why is it getting so lucky you get one and it's not max rolled? Yeah, it's, it's kind of stupid. I mean, they should have made the lottery ones max rolled, and the ones from, from Duriel, they should not be max rolled, right? So this this would actually make sense, right? Like, you can farm Duriel, you can target farm him, it's pretty easy to get those Ubers. And also, on the way, you know, trying to get other Ubers, you can find duplicates of Ubers you already have, and you would actually feel good about it, right? And now, everything is always max rolled, so you find a duplicate and you just feel terrible. Because this uber nick that you got a second time could be the one you actually want. Whereas, if it's not always max rolled, at least they have a reason to keep going and you still feel good about every single drop. This is stupid. Nothing makes sense, yeah. Like, I'm not sure why they did that, man. It's so weird. And then everything is 925? I don't know. My most barrage but doesn't use barrage aspect. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's a pretty weak aspect. That's also the reason why I did my Brudija run last season with barrage, for example. Because the barrage aspect just doesn't really matter. Sorry to level at 50 is Nightmare Vault. Event.
<laughs> Two hearts on this guy. Okay. Okay, Mr. Bob, can you charge these guys into the circles? Information the patch is going live. It's rolling out already, it seems. Hello. No cage. Uh, sorry, I missed that earlier about twisting blades and shadow movement. Yeah, the twisting blades is not that good on bosses right now. This is why I included a uh, cold imbue. So you stagger the boss and then kill it with the cold imbue, and that actually kind of works pretty well. So I would uh, suggest to try this. I updated the maximum guide to that already. You want work done? Let's get TB aspects. Pencil about com points, I'm missing out. You are missing out actually. Yes, why this didn't work here? It's kinda of funny putting all the traps and then kapow. Screaming Hellbane. I'm disappointed about Rogue this season. The Rapid Fire Pen Shots. I try out a bit for feeling Rogue is not for me on season 3. I don't know. I mean, it's maybe just like people try to play the same builds without really making adjustments from like last season or something, especially the melee builds. And then, yeah, I see it's gonna feel weak, but I mean, there are ways to solve that if you want to. But I agree that in general, we need like a bit more like single target tools on a rogue. So if they have, for example, fixed car drops and a fixed smoke grenade, then you could use these things in builds much more. And it would be really helpful on boss skill speed as well. And would like allow something like you know physical builds to thrive a little bit as well. Where's the loot? All these three guys just stop nothing. What? Empire slowing support, fissure pause, and breaking your stagger faster and keep 100% warm up on bosses with TB. Yeah, fissure is not bad. But uh, I have Planet and Grease in the build actually, so Fidget is not really necessary then. But he can do it. Snow is fine. I like efficiency for the crit. Critting is cool, I get 15% crit, that's kinda nice. Safeguard is also nice, 15% damage reduction. But yeah, there's like a few things you can do. 
Smoke grenade bugged at the moment. Well, let's open it for debate. But smoke grenade does not work on bosses. I don't need staggers, but it doesn't actually increase the damage taken. However, if you have explosive worth aspect that makes the smoke grenade into a trap, and then you have deadly ambush board that gives you extra damage when you trap a target, it does work on a boss. So deadly ambush works, but the uh, main effect of smoke grenade does not work. So I would consider that a bug, honestly. Because it's apparently still affected, because one thing works. The key to open the store. What the hell? See the stronger boss. And hold up without charge, still as broken. Yeah, that uh, wasn't really changed, but there's no point really to do that. Because Holder just goes and kills everything. This was like an AOZ thing, where we actually had like, hard content. Shadow step. I could use someone like you on my crew. I don't run with bandits. Then die. Go, Firefly. Go. Firefly pumping. And do all top players not upgrade the last potion upgrade? And because the potion up upgrades barely matter, people just don't want to waste that much necessarily. I mean, in my case, I usually do it at some point, but you know, it matters so little. You get like a few hundred more healing when you press a potion, you know, it's like 2% more healing or something, which is not really a big deal. So I'm box on elites, yeah. Just doesn't work on bosses because they don't get affected by CCs. And I guess they coded smoke grenade in a way that it requires the target to be dazed by the smoke grenade in order to get the damage bonus. And the bosses cannot be dazed. And the thing is that if, I think even if you stagger the boss, I think you still can't apply the smoke grenade to them. So it's kind of strange. Because they're still not considered dazed. At least not by the smoke grenade. It's just, they're considered like CC'd by everything. But they can't still apply anything. I think this build will be really fun and pretty decent actually with Starter Skies. If you have one, this is a good build for Starter Skies. Actually, I realized I think last season I didn't get Starter Skies either. I didn't don't have it yet a single time. What's demon or smoke grenade, which I prefer? Huh? I mean, I do consume it on a lot of builds right now because it's OP together with the Night Stalker attack. But, um, Smoke Grenade is like, one of my favorite skills actually. I really like using Smoke Grenade. I use it sometimes in early game and uh, in T100s and stuff. It's a very good skill. It's very fun.
it looks like you can actually already start sh shooting into a pack as soon as you drop the death trap, before it even goes off. And you get the exposure procs. As long as they're in the area. It's kind of cool. Let me try it again. Yeah. So you can press death trap and immediately shoot. That's actually really good to know. What about the poison trap? Like here, they probably have to be poisoned. Can you make an in death guide in Pen RF? I've been there, done that. You're like two weeks late. Master starters of a lot of basic skills, it's really fun and slaps. That's cool. Yeah, that, playing like a pure barrage build without any common points is also fun. If you want to try it a bit. How many parts can you remove? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fourteen. Almost actually. I think we'll try. It's going to be a bit tight. Like, did it actually improve anything? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's one. Okay. Oh, if this will increase in radius, we can remove this here. So we can remove five and add those. Well, and also remove this one. It's rank 12, though. Ah, uh, we could remove this for now, I guess. Still want to get one point, though. Oh, we can do it. All right.
Okay, I'm gonna try to run into a pack and press poison trap and shoot. Like this. Yeah, it doesn't work, so the trap has to spring first. But on death trap, it doesn't have to. It's kind of interesting. Like here, if I walk in, I press death trap and I shoot. I get my cooldown resets. Very interesting. I'm trying any druid shred speed builds. Uh, I want to do like a full shred playthrough, I think. It's actually one of my favorite skills. Like back in open beta at least, I was like most hyped for shred, but I never played it so far. <laughs> But, um, yeah, maybe I'll try some shreds soon. That's that bounty lasts the same duration as 9 seconds. And no witness is 8 seconds. Okay. Oh. They're running Aftermath actually, and I should be Trap Mastery. I can wait a for first capstone to unlock T3 on Hardcore. Yeah, around 45, I'd say. Go fireflies! It's a bit bad than the build I made with the unique boots. Yeah. I tried the unique boots and I mean it does work, but it's not really good enough over normal boots, I think. Like you get like this one bigger nuke sometimes, but on, yeah, you're gonna run out of resources a bit more, like, you know, you already have no co no generator, like, if you also, like, spend all of your resources sometimes, that's quite an ask, yeah, so, I think it's better to just, like, spam pen shot more, basically, and the beastful boots, they're really, really good just for, like, the one-shots, like, you walk to the boss, you one-shot the boss with a combo point build, and don't actually try to like use the effect often, basically. So I think this is really what Beastful Boots are used for. You just walk up to the boss, press your ultimate, kill the boss, and that's it. So I'm gonna take the Rapid Fire Death Trap and just make it like this here, or the TV, or both. I felt like, the, yeah, while well, the boots did help on the rapid fire build, it wasn't really very impressive. But these sword boots could be kind of interesting in the gauntlet, for example. Like, depending on how often you actually find bosses in there. Maybe you could actually use Beastful Boots, take a bunch of cooldown reduction on a comp point build, and literally just like walk up to every single one of the bosses and just one-tap them. That could be kind of powerful for these kind of things. So I wouldn't really like write them off right now. Let's say, yeah, I think I have 8 minutes in the gauntlet, and... You know, let's say there's like 10 bosses in there. So with like a 50 seconds cooldown on the ultimate, on the average, you could you know, just one-tap every single boss there with Beastful Boots. And if you can do that, you go in, you go in like, get three core points, position, rapid fire, ultimate, boom. I mean, that would be uh, strong. If they otherwise turn out to be too tanky, and they might, so... But yeah, then you also give up your boot slot. But you get cooldown. So you need to somehow get, like, movement speed capped, without movement speed aspect on the boots. So I guess you go like Ghost Walker on the amulet, Stutter Step, Movement Movement, I mean that's Movement Speed Cap, so it's fine. You can do that. 
And you get cooldown on the boots, which is kind of nice. And damage reduction is also kind of nice. It has good stats, this thing. So I might actually try something like that. The gauntlet. When Sorcerer? Uh, probably... In a few days or so. I don't know. We'll see how Ubers are going. I mean, you're finally getting something. But, you know, you still have like a few hours of Ubers and Malfas every day currently. At least my Rogue is going to be 100 later. My Druid is also pretty close to 100, but then I want to try more stuff on Druid. Any abilities in Barrage? Rapid Fire. You could do that, but it's kind of useless because they have nearly the same damage output. And if you want to do single target damage with Barrage, you just run closer to the boss and shotgun them. So there's not much of a reason to combine the two. But if you want to play like a more ranged play style, I guess you can do a Rapid Fire and Barrage and then like Heartseeker. They can actually just like spray and pray into the pack and then use. Uh, rapid fire to a finish. In reason on regular stages or nightmare, not really. Eh? We did open both chests. I did. Oh. It's a convenient thing to find out. We come for 25 Duriel. I don't have my mats prepared right now. I had to use everything for the other group. I do have a lot of um, Marsha mats and stuff, but I need to kill Marsha like 50 times. <laughs> that will take like, you know, two hours on its own. I'm not ready. And you also need more uh, health tide right now. I'm farming health tide already, so I'm trying to get there. We have more eggs from Malphas this season. Yeah, Malphas drops eggs pretty regularly. There's an update today. Apparently, some people have it already. Good luck, Matthias. Are you Ubers? I made through like almost 90 runs to get my first, but then I got two in a row almost. So, today was a good day so far.
Okay, now I have to find all these things that we removed here. Yeah. Oh boy. So let's do this. Oh, it's Kicksarf. Alright, Fireflies. Your time to shine. Where's this guy going? Come back! Okay, I hit him. It's all me, guys. It's no Fireflies. Sure. Actually, I was just waiting on a part of the core aspect to be aware of 125 is tough on Barrage. Yeah, Barrage, like, I would suggest, like, do, like, the early, like, part of the season, the seasonal quest line and stuff. I would do that with Penshot because there's just so many monsters. Barrage doesn't really get through them. So, maybe at level 25, after you finish Malfa's quest and stuff, do the, do the switch to Barrage and you're fine. It's also what I did on this rogue. I was just kind of scuffed because there's so many monsters in all the seasonal. Quest line. Flash out setup is uh, Firefly with all the green supports and Flash out Adrenaline. God, I hate this guy. Okay, thanks for the clarification. Which was that? That's some risk on. And I really hope they're gonna give us some bigger, like, single target tools. Like, for example, for Death Trap build, it, it feels so good to have preparation, man. But if you play, like, preparation, you don't have call points. If you don't have call points, you just don't really kill bosses. Right now. I think there's already, like, you know, the Twisting Blaze TB, for example, that I have on Max Roll. Like, I feel like you kind of need the call points, man. But it feels so nice. Like, you walk in, you best Poison Trap, you best Death Trap, you have your Poison Trap ready, no matter what, for the next pack. You can like easily reset your death trap over two packs, which is very consistent, so you get it, you know, every other pack or so. It just feels good. Even if you get them very quickly. Let me switch things. I've seen Rob's video with a pet hitting hundreds of billions. Yeah, I've seen it. I tweeted about it as well. Yeah, so he did a 4.8 trillion hit. Or well, not, not even a hit, right? It's a dot tick. So, the tankiest monster in the game has around 0.0045% of that HP. Pretty good.
Yeah, it's like some bug with um, Tempest and Poison, it seems. It's kind of interesting because when I use Tempest and Poison, uh, I don't get like insane numbers, so uh, there must be something else going on. Maybe it's like some buff thing or something. Has anyone tried this and also gotten like billions and trillions of damage? Because I actually haven't. Even I did the Tempest thing now on the boss, for example, earlier on the world boss I did it. And it didn't seem like it was a scaling to infinity. Uh, I will do some tutorials on Nalika, yeah, but uh, as I said, I can't contribute, so I need to save the mats for tomorrow. Like I'm already, I'm already owing my party uh, some tutorials. It's snapshotting damage while berserking. Ah, and he's just like stack berserking over and over and over or something, or what? And this is how you scale the damage higher. Seems like the conditions needed to even get that to happen would never happen in actual gameplay. He was using target damage that didn't die and kept propagating damage. Yeah, okay, I, I understand the propagation. Like the poison, you know, it jumps back and forth and so on. I'm just wondering, like, uh... Like, can you even do it on a... On, on, it's like a buff specific thing, for example, here, because I, I had, like, the world boss, and it didn't get, like, this ridiculous damage number. It was just a firefly killing the boss, I think, for the most part. So maybe you need at least two targets that live long enough. We get the death trap unique. Uh, do you mean the scoundrel's letters? I have it, but it sucks. Okay, let me just open the two chests real quick. I hope that it didn't bug out now. The sound is going in and out. Not, not sounding exactly GH. Okay, it worked. Yeah, so far it has always worked. Keeping my my cinders. That's kind of nice. Okay, we have three people here. Do we have plus one? Get one million to the DBS, you can watch the boss while I wait for the pet to attack. Yeah, I mean, one million to the DBS doesn't necessarily watch the boss when you're playing Whirlwind or something. Or if you're playing like a good build. Okay, I need plus one for hardcore Dorios. Anyone? Aye, Roland is good. I mean, Roland is not a bad build because it's a barb. But it's not like hold on, right? So. Can we make a pet build? Scale only the pet? I mean, you can, clearly, right? You can kill Duriel even and stuff like that, so. You could actually make like a full pacifist build, I guess, to just never attack and try to get like generic damage bonuses and stuff. As a barb, I guess that would probably work the best. 
Just like, you know, Shout, Warcry, Berserking, and all that. You have uh, Damage while Berserking as well. Okay, where's that chest? Yeah. You can stand outside. I mean, I have another 100 barb, but my rogue is kind of weak, so is he gonna carry? Maybe he can carry. Okay, he can carry. Okay, it's gonna add you. Do you have any mats? Future flash? One hand Hakaba can carry. Yeah, it depends on the build, so. I mean he has to carry like four man. If he plays Hemoda or Death Blow, it's fine, so. Ah, okay. Ten minutes wait for Oogie Boogie. Ah, okay, sorry. He actually has Oogie Boogie coming. The running animation doesn't look right. Yeah, it's very weird, right? You're gonna open like one small chest real quick and that's it. Midori runs, more must convert. Yeah, Kratos has 25 runs actually. That's a lot. It's been grinding. I think a fast moving bear looks fine, right? And the, I think the uh, werewolf as well. But this, uh, like, just human animation looks very uh, wonky. And you run fast. You got a hunter zenith. Okay. Maybe I can actually do like a build that can contribute on Durio right now. I'm like level 90 something. Gonna switch it to common points, Beastfall, Banished Lords, Fire. I guess I can make it work. Even if it's like not perfect. How is Single Target to this build? Uh, pretty solid. I kill most bosses in like a few seconds. Depends a bit on how the landslides hit. What's going on with the audio, Nate? YouTube has some issues, apparently. Oh, okay, he's here already. Okay. I guess you can see like how fast they will kill the boss. If it's not instant, then I can also contribute. Hmm. I'll see how many mats I have. <laughs> Not much, but it's, it's something. All the crying and worry of Are they all there already? The okay, let me see. Eh? Can I convert this a little bit?
I guess something like this. Least fall boots. Sky Hunter. Banished Lords. Rapid Fire. We have Coronation. We have trick shots, accelerating mangle. I mean, you have kind of like the wrong aspects. But okay. Let's see. We should be able to kill stuff. How's my res? Everything capped, actually. Uh, we have juggernauts. Okay, should be fine. Yo, Bonkers. Six months tier two. Oh shit. Thank you, man. Holy. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I think we kind of did what we could with like little changes. Oh, fuck. I need to do a stack. Nah, yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. Really bad damage. Did I miss something? Sky Hunter. Ah, we missed the common points. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay. Can't it be out on the first kill? Anyway, thanks so much, Vonkas. Appreciate it. Hey, Duffer, how are you doing? I'm doing some Ubers. Kratos is mostly sponsoring these. So maybe get lucky, guys. Apparently, I have 25 runs. Can do another prediction if you want. I also contribute one or two. So 25 runs. 1 in 50 chance. Let's see. Okay, I should be doing noticeable damage now. I think the strat would actually for me to wait until they got him down to 50% and then do my thing. Yeah, okay. I think I did like twenty twenty five percent maybe or something. Oh, was it double drop? No. Just pants. Do you expect a patch at the top of the hour? Usually, yeah. Find the best in not part of the grass, Gustavo. I'm not sure what's up with the audio. I can restart the YouTube stream, guys. We don't have anything. Yo, <laughs> he just got the shaco. <laughs> second kill, dude. What the hell? I'll do the blue pots there. This is a cheat death. I 
Rickets, I agree. Save the manglers. Okay, I can do like a good like 20-30% on the boss right now with the setup. And then they bonk, so that's okay. And only respect a few points. Bob looks so much like Kratos. He's also called Kratos, man. I'm not sure if he's playing Deathblow. Out of the name I've got that thing existed. If you equip Shanko and Glyph Shanko, is that plus 8 to all skills? Yes. I don't have Ghost Walker right now. Frostbitten. Kapow. I can actually, I could go a Godstar crown as well as well as. Free resist on the helm though. Need to check how we can do it. We have an ETA of the patch. Yeah, around uh, one minute ago. Actually, I can just do it. God Slayer. We have one already. 57, 57. So many. Yeah, a lot of people are hyped for the patch, even though it does not mean much. Oh, I don't have a juggernaut anymore. Oh shit. Amulet and boots. Hmm. It's a 5.7 gigabyte patch. Wait, what? Okay, it's nothing. Uh, seven gigabytes patch on PC, P P PlayStation. What the fuck? So does that change a lot? Makes it worthy. Yeah. We have only 43% damage reduction, so we take double damage now from the real. Just 
because I don't have juggernauts. Kind of big. <laughs> Kapow. New info about the Nightmare Dungeon Monster Devils. So I have to actually a client patch this, right? So I don't have anything here. And the Gore Runes. Rhyme Scar. So fast then, so I'm gonna try it later with like both skill speeds. Bassett, how are you doing? Ouch. Can test the buff, uh, the pet buff here, yeah, maybe. Oh, ring and boots. Wait. What? Didn't I see double drop here? I thought it was two, but it's not. Call me the legendary Bassett. There you go. <laughs> That's nice. The recognition. Wait, am I tripping? I actually got boots only. I think I'm tripping. There's no, there's no second item. I did drop two. Where did it go? What? Can someone, can someone clip that? It went elsewhere. It went to a better place. Let's go to stash now anyway. I wanna see if those are the star guys, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a ring. What happened? That's that? Oh, okay, wait, let me see that in a second. I don't have anything here. Are you in? Ouch. Can test the Beth. Here is the ring. You see him. I looted it. What? Yeah, I click it. Yeah, I clicked this. A ring and boot. Where's the ring? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do 
It's gone. <laughs> Where's my ring? <laughs> what the hell? Taxes are getting crazy these days. What? And I open my inventory and there's no ring. Wait. Here, yeah, there's the boots. There's no ring, there's a legendary ring. What the hell? My star disguise, man. But I mean, <laughs> it was the ring, man, yeah. That is crazy. Like you saw, I clicked it, man. There's nothing in the stash either. I just went to the stash. Then, am I talking about it here? Didn't I see double drop here? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It's usually the Uber ring bugging out. Happened to me as well, no joke. What the hell? Only the ring or what? Does it only happen on ring? I've never found the Star of Sky, so maybe this is why. I only told one legendary ring, so it's false loot tag because you had two legendary rings in your bags. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I had two legendary rings. I remember that in the clip. Wait, let me see that again. There's one ring and a unique ring, you see? Yeah, you're right. It just shows as unique, but it's actually not. Here, there's one legendary and there's another legendary. But it showed one unique and one legendary on the ground. What? <laughs> I have never noticed that, like, if anything else, though. Does it only happen with rings? Or does it only happen on Duriel? What is that? I've never seen this. That is wild. 
false advertising, man. I want a refund. Give me my durian mats. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Yeah, you're right, man. Uh, good catch, for sure. Does that happen anywhere else? Is that like a common thing? It's part of new season content. Okay. Yeah, by the way, guys, life hack: if you are trying to download the patch, you go into the Battle.net settings and you uncap... Wait, you uncap the setting for download speed here. And then put a high number, like 99999, and it'll be much faster. Oh, Bob got a uh, Darius. Congrats. Place your DPS of a character, Necros are gonna take a while. <laughs> the ring identified as unique, it's 2024. <laughs> Oof. That's funny, man. Why does it show as unique? Like, how is that fuck possible? Now, the question is, did it actually roll as unique, but somehow something made it roll as a legendary instead, or was it just a display bug? Like, it could have been a unique. It could have gotten a second one. It could have been a Star of Skies. Kind of cool, like, you know, stealthing to the boss like this. Like concealment. It's fun skill. All rings are unique and perfect just the way they are. Okay.
Only the one, the unique, the ring of the Lord of Darkness, Sauron, is truly valuable. Oh boy. Okay, a lot of chest armors here. Today is a PUE with the other round table. Yeah, I see chat is going ham today. You guys having fun? I carry the best. Bless and thank you. Come back and see us. Is this the end game build? Nah, this is like something I threw together that can half kill Duriel in a foreign party. This is like basically the boss one shot built. But it was something very different before. And I'm just like put the most important pieces together to do something here. It's not good enough to actually kill the boss, but it's good enough to get close. Then you do the rest. Sneaky summon. <laughs> Trade is still unavailable, yeah. Unless they have fixed it now in this patch. Well, they didn't say they would. Well, like, bro, this is the end game. Yeah. Well, I'm glad when I'm done with fucking Duriel grind. And I really hope they're gonna do something next season. Make it not just Duriel. I'm actually surprised they didn't do it already. PoE always has more viewers and players than the four, including season start. Well, one of them is true, the other one is not. PoE is just like a watch more watchable game. It has a much tighter, like, high-end community. But it's definitely not a bigger game. <laughs> I don't think you understand how many people play Diablo. These just don't see those people. That should be nice. It's so easy to take the Banished Souls Talisman with the Beastfall Boots. You do like a combo and you already have like 200. What's up with my tooltips, man? Why is no tooltip appearing, man? What the fuck? Hello? You are weak and foolish. You are weak and foolish. You are weak. <laughs> what do you think I'm going for? Well, I'm missing Shaco and Starless, at least. I'll, I'll need both of these, I think, for Gauntlet. And, I mean, Arvarion, I don't really care. Is there something else? Melt is hard, I also don't really care. But yeah, Shaco and uh, Starless is the target right now.
Chest, 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 helm, helm. Wonderful, huh? Board. Okay, that's why I'm doing it. Actually, we have deadly ambush, right? Wait a minute. So there's a concealment stuff. I could do deadly ambush. I can do this. Totally forgot about this. Okay, getting pretty close to one shotting him. I can stop it in. New patches out, yeah. Atomizer. It's the main fingers patch. Uh, Seneschal buffs. Suppressor nerf. Starless skies, channeling fix. And a bunch of bug fixes. That's basically it. Order some food, guys. Let's see what's there. Actually, does impetus get consumed? Oh, impetus gets consumed by the trap. Holy shit. Maybe don't do that. A fine duel. Second. Oops.
Okay. Where did you get the name from? I made it. Nothing particular. That was a good bow. All stats, call one. I need crit. <laughs> Baba Lazu. Yeah, going pretty well. I got two Ubers today. That's kind of nice. Working on the third. We got bamboozled a little bit earlier about that. And also, I'm working on some rogue builds right now that are kind of interesting. Something that is not like typical combo point shenanigans, which is kind of cool. Here's an overpower bow. I want a crossbow though if you want to have the real combo. I got Star Disguise, but I don't know if it's good for your build, a double swing. It is pretty good for double swing, actually. Double swing is a skill where, well, at least without the charge stuff on the bosses and stuff, you're gonna spam double swing and only that, pretty much. So, Star is really good for such a scenario. And uh, if you follow my double swing build, then there is actually an uber unique setup that should have Star That should be a piece sometime on my soft core character. Wait, what softcore character? Simple gaming. Did I miss something? Unique helm drop to Azili's crown. F. Okay, three more, he says. I open one. Seems like we're soon done here. Yeah, it's a big uh, update. I think maybe the reason why the patch is so large is maybe because of the Nightmare Dungeon changes. Could be. Because they like they said they reworked Nightmare Dungeons and stuff. And uh, layouts and I don't know. Maybe that is actually the biggest part of the patch in terms of size. Luna event. Uh, I guess the Luna event also got patched then. True. Oh, the Luna event is kind of small. It shouldn't mean you have big assets, I think. And Luna event is on 6, but I guess it's in the files already, you know? They're not gonna patch again in 5 days. This is the patch. You know, it's uh, Friday, it's Thursday. Yeah, and the Luna event goes live on Tuesday, no? You want North? Thank you, Sergeant Jesus. I'm cleaning the tunnels XP. I'm playing with viewers? Yeah, this is with viewers right now. We had a party earlier. Okay, Oogie Boogie is not a viewer. <laughs> He's a streamer. He got invited by Kratos. He's disappearing. Yo, Anonymous, thank you so much for the steps. That's the paradox of streams on YouTube. It kind of ruins the try and error phase of games that actually gives you playability and longevity to games. I agree. I think they should just forbid streaming. 
close down everything. Also, don't allow people to make YouTube videos. I got Doomring and Grand Thunder. It'd be cool if you could set up some 5v5vp fights against mates. Yeah, I think something like that is definitely missing. Like like some kind of like organized PvP of some sort. I kind of like this like, you know, open world zone thing, but you know at least in hardcore there's no one there anyway, but if you could like do a PvP and it's like, you know, just for fun, right? Without any loot or anything. That'd be cool. Battlegrounds, let's go. Gotta call him, it's the last 10 minutes, what did I find? Uh, I think I have to check the ball. <laughs> Nothing I kept, so... I don't have Shaco yet, no. I'm still looking for Shaco and Stardust. All new tunes in Hardcore, only Field of Hatred, kill or level. Yeah, a bit like the, it would be cool if they actually did something like the PoE, uh, PoE Royale, right? Man, that would be badass. Imagine if there was like every weekend, there's just like an event, and you can join in there with a level one character, and then you just like get thrown in there with people, and then like you know whenever that like everyone in the instance is dead besides one, they get faced to like the next or something. That'd be really funny, man. And it goes for like two hours or something. Yeah, it's it's hard to do informally because it's hard to like group up with people in the same instance. Yeah, it's like very complicated. You have to like invite them, then they have to leave the party, they have to stay in the zone, and then you know sometimes they still get faced, so there's more people running in. And then there could also be griefers that comes with high level characters and kill everyone. So it's really like almost impossible. He died after two weekends. It would be a waste of resources. Yeah, I mean, the PoE Royale was a massive success, right? They they put like almost no time into it, and uh, it turned out like it was super fun for a lot of people, at least for a while. And if they do something similar, I mean, that would be kind of cool. The PP zones already exist and stuff, so you don't need that much really. Like in PoE Royale, they did like a lot of like, you know, early game, like, you know, they did like some balancing on like, you know, the drops and the, the, the their own skill trees and all that shit, and so you don't really need that. It's too small, it'll be very quickly over. I mean, we can like make people not find each other immediately, for example. And, like, you know, you can have like the monsters scaled in a way where, you know, you kind of like have like only a small area available to you. And kind of like how PoE Royale works as well, right? 
you kind of like grind your way towards the center of the map. And you could do that as well with the Diablo PvP zones, I guess. Or you could just take like other zones and like actually convert them into PvP zones as well. Like you mentioned, it's like whole fracture peaks or something. And it's like its own instance or its own like season or something, right? You could do some stuff like that. I mean, if they eventually like start making like private leagues or private seasons like in PoE, then they could probably also implement some tech for that. That's just like, okay, you have like this PvP thing and Fracture Peaks is a bit transformed. Or whatever, or like dry steps or anything, right? Like imagine you had like a PvP Royale, that's the entire dry steps. And there's like, you know, some objectives or something, and you can get like certain loot on, you know, certain places or whatever. You start at level 1, max cap is like level 25, where you get a key passive. Like, the thing is that level 100 PvP is really shit. But, you know, like, level 20 PvP, it's gonna be really good, I think. Like, no paragons, no uniques, you know, no bullshit. It's, like, fairly balanced, I think, probably. Definitely much easier to balance. And just, like, much more exciting. Like, late game builds are just, like, too broken in, 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 in many ways, right? So it's just, like, work for PvP purposes. But the early game is, like, very well designed and very well balanced. Now 50, no paragons. Yeah, it could be level 50 as well, it's fine. Somewhere along the, those lines though, but level 50 is like too close to like, you know, Uniques and Nightmare and Paragons and stuff, so instead of like trying to like, you know, effectively turn it off and allow it to level to 50, just like make it like, kept lower, it's fine. Could be like level 30 or something, for example. You get a key passive and you have like a few more points and you have kind of like, you know, the most important stuff. It's not fair to the pet, because Bark gives more power to the pet. No other class can do that. Yeah, I mean, we still are coming from miles away. But then again, Bark is also a class that needs it the least, so... So like one legging or something. Okay. Is there any like uh new patch notes that we didn't see before in this one three one? Did anyone check it out? That is Kratos himself in a party, yeah? Look.
Ex. Uf. I have armor against the real. Very fun. Okay, I actually have to get up really quick after this run. We'll be back in like 20 seconds. Okay, Mac. Uh, reset, guys. We can go. Has anyone found Shaka from Open World? Eh, uh, I have not heard about it ever since I introduced Duriel. <laughs> I guess it's technically still possible, but yeah, I guess people also don't really share the news like that anymore. Right, it's like the first shackles that were found, you know, it was like a huge deal. But now, we don't know. People probably have found some. A few. When is ray tracing coming? It's not in a game already since the season, I think. Rogue and Ekring is kind of bullshit. Yes. It's pretty bad. It's also in this weird place where it scales with both precision and close quarters combat at the same time. <laughs> kind of weird. Skanda's good now, yeah, Skanda's pretty good, I don't know. Uber should drop in open world every 20 to 30 hours about like a high rune in D2. Nah, that would be way too frequent, I believe. I think it's fine if like an Uber drops at least like, you know, once every 1000 hours or once every 500 hours or so. But right now it's more like once every, I don't know, 500,000 hours, so... That's not really useful for anyone. So 
I'll try to bane of arrows with those boots. I played a lot of arrows uh, last season, yeah. When it was uh, the new thing, I played it and made some kites and stuff. I also updated it for the season again. But Vane of Arrows is not that hot right now. Also, Rogue, what is my favorite class? I'd say Druid. Because they have lots of really cool, interesting combos and builds. Is there a way to make a pure trap build, like a death trap? Yeah, I think you're talking about poison trap, and the answer is... Well, yes, but actually no. It's kind of weak, very slow. I played a poison trap infiltrator build... Uh, back in... I think it was in Season 0, actually. They actually cleared like a tier 80 dungeon with us, back before they nerfed... Nightmare dungeons and stuff. So... See it all up or something? No. But yeah, I mean, this was like a you know, one hour run. It was really yikes. And even with the crit nerfs on season 2, it didn't really do enough to like make something like Poison Trap viable. There's not enough synergies really to boost its damage. Besides like more skill ranks and maybe some generic stuff like some glyphs that give you poison damage and stuff. But we're missing like any kind of support from Paragons. There's like no legendary Paragon node that synergizes with Poison trap in any way. The the trap board itself has anti synergy of it because it buffs only crits, the deadly ambush. Yeah, poison I can't crit. Yeah, then there's Ice in the Dark, which is a, a shitty item that does nothing. Well, I guess you could include it there, but not really. Then there's Scoundrel's Letters. That is uh, only that only works with inner sight, but if you play a trap build, it's going to be a preparation build, so that doesn't have any synergy. So yeah, it's kind of scuffed in many ways. I feel. I mean, one thing you could do is something like you go lethal dusk aspect. You do a shadow imbuement, and then you can just evade for your target, go in stealth. And then you can do a four poison traps with infiltrator, and then you come out, you reset it with exposure, and then you evade again. But the problem is that uh, lethal dusk is not like the improved stealth; it's just like a normal stealth. And if you take any damage, then you're out of stealth again, which means you can't really do it effectively. If they actually change this aspect to actually work so that you are staying in stealth and you can do your poison traps in like a long fight, and you can just like put four poison traps, come out, put four poison traps, come out. And kind of like stack them up over time. And then on top of this, they give us like some other like you know, scaling mechanisms to boost the poison trap damage by like another factor of five or so. It would kind of get somewhere. But yeah, right now it's too slow, no damage. Shark fin on goldfish. Thanks for that four months, by the way. There's no trading. Then you prefer swords and dagger. Well, swords for any range build, especially precision builds. Daggers, usually nice for many builds, but swords also work. Daggers for poison builds, because swords do nothing. A crit. Like poison TB, for example. You go with daggers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's Ugi? We 
use poison traps at one point to knock down and apply poison and proc extra crit. Yeah, I mean, poison trap as a support skill is very strong. A poison trap as a damage skill is like worthless. Oh, look at that. Attack speed, overpower. There's like the uh, overpower glove here, I can save that. <laughs> we can actually use it right now. We don't even need the Christians. We can roll decks on it or something. Where's Ugi? Hate good stuns like Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, Fast Aid Recovery. I mean, Deadly Strike is effectively just crit. Just a scuffed version of it in the other two, right? And Crushing Blow is something that should never see its way into this game, for sure. And neither should Magic Find, I think. Fast Akai is straight, it's just attack speed. Fast Aid Recovery, I mean, there's no hit recovery at all in this game. Yeah, I mean, the days of Magic Find are over, man. Oh yeah, Oogie Boogie has to download the patch. Oh shit. True. <laughs> He's stuck now. Stick to your bad itemization. I will stick to my bad itemization over Magic Find any day. I gotta say. But good thing is, in a few weeks from now, we're gonna get some big news about that. Precious stones to catch the light. Come and see. Okay, can insects will be Oh, Ugi Boogie's back. Wait. The versions. Oh. We're already back. Okay, let's do a patch. I can't group of him right now. A uh, lot of dirty months were removed from the game post patch. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that's good news. Did it remove the dupes? That would be cool. I guess they can track them. Thoughts on creating like a gear leveling for improving stat rolls. Like you rank up your gear, I mean. I mean, it would definitely be nice if there was like more ways to like change items, right? And if you have, like, you know, the right four stats, but one of them is awful, then maybe you can reroll them, like a Divine Orb at least, or something. Something like this at least. I don't think I necessarily want something like a, you know, deterministic way to get everything to, like, max rolls or something, and make it all primals, basically. Can I please move from Rogue and become Barb main? <laughs> I mean, I've done my duty already on the Barb. I've done the Kratos Barb, I've done a Double Swing Barb. What else do you want? Whirlwind. You want to hold on? Yeah. We'll see about the gauntlet. I mean, there's a there's a slight chance they're also gonna nerf some stuff in the gauntlet patch. So maybe they're gonna nerf stuff, and Hoda is not gonna be that powerful. 
I, I, I think there's a good chance that Double Swing is just better in Gauntlet than Hoda. Because it's only tier 70, and tier 70 is not very high. Especially if it's a nerf charge. I think Double Swing might just be better. Any bot that doesn't use Lunging Strike. I mean, Lunging Strike doesn't do anything. It's just like to make it more fluid. It doesn't have any purpose. You can just as well use any other generator if you want. You just use lunge because it makes you faster. It's a prediction over. Well, Oogie Boogie crashed and he had to patch. And apparently it was pretty fast for him because he's already back in the game. But for me, it takes forever to initialize. I wanted to patch later when my food arrives. But at the very minimum, I can have a bathroom break. So I'll be a biggest. So my patch apparently is only like three point something. Interesting. What is this patch download? I guess I have to do like exclamation patch. Do we have that? Dude, I don't have space in my title today. What the fuck? I guess I'm gonna do this. Yo, you're around Nemus, thank you so much.
Yeah. Is there anything else in the patch notes that uh, we missed here now? Yeah. I am nine minutes essentials. I mean, okay, it's just like quality of life, whatever. Doesn't actually change anything. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just all the bug fixes and the starter skies there. I'm gonna tweet this really quick as well. Long enough. Anything else you have to put in there? Not really, right? Maybe whirlwind controller nerfed. I know there was like something with um you can't stand still while whirlwinding anymore and stuff. Are the guys here now? Creators? No. I think they're not back yet, right? I guess back. No way, that's an exciting patch. Okay, I'll just pause it. Have you guys lost any Durian mats? So did they actually remove duped mats, guys? Anyone else lost mats? That'd be kind of funny. Uh, who was with us here? Oogie is there. Does, is, does recent players exist, by the way, in this game? No, right? Dude, why do you see like five people? One, two, three, four, five. Dude, what the fuck? Why is it not like four times smaller or something? Yeah, well, Dale, thanks for something. man. I hear no beers in 10 minutes. Okay. That takes 20 minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna just be chilling. It's fine. If you want to do more, then I'm up for that. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna leave my rogue as actually here. I still want to druid. My druid is able to farm. Seven dollars wasted for these dupe mats buyers. <laughs> Even some people that claim they found a legit set they lost some. I can check. I know, I have like 150 living steel here. I have like a stack of million hearts. Looks good to me. Gotta show us that cool emblem from the Battle Pass. I mean, it do look cool, I agree. But, man, it's too big. <laughs> what the fuck, man? It should just like, downscale the entire thing a little bit, at least, you know? Thanks for subscribing, Dale. 
He had 31 eggs in your stash and they're gone. You found them all. So definitely not duped. Okay, if you actually found your own and they got removed, that sucks, actually. If that is true, then this is really shit. But in that case, welcome to the club. I had 20 eggs in my inventory. And then halt happened. And they were gone. That's unlucky. I'm gonna pop a death pod just in case the servers are unassembled or something. You found 12, 16, now you have 1 and 6. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy, actually. If they, if they actually removed the mats that people farmed. Yeah, I only have the Varshan and the. Like, I didn't convert. Maybe they only moved the eggs and the shards, but they didn't do anything to the uh, other dress. And on the inventory, you still have them all. Hmm. Strange stuff. I'd love to see some pen shot 100s. Ah, I might do that. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Very laggy, holy. Oh. Well, if that isn't food delivery, orders. Okay, uh, BB.
Okay, I'm back. I'm still hungry. Nice. The guy kept me waiting there for like five minutes. Now we figured out that he is at the wrong address. Nice. Also, why am I this blocked? Again. The Martha's run is bugged. The portals crashed the game. <laughs> okay. F. Found solo 250, half disappeared. You found 250 mats? What? There's a new gold drop animation. Oh, really? Wait. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? It seems <laughs> very excessive, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> is that bugged? It seems so large. Oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> For the event, we got a trailer. Yeah, but I thought this was only for like uh, the the creature run or something. Oh, I'm crashing, I think. Yeah, I think I got animations. Okay. Sake, dude. Yeah, I think that character's gone. It's not GC. It's like free flies, but they probably kill me. That's fine, this character's not too bad to lose, but I wanted to try landslide more. There's Uwe Martha's bug. Yeah, apparently you can't complete it or something, the crash on the poles. Boss mods have gone to the moon price-wise. Yeah, maybe they have fixed a dupe, and apparently they also deleted mods some people. So... <laughs> the image of Helltide Sweet Spots. It's in the video, there's a link in the description to Chronix's sheet. Oh. I heard a sound. Wait. I think, I think I lived. I spent the scroll. <laughs> I have, a, I have a screen, so where are we going to arrive now? Maybe I live. This doesn't mean I live yet. I can still be dead. You can come out dead after, after the loading screen. But maybe I went through. I just spent the storm. Okay, who knows what's happening now? <laughs> you got Melt House Sick on your Bob, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good, but there's no content where you need the defense, really. But I guess it's easy to like survive little skulls and stuff. That's kind of nice. Russian Roulette Hardcore Mode. <laughs> yes. Slow PC, yeah. it's, it's certainly my PC. Speaking of PCs, have you seen this one? From my sponsor, Star Force Systems. The Meowter Space Limited Edition. Look at that thing. With the animation playing there. Kind of cool one. <laughs> they have like a new promo right now. It's also the one that you see linked in the thing. Oh, something happened. Gaming connection has been lost. Okay. Maybe I live, guys. So ugly. Yeah, just wait until Meow Valen comes in the in the chat, man. Gets close. I 
Oh, this thing is a fucking machine, though. This is why it's expensive. Can we see the details? Performance. Here. <laughs> 4090, of course, included. i9. I mean, it's, uh, these, these VCs are insane, so they're costly and hand built. Okay, this is Paul. Yeah, it looks really cool, man. I like the style. It's funny. For a cat enthusiast, for sure. I live. Insane. Meowder space or bust. <laughs> I mean, it's very expensive for sure. But, you know, you're gonna be good with that thing for like a decade, so. You clean Aswan's house if it gives you a free Meowder space. Did it actually consume my scroll? I have no idea if I had multiple. Maybe I had. I don't know. Um, what are we doing here, actually? This is the dex angle, right? Dex, 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 dex. Okay, so what do we do? Exploit cliff, finally, maybe. Uh. <clears throat> it's about time. Any other dex cliff? That's out of match. Spirit, territory, everything is dex actually that we want, yeah. I have no idea if the scroll worked. I might have had more than one. Usually I put them in my stash once in a while. But sometimes I, they pile up, so maybe I had two and one, one was consumed. At least I lived, so there's that. It works. <laughs> Let's just say it worked. Force before restart to flush out the old version players of Duke Mats. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they're actually removing mats. I just hope that, you know, not too many people that actually found them legit are affected. Because it seems like some people are. That would suck. Okay, I'm not gonna go my rogue for a little while now. Until the servers are more stable, fuck this. I'm just gonna do a bit of hell tight, fuck it. You really believe them? I don't know. If, if I have like a few dozen people coming to my chat and saying, ah, I lost my mats, I mean, I don't know. It, it could very well happen at the extent they removed mats from some people that found them. I mean. If you ask in jail, everyone is innocent. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I don't know. All I got. I can't prove it, so. I need help. Uh oh, JCR, what's up? Okay, Exploit is actually a pretty huge damage upgrade right now. Yeah, apparently they removed uh, uber materials. Like, most likely the dupe stuff, but people also kept telling me that they found their own stuff, legit, and also lost some. So maybe that happened, maybe not, I don't know. I have everything I had, but... I mostly had Grigar and Varsha mods and not the eggs and shards. I guess you can ask the other guys, like Condors and Chronics and stuff, if they lost anything. Maybe they, they would know. Using Arcanus Diana's potential build of IC Alchemist, etc. And now what? Have we considered 
asking Nakaliasiano for help. If Sky Hunter and Doomblade and Sky Hunter did more damage as 864 iron power than a 925 crossbar. That's not too surprising. Sky Hunter is a very good bow. Oh my god, this gold animation. Bloody Drood. Oh god. Well, I almost just hit my Druid here. To a lag, so there's that. Hey, voila. I have food that's maybe finally coming. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think the gold animation is a bit over the top. I think this is probably unintended. <laughs> it doesn't always ha always happen either, so it's just like sometimes there's like this insane pile of stuff. Feels satisfying. Uh, for me, it seems more like screen clutter, if you ask me. Like, look at this. Like, it drops out this insane pile, but on the ground, it's like almost nothing. <laughs> it's like a tiny pile. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think this is definitely intended for the event, and somehow they bugged it out or something. Lost the mats even though they have found legit. Yep. Didn't do mats, didn't lose any. Good to know. Most basic attack space is needed, so I can hold basic and core skill buttons and not have to count basic before core shots. I have never tried to do anything like that, so I can't tell you. And I don't think it's a good idea either way. Okay, I need to be a B. My food is finally here, so. Just invite me to party. Are we all here now? Okay. Well. Wait, how many of the sinners do I have? I was just farming a little bit. I guess I shouldn't have gone to hell tight now that I think about it. That's kind of stupid. A uh, hundred, okay, whatever.
Do I know if I'm going to play Last Epoch on release? You're hoping not. Well, then you're hoping wrong. Alright, I will turn off the camera a little bit while I'm eating, guys. So... Gut. Okay, I'm not sure if it's really good <laughs> to do what we're doing here, man. What the fuck is going on with the loading screens? I agree, the combat in LE is kind of bad. But the rest of the game is really good. The vaults worth running after maxing all stones. Yeah, the vaults are really good. Damn, I should get um, Juggernaut aspect somehow. Then we can just chill. Right now it's like kind of scary. I'll just let him do it. What part is the best of playing mats and Altites? Hmm. Any class has like really good farming goods. To be honest. I guess the absolute fastest is probably Shred Druid. But yeah, I mean, I would make a Shred Druid just for that. You can do Polarize just fine, you can do anything on Rogue. Do a blood search on Necro, you can do like a bunch of stuff on Zorg, you can do a bunch of stuff on Barb. So you could do like six minute Helltide chest or something. And JC Arm, I would replace. The cause the twenty five percent attack speed.
guarantee four, you should get more mats that drop. Well, let me tell you, you do get more mats in T4. <laughs> you get a lot more, actually. Like Let me see in particular. But also, this is the only way to get many hearts. You also get more of the other martial mats, I think. I'm using Sky Hunter. And how fast am I looking at the stats? Mm, I try to sort every item in like roughly half a second or so if I can. Data mine is interesting. Looks like we might get a ladder system earlier. I mean, what is earlier than anticipated? I guess I just put it in the patch already. But, you know, they have not announced even when it's coming, so, like, at least a few weeks away, I think. And a Shadow Clone blocks the Beast Fall boots and makes it unstoppable for Tibbles. I think Rapcliff is the best. The resources are nice. I'm also using that.
Follow me on Only Rogues. And if you subscribe, you're gonna get a photo set of me being the best ninja in the world. I have zero interest in playing Palward, sorry. I mean, the hype is, you know, already slowly over, I guess, anyway. Like, how long has it been out? Like, two, three weeks now? I'm gonna be busy here until Last Epoch comes, and then I'll play Last Epoch, and then by the time that is over, like, Palward is out, like, over two months. And it's more like PoE time angle, and not Palward. <laughs> you know, Palward is over. Even if I wanted. I complete the season quest equip four different rank ten stones. Yeah, just like swap them in and out, I guess. Or something like that. Okay. Bless and thank you.
So we are good. Yeah, it's good in every barb and broke build, especially on high diamond dungeons. Wow, it's actually a big weapon. Perfect all stats, almost perfect decks, perfect crowd control. And Volm, which is actually a good stat. It's like 4 out of 4. 925. So I played TB, I might just use this one and print it. Shit. Walter Loon drops around 75 items, you open all the chests and you can't call home or lose student buff. <laughs> well, I mean, they wanted to farm it in a four-man team anyway, right? So it's not too bad, I guess, because you don't open six of the chests, and then it's okay. No, two, thank you for the two subs. Did I feel the nerf? What nerf? G O double T. Thank you so much. Is there a reason why the four died out so much? Um, I think the reason is you only think it did. How's the pet red? The pet uh, changes colors depending on the skills it's using. Kind of cool that little thing, actually. I gotta say. Oh my god, looks like shit dropping now. <laughs> yeah, I think they messed something up. It's for the event, I believe. Yeah, you're not tripping. The new god animation is weird. So, who here lost their mats, guys? By the way, self farmed mats. Apparently, the patch removed some of the durial mats. I didn't lose any. Hello, Speed Hitman. None of my self found mats. <laughs> Only of those. You lost the ring of Star Skies. Yeah, same man. You lost exquisite blood of all things. Wait, what? You got extra mats. Interesting. Patches out, yeah. How much time have I played last Epoch pre release? Uh, not that crazy amount. 100-ish or so, maybe. But it's good enough to, like, you know, I've played, like, three characters and, you know, I know the game. The game is not very large, so in 100 hours you definitely get pretty far. It has a lot of builds and stuff, so that's cool. But, you know, in terms of, like, things to learn, it's actually a relatively uncomplicated game, I think. You got Shaco and Temesora and you do a kill at the same time. Nice. <laughs> now you have a tough decision to make. Very good. Thank you. Mm. 
Dr. Majoros, thanks, man. I wonder if they... Wait, did they delete any mods that have been traded or that have been like picked up from other people or something? Like, For example, sometimes I was like dropping mods for like Chronics or something. I wonder if those were the leaders. Oh, they have so many mats. Yeah, Kratos, like, uh, he was farming, uh, like, all night yesterday. He was here yesterday already. He wanted to party up. And he had 25 runs. And then Luvirs Lou also had some. I mean, also, <laughs> in my stage, like, if you farm these robot whispers, I made a video about this. Like, if you farm these whispers here all the time, the new stuff from the season, they're really good. And I can use on free characters. So every 90 minutes, I can go there, I can do like a whisper turn in, one and a half whisper turn ins or something, in like no time basically. It takes like five minutes per character. I, like, okay, five minutes total, and I can do like one and a half turn ins per character or something. So I get like an entire Varshan or two just from that in like five minutes. And this means I can all the Duriel part of, or the Varshan part of Duriel is already done. And then you just need to farm some Hell Tides. Much better whispers than Bloodstone. Yeah, honestly, I think the whispers are way too good. <laughs> I'm not sure what they were thinking. Making, like, the Herald of Malphas a 5 Grim Favor objective. That could literally be 1, and it would be balanced. You could make it 3, maybe, but... I don't know, 5 from the Herald is insane. I need some. Now someone else is also asking me if I want to do Duriel. Those 10 shards and X. F. Don't jinx it beneath the mats. I'm not jinxing it. I don't think it would change it now anyway. So it just happens to be like very efficient whispers. Okay, we gotta say a big thank you to uh, Lovirs and Kratos who sponsored most of these runs. Thanks, guys. Didn't drop anything, but... We appeased the RNG gods to give us something at some point. When is the receiving ammunition respawn? I think the abomination responds relatively quickly, depending on how many people there are, but the Whisper is every three days, I think. See you guys. Okay, thanks for the runs. Okay, I guess we're gonna respect to what we had before. Oof. Uh, so, let's remove this. We need the trap stuff. What's the event? One second. To root campaign build, is it possible? Uh, I guess it's possible, but not much more than that. 
Uh, where are all my points? I have this here, I guess. Oh, let's move this. Yeah. I guess we don't do this after all. Go back to one shots back. Oof. Um Apparently we do some more. But I think the prediction is over at this point. I think I've done a bit more than what they said, twenty five runs. It was actually more than that. We didn't have one, so that'll just win. Cars, what's up? Hang on to unused Ubernix. The team has some plans for something in a future patch we will share soon. I figure this heads up was a warrant for those that may have some Ubernix they aren't utilizing. Wait, what? Where's that coming from? Hey, Josh. From Adam. PSA. The design team has some upcoming plans for players who may have numerous Uber uniques that they may not use. Aha. Uh -huh. So RNG protection. <coughs> Do you want to get a PSA out to use? Hang on to these for now. You'll have more information to share soon. Now that's pretty big actually. What unused Uber uniques? <laughs> Interesting. They already gave us a used Transmox. Uh, this Discord channel is just empty. I'm not sure what you link there. Just shows this. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what the fuck? Why so many messages? <clears throat> okay, so the invite works, that's good. Um, okay, so, uh, Cydia, we can't do that. But I got unused Uber Nix. That's something for the 1%. Um, what do you do with all these points? Here. Here. Okay, what do you have? Oh my god. Oh, Chronix is standing there, look at that. Them. Yeah, let's do it, I guess. Uh, what else am I missing? I have this. I have no idea what I'm missing, to be honest.
Maybe nothing, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, we're doing some Varshan. We should have as a rogue can you kill Soul of Varshan. I can probably do it in Rotate 4 as early as like 70 or so, pretty reliably. If you have like 8k armor of capture rest and good single target damage. Bit of extra life maybe. Yeah. Actually I wonder if I need the... I don't think we actually need to do. Oh, I can banish those tiles, man. <laughs> Let me try with that. Game is lagging and bugging out like shit. Uh, I had some lags as well in the crash and stuff. It was just from the new patch. So it's just like the patch thing and maybe it has to like, you know, reload certain things. That's better now. Okay, let's see this. Okay, easy. Don't need Beast Fall Boots. Actually, Beast Fall Boots, yes, but no Banish Loss. That's a good time to run a 100 Vault in. I don't know, 4 minutes, 5 minutes maybe? I have a scan, the 902, I power of high rolls and crit damage and relics, rather than 925 minimum rolls. I don't know. Depends on the exact stats, I guess. Confused. Some can argue that Anis is not the best Uber unique, but aren't they all overall really good? Why talking about unused? Yeah, of course, Andaris is a good item. We're talking about unused items, which means items that you just have sitting in your stash and would otherwise sell or vendor or salvage or something. This is what they mean of unused. <laughs> they don't mean that you don't use them in a build. <coughs> They mean like a duplicate that you get or something you don't want for your build. I'm not sure how that's confusing. That's a decent one here, 46. Thanks, in fact, I'm for the Prime. Right, I'll show you the pet build one sec. I would have done it without the Prime, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Divide your my mouse. Uh, 3.2. This is a boss build, yeah.
Guess you have a few good grass, I guess. Let's do it on a barb. Get Genesis after forever night. Oh man, I'm already dreading that. Oof. Yo, we got a raid. From a Japanese friend. Is this Japanese? Japanese friend? I think it's Japanese. Thank you. Oh, we got a huge uh, table there yeah, as well. Ah, oh, here's a Japanese. Hello. How was the stream? Okay, let's do this. What have you been playing? Thank you. <laughs> and we had a lot of luck today already. I found two Uber Unix. Very good. Getting closer to where we want to be. I found a Doombringer and a Grand Thaler. Do you stream in English or in Japanese? Can I give you a shout out like this? Let me see. If copy paste. I wonder if that works. Probably not, right? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I guess just uh, I have to use the Latin letters. Does that work? It's not your actual account, is it? No. What about this? Does this work? Ah. <clears throat> I have two Ubers today. Back to back, almost. Got very lucky. Is Uber Negro good on this build? Yeah, it is very good. At least, like, if you have to kill bosses and stuff. What? Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I took the bones. <laughs> Fifty bones, by the way. Easy. <laughs> okay, let's put this back here. Take this. No, no, dude. It looks almost the same. <laughs> okay, now we can play the game. Let's see if we get a better run on this. This is only 882. This can be upgraded quite a lot. Things important for the 4 level in game loot filter. Uh, we'll see. After the season 4 patch, I guess. But I think ultimately it would be nice to have some kind of loot filter, even if it's like very basic. Like the whole loot system, I guess, even after the revamp, is going to be like much simpler than other games. But, you know, just like having the, fi the game filled out for you would just be uh, such a boon, I think. Yeah. 
Yo, my pet is killing these guys. New portal is bugged, yeah. Bonus damage to charge, this season was a huge gift, the class is a lot more fun. Yeah, I think the, the charge damage is okay, the charge cooldown is not okay. We do need to cut back the cooldown again. Maybe nerf the ancestral charge aspect a bit, maybe make it only two guys or something, I'd say. Wouldn't be such a bad idea. Yeah, 27 eggs, 14 shards. That's well, not that many shards. So we found Gringo in a group. I would only do this if you really need some of his drops. Which this class does actually, if you play double swing. So yeah, it would be worth it. Just like farming until you get a good run on And since everyone needs to do so many of them for Duriel. Okay, let's just say five minutes. Let me go more durials. And then I have to convert more for later as well, or for tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to do ten more openings. Today I just leech from Condus and Chronix and uh, Dakora. So tomorrow I have to get, bring 10 extra runs for that. That means 20 shards and eggs plus whatever you're running. I guess I need to do like something like 30. I didn't lose any mats now. Can do a setup for Stanisha and Rogue. Yes. Tempest plus efficiency plus safeguard plus slow or breaking. And then flash of adrenaline plus duration plus Tactical, plus 45. That's what I've been running on basically all of my builds. I was complaining they lost Durian mats. Yeah, apparently people that traded and stuff, they lost a lot of their mats. <clears throat> Why do you not use Grandfather? Because this is not the gauntlet. And I'm on hardcore. So it's gonna stay in the, in the stash until the gauntlet comes out. It's always pretty bullshit. I've need lots of people trading gold for. Well, jokes on you. Trading has been disabled for like almost a week now. What gold trading are you talking about? <laughs> Should we raise the Uber unit to upgrade if doing Durial Solar? Yeah, that would make sense, right? But you don't like reason that much here. How oh, to hit so much with duel? 
I mean, I'm a pretty decked out character here. Starting hardcore bar this weekend, any news on Gauntlet release? Apparently there was something about Gauntlet in data mine for this patch, but this doesn't really mean much. They haven't said anything, so I guess it's gonna be at the very minimum after the Lunar event. And that goes until the 20th of February, so it's like the next three weeks there's no Gauntlet, I guess. Sort. Blah. This and one more. Another sword. It gets worse. Man, this thing drops at 858, man. How am I gonna get like a 920 something on this thing? What the fuck? <laughs> what was I thinking when I built it, this build? I was thinking I wanna be faster than every other barb. And I don't wanna shout very much. And then I made this build. A barb or a suspense sleep. Yeah, a sleep cake barb, but it's not very powerful right now. Okay, down here, I guess we can go. Again, Krala. Okay, says so we'll invite in a second. Good. So let's do this real quick, I guess, over here. Oh, we actually have like double whispers here and stuff. Try capping when downloading the update. Yeah, to cap it and then. You put a high number and this is what you do. Okay, when this build a Hoda. Well, this build is more fun than Hoda, I think. And it's also faster than Hoda. Hoda only has the advantage you can one shot all the bosses in the game and this build count. But ultimately, I mean, both builds are really powerful, and both builds are like 90% just charging around and killing shit. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's do a DC as well, real quick. Very good, uh, spot right now. Oh, you might have done one already. Oof.
Oh, this thing's active. Uh, where's the harvest? Wait a minute, what happens if I... Wait a minute. Okay, this is exactly what happened now. <laughs> I was in 96, and then I finished, and there's some of these guys. So what happened now? Are they, are, is, the, is the modes gone? And that stuff? Yeah, coming. I need to log on the rogue, actually. So let's put the stuff in the stash. It's gone. So the harvest is... <laughs> That's actually an error. It says deposit, though. I need... Okay, I need to see this right now. Sorry, guys, but I need to check this. <laughs> I want to see what happens. If I go back there. No, I can't click it. Okay, it's not gone. You can't click it. Okay. Alright. I need to relog actually, right? We put this in a stash. Can okay, try the Firefly support skills. It's the three green ones for Firefly. Pierce, multi, and uh, seeking. Uh, invite me. Uh, what is this game? name? Sin? Fuck. What is his name again? Shadow? Science. Yeah, something with an S. <laughs> okay, so... He brought my eggs, I think. So let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So let's... Will be some good builds using Molten Heart of Salek. Uh, it goes into pretty much any builds. Wait, did you get 12x? From these runs? Or you gave him extra? Okay. So, it's just a defensive item you can put into any build pretty much that doesn't need the sort of neck or something. And especially builds that have like little use for resources, I guess, like combo point builds, generator builds, this kind of stuff. That's back in Vulnerable, Exploit Lift usually. And the pet can also do it easily. Let's go to this guy. There's no gem in the helm. Yep. Yeah, potion shack. Let's see that if they have damage here. Yeah. Am I the only one? I think I'm the only one who has damage here. Yeah. F. Uh, what do we have actually? A frozen of Sork. Something and a barb. Okay. Okay, this guy is also doing some damage. Good. 
Okay, I think I need to step up my game a little bit. But we can do that. I saw a blue person blizzard about holding on to the illuminates, that's very good news. For sure. I can't just one shot him right now. I said I was way too scuffed. So, too bad. Oh my god. Uh, I need to. We need to alright this here with a juggernaut or something. This feels like way too squishy. If you can do like 20 runs now. Let's change this. You want an answer for me if I am better than Rob? A true answer. Wow. I'm not prepared. Truth be told, how do you tell? I carry the best. Sorry, it. Moody and Rob arm versus the competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now someone is bonking. Okay. Sparkle, thanks for something. <laughs> Not a fake answer, just a true answer. Yes. I can't add the game. Is there anybody who has the same issue? Can't download? Maybe try to restart your uh, Battle.net or your PC. What does that say to chaos? What do you say about Unix? 
hang on to unused Uber Unix. Let's show you the title of this purse. Save them, guys. Actually, I should make a tweet about this as well, I guess. While we add it. Actually, he probably tweeted this somewhere himself, right? Let me check. Adam. Ah, oh, yeah, he did. This was on Twitter. Hang on to unused Uber Enix. I was figuring out what I wanted, but also they aren't utilizing. It's like a prey icon. Just started the four as a barb. Any tips? Yeah, charge is your friend. Charge. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I should probably wait a little bit for his bonk and see if his bonk is enough. I think I'm doing my nuke too early. I should wait. On the other hand, my god, so crown will be going on. Me go face. So I'm lucky on this thing. What do you guys think about class band season three? Yeah, it's relatively good right now, outside of bars being like a bit busted. Thanks, uh, Tiffy Lee. Appreciate it. Saying that Maxwell guy does not have ancestral charge aspect in the early game variant. Well, the early game variant is usually designed to be only codex powers, and this is not in the codex, so this is why you're gonna get it, but you know, it's not guaranteed. So, like, the starter variant is usually like the one with just codex. I mean, I haven't really seen much of the Maxwell guy on double swing, not a starter, okay. Yeah, maybe Dennis should be there, like, you know, usually we include, like, drop aspects in the end game variants.
to enjoy the new Unix or Rogue. Uh, I enjoyed this guy Hunter so far. I tried the Beast Hall boots, and I mean, they're useful in this build right now for the one shot bosses. Right now, I'm too weak for that. But if I was level 100 and a bit more optimized, I would easily one tap do real right now. Right now, I do like 50 60% of his health. Well, the max of world and then match the health high zone. What do you mean of never? Is it like a frequent issue right now? I know sometimes I can desync because the algorithm is like different from the game or something. But usually it fixes itself. Maybe they change something on the algorithm. Yeah, it was the Feroth. Thanks for the 50 mils. Several days now. Uh, maybe the patch just broke it. Okay. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't used the map myself because I was just looking in game. I mean, there's not that much of a reason right now for Helltides at least to use the map anymore. But I guess if you're like min maxing and you're like not in a game, you can actually look for the right Helltide zone to farm, like in case you want certain plants or in case you want to uh, farm like the best Helltide zones. I guess Harazar is probably the best Helltide zone. Okay. And so let's go with it. Yeah, that's very good. 20 minutes is fine too. 20 minutes like for leveling as well, the farming is really good. Doesn't mean you have this like boss damage output right now in Highland. Yo, someone got melted hard here. Can double swing character found Ubers? You can. The Duel is gonna be a bit slow, but not too bad. Which two leveling build I enjoy the most? Uh, uh Lightning Stone. <laughs> That's robbed number of Ubers in a day. Yep. Yeah, we're probably at... Uh, we did like 30, and then we did like 50, and we're closing in like two uh, kind of duels today. Where's our barb? Okay, here we go. Do you like the delayed damage or twisting blades? Which the blades will just perma swirl around you? Well, if you keep attacking permanently, you have perma swirls. Try that. Play inner side. The 300 stack is the banished lost talisman. I recommend the Rouge build for season 3. It's pen shot or barrage or testing blade. Let's open this.
Yeah, Flutio App is a bit more in the bottom end this season, I'd say. Still really good for leveling and all, but it's flurry and it's RF without precision. So I don't really have like the big oomph that other bots have. I mean, the is also fine. They're kind of on the same level. But I played a lot of random arrows last season, so don't really have any uh, intention to play it again right now. And then let's move on to other games. <laughs> yeah, I heard that he said something like that. Too bad. He might come back, who knows. Such a day-night difference, having like this 3000 armor, not even... 2600 armor, man. <laughs> Thank you. Elder Maclord and Parental. We shut us up. Cyclone is just for the procs there. Yeah. Doesn't do any damage here. Yeah. We can open. So I've dropped Gauntlet after one week later. It would have been interesting for sure to have it early. I wonder what they're going to do next season if they're going to delay it, they want it again. It's going to be like, like this every time now or something. I don't know, man. Can you convert your grandfather into Shaka for your rogue? Yeah, that seems to be the idea with the patch coming up. So we'll see. Best way to grant Indian's course, and is it worth it? Best ways to farm Brazier all day long, and yes, absolutely. What happened to your barb? Why is it dead? Poor guy. Did you deserve that? I got Doombringer and Grand Tolan. Oh, 
Komm, Kim. Oh, warte, Monster Level. Ah, hier, es heißt Monster Level 102. We displaced now. Bob crashed. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's back. There's a huge gold pile, some whisper caches. Yeah, like the, there's like something going on with the gold drops in general. They look kind of weird. Very funky. It's never scaling before, like 20 mass mobs turn a little higher, then you take less damage, do more. Yeah, there is some penalty for being underleveled or overleveled as well, like you do more damage to enemies. I don't know how big of an impact that has. It says that here, and I've not really checked like data points, but here it says monsters at this level have 72.7% .7 visible damage reduction. No one has really understood like what exactly this means. But yeah, high level monsters take less damage basically. And the actual damage to deal is like higher, but it's like not shown that high. There's like some fake damage reduction bonus for monsters. To keep the number small. So you only do 4, 4 trillion. Oh, Widow, thank you for the subs. That's a game update about exclamation mark patch. Helps. Yeah, I wonder why they patched six gigabytes. That seems excessive. But they may have done like you know a lot of like updates and like force them to like you know redo a lot of assets or something. I don't think it's just the event. Did they fix the rogue bug? You mean the one bug on the rogue? That bug? Probably not. Thanks for the subcast.
Yeah, I have buff. And that was not fixed. Actually, for the wolves, we can see what happens. Maybe it is. But I'm probably just going to do no damage now. That's my expectation. Yeah, I did like... Did like 20% to him or so instead of 50 or 60, so... That does not seem fixed. a certain build or ability I would like to see Giga buff in season four. Uh I mean they can make like definitely like new stuff. They could do so pretty easily with not just buffing a certain build but actually like certain like more core mechanics. For example inner sight could need some some like you know extra beefing up. Or they could make like a new key passer for Sorak that enables like multi elements builds. And stuff like that. So I would like to see these things more than just like mega buffing a certain build. I think most builds are at least working pretty well, if not very good anyway. There's like a few exceptions that are kind of like, yeah. Something like Flurry, for example, is a bit on the weaker end, but it's not like atrocious or something. So we don't really have those kind of builds anymore outside of like minion builds. So. What I would also like to see is just like minions on Druid being much more useful in late game, besides being like buff bots. There's Poison Creeper that is actually interesting to press, and then there's two other skills that are not interesting to, to press. And that kind of sucks, so I think I should fix that and give them actually some effects that go beyond just doing damage. And that would be kind of cool. I thought the Druid actually had something like that in the open beta or something. No, it didn't have something like... Extra damage when you have activated wolves or something. I thought so, but anyway. Yeah, I mean, of course, the rework of stats can also mean a lot of things. And that could potentially also be build enabling, right? You know, if you do like crazy stuff, like, you know, of, of the sort of like, you know, converting damage types, converting, uh, you know, like spells into other elements so they can like start working with certain modifiers then it's gonna get much more interesting for sure so that could definitely happen they fought one buff crit yeah, okay, but if you play a Stampede build, you have, don't have Wolven for your Ravens. And the Fortify is a fucking joke from the Wolves. And also, it's not active. So, the Raven active is useless, the Wolf active is useless. That's my problem I have with Companions. Both of them are just doing nothing. If you're not playing an actual Companion build, or you're playing the Wolven Ravens. And the Wolven Ravens, are, yeah, they can be useful, and that's kind of cool. But I think Ravens in general need to do something without the Wolven already. And it doesn't. And the same for the wolves. It's just stupid. Like, every time I play a shepherd build, and I accidentally press one of the, the, my companions, I just feel bad. <laughs> you know? I do have so much material for farming Doriel. Uh, I can watch my video from like yesterday. And then play a lot. Crib is going to destroy level 20 Nightmare Dungeons of his companion build. So many doubts. Sick, man. I saw Crib was doing this uh, companion stuff. And honestly, maybe at around level 50 when you have the glyph and you have like the, you know, the companions like fully maxed out and stuff, I think they're actually gonna do something for a while. Until they like fall off extremely hard. Are there any reports of Durya mods getting deleted in a stash? He lost 200x. 
Sounds very unfortunate for you, my friend. Maybe next time, farm them yourself. <laughs> How to farm? I have a guide for you. <laughs> Does that mean got trade back? No, I think trade is still not back. But I think all the Duryamas that were like duped were deleted. Well, most of them. We had a lot of people actually tell us about uh, Mats getting deleted, so. I got a second shaka. Holy shit. Dude, why is this aspect so shit, by the way? Snap frozen. This is the max roll, like a 9.25. Each chilled or frozen enemy you evade through grants you a barrier that absorbs 603 damage, up to a maximum of 3,000. <laughs> Some damage on Tuesday's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, to be fair, you can reset you evade really fast. Like, you can initially like, evade like once a second or once every two seconds or so. And I guess technically it would allow to like recover a lot of health really fast, right? But I mean, these days you're running around with like 20k health. This gives you like a 15k barrier. When I evade through like five enemies, and then I evade through them again and I evade through them again. And I don't know, it just seems so clunky. I guess if we really try to maximize it, it's maybe not even that terrible. But in like a typical like farming build, I would never use this. <laughs> so I have to evade through them, man. Oh Carl did thanks for prime. Rogue or bomb for season three, eh? Uh yes. Just evade more. Yeah, this is the season of the Juggernaut, so I'm not sure about that. We have hell tight cinders and there is no seasonal bounties. <laughs> Maybe the seasonal bounties are not displayed. It's just try to TP around. I had that bug as well sometimes when I did that on some character. I've seen Rob's video about Uber Malfas or not, it's bugged. Yeah, I don't go on Uber Malfas right now. Bugged it out.
No, did you dupe if you could? People dupe uh, during months. You lost them all anyways. Yeah, yeah, they're all gone. Okay, guys, save your course. Hey, guys, a quick little addition here. Uh, Uber Malthus is indeed bugged. If you are uh, trying to do Uber Malthus here, the Vault of Loom, if you go to the top right portal, I'll do this right now, unfortunately, the game crashes, so save your course and do not do it until it's hot fixed. Or you're going to lose the mats, no refund. So you click this. You know, you're just like in here normally, and then boom, <laughs> network disconnect. Like, there seems to be some some bug. Uh, we need a new patch, a new Okay, I need one of the portals, apparently, the top right one. Okay. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> oh, man. That's the businessman and Rob speaking there. No refunds. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. <laughs> like you lost a billion dollars. Yeah, I mean, it's nice, right? People see it and they don't lose their seven cores, you know, the people that log in. They are happy that they got seven cores together after like grinding the brazier for an hour or something. And then they log in and they lose the seven, and they're like, oh fuck. Un uninstall now. No refund. <laughs> okay, how many more do I have? Two. How do you get the other material for Uber Malfast once inside a dungeon? The other material? You mean the Pearl of Warding? I mean, get those when farming the cores. From the Arcane Tremors outdoors. Did anything from Season of Blood go core? Uh, not yet, but in the mid season patch, they're gonna introduce something. Max rolled icy alchemist. Let's go. Turn to patch. Everyone is suddenly rushing bosses. No, it's just a big boss day, I guess. Hello, Strix2206. Always glad to have new people in my chat, even though you followed on March 30th, 2021. But yeah, I'm playing Diablo 4.
Wait, this guy got what? He got Shaco, Doombringer, and Starless for nine runs. This guy says. When you when they were leveling at level 77. Okay, dude. Okay, I think this is the last run now, guys. Last minutes. I don't have any more. Thanks for runs, guys. I think it's time to try the death trap. Facing blade stuff again, guys. Is anyone killing these guys? Wait. Oh, those are my instants. Wait. I'm alone. I have a fight. Different instance. Okay, I'm alone right now. I guess I can scroll out, worst case. Can't see you. Okay. Uh, do I kill him or do I scroll out? The thing is, it might it might not work actually. If it's, I guess it it might not work. Like they might not be able to join me at all unless you reset. So I think we just kill him. Maybe they can join now. Is it 4 player HP? I think it's 4 player HP as well. He would be dead in one combo otherwise. Oh, here's one guy. One guy joined. It worked. What? Okay, someone who joined me. It's almost staggered, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, we got nothing, anyway. Yeah, I didn't notice that I was in a different instance. Somehow I ended up in a different instance. It's gonna happen sometimes, but I'm not sure what triggers it. Pink Rogue needs a buff. Uh, not really. In general. As long as they fix the bugs of Poison Immument. Maybe buff Flurry a little bit. And maybe Momentum or something. I think we're kind of fine. And the Victimized bugs also need to be fixed. Is it true they ban people? Maybe. All right, uh, thanks for the runs, guys. <laughs> okay. 
It's a huge god snare crown. Race the level gap in the future. I don't know. Alright, I have to do a bit of respecking again. Guys, let's do this. Just some dates time. It would be nice if we could actually spec into this first. Like, uh, okay, we have innovation, you do trap mastery, you want those. And you want the stuff here. We have two points, so now we can do this. We also made your own fridge if you need so it. And also one one point there. Okay, then this is gonna be a place of closer. You found a uh, Varian, congrats. Uh, he can use it on pretty much any durable build, I think. Besides Stormclaw, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this... Let's get the Firefly stuff, it's fine. Okay, we don't do Beastful Boots. We don't do God Slayer. We don't do Sky Hunter. I don't do this. Uh, we can keep this. Do we go Ashira? I think we go Ashira. Trick shot ring. Crit one close. He's a blast trapper. I think we do this one. Um. We do the two handed crossbow. Wait, this is branching volleys. Where did my crossbow go? Ah, uh, here. So you upgrade it, okay. Um, the boots. The helm. Do you have another helm? No, what about what about uh, just a random god slayer actually? It could be a good idea actually. It has cooldown, life, CC, damage. If you can fix our res. We have too much shadow. Too much cold. So we don't actually need a res on our helm right now. Could be interesting. Maybe I'll try it. And honestly, Gosser is probably better than Beastful Boots for like a regular boss kill experience. Okay, got Edge Master accelerating, Blast Trapper. This Mangler needs to be Icy Alchemist. We have that here. And then this is basically it. That's the setup. And this hair needs to be replaced. Here's a wind striker. A 
Okay, we have one problem. Which is really low armor. So this is where another helm would help us. And another helm would also bring us more shadow imbument. But I don't think we need higher shadow imbument. Maybe this ghost there is kind of legit. And he's done freeze or normalize an elite enemy. I'll try it. Do you have another chest piece? Ultimate skill damage. Cut for a close life. Yeah. Did everyone get free Dury kills, free Shakas, etc. Now they take it away. They're not taking away their Shakas, and in fact, they're making it much easier to acquire Ubers in the future because of this post that we have where you can now probably trade your excess Uber uniques in or something like that soon. So you can just start blasting Durials, and then whatever you get, you get a few, that's it. And then you can hopefully convert them or something. Can we do this? Oh, we have one extra skill point actually from the puncture. Since we don't run this easy. How about we do this? More speed. Okay. And a socket. One socket. So do a fire one and an armor one. Let's move this. So let's see how this feels. You have a lot of attack speed, exteriors, and accelerating. Dash Master, Blast Trapper, IC Alchemist. You don't really have like lucky hit bonuses. You have one ring. Okay, with the two rings, you have lucky hit. Nothing else. This could also be actually. This could. Wait a minute. This could be a build for. Uh, where's that thing? Cowl. The nameless. And we are running imbuements beyond the cooldown. The DR is nice, and you get extra like a hit. So extra like a hit is actually pretty legit. But I want to try the God Slayer. I think both have the, have the upsides. I think this might be a build where I would run something like Cal. First time I'm considering it. Oh shit, we need consumers. Problem. I think alternatively we could also go with penitent, but since you have so much, nah, it's it's fine. Okay, so how do we get this? Let's remove this and this. I guess unlucky. So yeah. We have some dungeons to try this stuff. I also have Helltide now, so we can try Helltide a bit. So we have Ghostwalker. I guess I have to aura at this here. Actually, is this enough armor? What if I be out here? We could do the concealment aspect on the neck. And every time we kill one elite, we're gonna get our concealment back. Completely. It's 18 seconds base cooldown. This is 8.6k armor. 
I'm gonna do this. Let's just put a better juggernaut on this thing. You've finally found the perfect 925 scanner from Vault. Honestly, for these weapons, it's not the best. It's not the worst idea to just farm Vault until you get them. Like something like Sky Hunter. It's not that uncommon. Like if you do like you know a few dozen runs or so, you definitely have a chance to find one. Compared to just like trying to farm Zier and you know get like some 890 loot from Zier or some shit, Vault gets you a guaranteed 925. So as long as it randomly drops, from, like for the weapons, I think this is actually a strat. Okay, he's a 9.6 resistant assailant. Cheat, cheat, Umbrus, Umbrus. Is a 15, he's a 8.8, .8. he's a 6.8. Let's just take this, I guess. It's fine as well. It's like a really shitty roll. This becomes 10.2. And then you have a Juggernaut. We have a lot of fucking Juggernauts, what the hell? Take a 4.7. Okay. Let's try it out. Silent Kyle, thanks for yourselves and the Prime. Has anyone heard of a billion damaged blizzard Zorik? Oh, no. What now? Okay, are we going for speech? Or what are we doing here? Our damage feels definitely significantly better when I actually have a high level weapon instead of... <laughs> what did I have last time? 600 item power, I think, when I did this for the first time. I'm going to have Twisting Blades ranks now. Pink Barry, thank you. Wait a minute. Operation, it is. Oh, we can try a boss here. Let's see how the boss fight will go. I think we're actually going to Tempest and resource and stuff. And kill everything with my own damage. I think I would actually prefer this. That's it. Um, efficiency. Resource efficiency and fuck it, we do Swift. Or uh, safeguard. A bit of the R is not bad. Don't need to be so stuck badly. Okay. Kind of works. Look at the stagger, man. <laughs> it's alright. They change the glyph. I have to close the glyph. I think. Level 8. Efficacy, exploit, Night Stalker, my combat. Yeah, the combat is kind of bad right now, but. It gives me a bit, a bit of resource too, which is kind of helpful. Hitting 100 today. Yeah. I mean, 100 is only like two hours away or something right now. If I mean, a bit more maybe if I farm like Hell Tides all the time and stuff. But we're going to do a few vaults and a few dungeons and see how it feels. 
I wanna see like the gods that I can't actually pull in shit, but there's no elites here and stuff. Maybe gods that I can't is a bit wasted since I have the death trap already anyway. Guess this is all about. Maybe I should try the cowl. Maybe this will be a, game, a, a build for the cowl of the nameless man. Thanks, Nairan. I think this dies way too fast for Gold Star Crown to ever activate here. Yeah. Feels good though, it's built. Maybe enjoyable. Just right click. And then spam your traps a little bit. I mean, two damage runes on Sanisha. Now I have only Tempest, some support stuff, and I have the uh, Flash of the Dawn. Thanks, Roddy. Yeah, Coronation and Word of Arcan from a single Nightmare in level 50. <laughs> nice. Dude, I still have like 20 points to spend. Where am I going to spend 20 points? We have this bounty as well. Am I missing something? the fuck? We didn't go for another glyph, man, entirely. Need to check if there's something. I guess turf. We don't have turf right now, do we? Closer, rare efficacy, rare. Yeah, wait, there's no turf. I think that's the fast. Gonna start season four. The tier has changed since launch. Uh slightly. You're gonna move around a few druid builds, but outside of that, nothing really. I think we have uh polarized and S now and some of the other druid stuff moved like down or up one basically, but nothing really crazy. Lord Woodward, thanks for the sub as well. That's the number one thing I'd like to see next season. Well, a good crafting system, man. That is actually fun and engaging and gives us like some long-term goals for our characters. And then hopefully also some extra content that is challenging enough to use those items. So I think that kind of goes hand in hand. Should get into should look into getting office chair from Steelcase or Herman Miller. I like my chair a lot actually. Secret lab chair. It's very comfy, even for long blasting sessions. Coronation on TBA, okay. I put coronation back on TBA. I did some math. And you can use a normal weapon, or even a Shiraz or something. But... Yeah, the coordination just helps you more in the situations where you need it the most, which is on the bosses. 
Because they have more raw damage on the bosses, basically. Which is helpful. And also, it gives you extra attack speed, so even if you are doing easy content, the extra attack speed will be noticeable and enjoyable. Coordination is a really good item, turns out, so... Even if you don't, like, maximize its value. Like, even if you just play, like, a Twisting Blades Rogue with, like, a 1 to 1 puncture to TB rotation or something, Coordination is not bad, because 30% of the time it's going to get free combo points. And your attack speed is faster, the stats are almost comparable to like a normal weapon. So yeah, it's kind of nice. We we're gonna play last epoch this month. Yes. Probably some in March too. Oh, hey, Zepke. Opium. <laughs> I mean, the itemization will include some crafting as well, I think. TB feels like 8, yeah. Yeah, it is an A tier as well, so... Seems like it's just about right. Yeah. Like, it's not S tier. Like, it's, like, very fast. Like, speed farming is, like, one of the fastest builds anyway, still. Well, stuff like this, yeah, but... It doesn't have to boss damage, so we can't really put it, like, for overall S tier. Like, you don't go on one-tap bosses with this build. But I'm gonna try some ammunition and see what happens. So. That's oh, just right here, actually. Two so players are just starting out, it's just ways to stay interested in the game. Always to stay interested, I mean, that always depends on your personality and what you like to play and stuff. I don't have any trouble staying interested in Diablo 4. But that's just, you know, because I like to try new builds, I like to try, you know, strats, try weird challenges. Like, I can always keep myself busy if I want to. Thanks for watching, guys. It's a poison damage coming I mean, for me. I have a poison trap here on my left click. It's poison trap. Looks so cool when you have like these like s s four spinning blades around you at the same time or something. The fire attack speed. Start up a forgotten souls, just open as much as I can. I uh, just found a living steel chest. I give like eight forgotten souls at once, or something like that. And then you know, try to farm 
Havazar Helltide the most. I think Havazar is generally like the fastest Helltide. Also has a good, good bunch of Harbinger spawns. The Harbingers is where you get most of the souls, to be fair. Like, I think Dry Steps, for example, is really poor. Like, you don't really have, like, Harbinger spawns very much, yeah. But Harbingers and also the Hel Screaming Hellvanes, if you find them. Uh, you can actually open them on multiple characters. And you can also, like, farm in a group and try to split up and then try to find them and pin them on the map. So that people can go and loot their Screaming Hellvanes. That's also something. You can get souls really fast if you try to do this. Ah, oh, he's Harbinger. Nice. Yeah, I have a feeling my Godstar Crown is mostly useless. So instead, I think I'm gonna tr I'm actually gonna try Carlton Aimless, man. Yeah, Scotland is also really good to the, the north area for Harbingers and stuff. Southern part doesn't have that many, I think. But yeah, Havazar, in my opinion, is like the best uh, Helltide. <laughs> See you, Sapke. Have a good night. <laughs> I got DJ or TFI, by the way. So if you have any questions, always feel free to ask. Level next season is the flurry season copium i mean flurry is definitely like on route for a buff i think so we'll see why these guys just respawn here i just got got them I think people realize how much L4 is selling. Are you talking about the uh, cosmetic shops or, or what do you mean? Should we go for another chest? Ah, we have 8 minutes, we can do one more. And we look on the druid real quick.
5 out of 10 people here you know bought something from the shop. Interesting. I haven't bought anything from the shop yet. I've looked at it a few times and there's actually pretty cool stuff in there. I think they're actually doing a pretty good job with the shop. Maybe eventually I'll look at something. I kind of enjoy my typical rogue transmog to be fair. I like it simple. Is there an event here or not? You bought one skin for rogue. You mean the skin for rogue? Hey, Pudding. Any advice on the B-Rock boss damage? Chill and cold imbuers, very slow. The idea trick is you try to keep your cold imbue ready for when the boss is staggered. So basically when you're, when you're close to staggering, you stop using cold imbue. And then use it and do like a nice nuke with three calm points two times. You can also try to use your Firefly companion, so you can do a Firefly and then the green supports. That has pretty good boss damage as well. With your Seneschal. And a class town port is to a shop. Interesting. What is what class town port is? But here, dark pathways. Ah, kind of cool. So this is Barb, Necro, Rogue, Sork, Truth. Ah, that look nice. Necro Skull to be doesn't change the portal animation as well. Oh, nice boots. Five minutes. Yeah. What's the update? Uh, the update is in the title. Uh, three minutes seems a bit tight here. We need like 150, 50 per minute. Yeah, let's see. We also have to relock actually. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. We have to relock. Just open two small ones and go. Maybe actually.
Ja, Cruiser, fängst du an rein. Also gonna ready to cap rest before World Tier 4 caps done. Magic resist potion from the alchemist. Otherwise just like a roll rest wherever you can. I mean take your items, enchant them a bit. Be wary of bandits. Let's try this here. Rhymescar Cavern. Does it have a boss? I have no idea. No oh, shit, dude. 57, 57. Okay, let's get rid of all these. 33, what the hell? Okay. And also you wanted to try what is it called? Cow. Let's try the cow. Thank you. What is Cow doing? Lucky hit against crowd controlled enemies. Helps me to proc exposure. As a unit rank, so bigger shadow pops. Cool down, close the R. It's not terrible. It was always like an item where I thought, yeah, it's not really bad, but I don't really need it. But this is actually a build where I think I will need it. I think I also know why, because I never played Death Trap after Season 0, right? It was only in Season 0 that I played Death Trap, and they buffed it after Season 0, I think. With the imbuing ranks. Or they buffed it in Season 2, My favorite class is uh, this one. Okay, let's see this. You're also gonna get like you have a lot of lucky hit effects. You have the lucky hit slow. You have the exposure. We have the innovation. Actually, a lot of stuff that I can get here. Let's tank this and see what happens. Okay, it does like. 25% of my life, that's okay. He's at a 100 monster, so it's a bit low. We're decimating everything, yeah. Feels good so far.
Wait, what? The lightning storm stopped. I mean, I... What? It didn't hit me. Does it stop now when you go into the next uh, zone or something? We enjoyed the beer or pen shot? I like both actually. The pen shot stuff was also really fun, playing like a no generator pen shot. That's kind of cool. I guess TB is probably better for this purpose because it's better, uh, better flow, I feel. Okay, what about this? Okay, that's the hit me. Okay. Seems seems alright. Not even staggered. If I stagger him, he's gonna melt. I wanna try a tanky boss that I actually stagger. Any new governing stones at our peace and patch? Nah, they only buffed the damage of all of them a little bit, so nothing really crazy changed or something. Come back and see us. Um, it's not a Goar. I'll make a planner for this version. I will. If I like the build, I will make a planner. Maybe I make this like some kind of like speed farm extra variant in a death trap. I mean, it's basically the death trap build that we already have, right? There's like TB, death trap, all the stuff. So maybe you can just, you know, make this like a speed farming variant that actually just doesn't run common points and a generator. But it's like, you know, more delicate to manage, right? You need like, you need to have like the setup, you need to play around the tables will properly. Etc. So there's there's definitely like some things to be aware of here. Yeah, these guys are too squishy. Like if these were a bit tankier, I would actually uh, be better off here as well. Yeah, this feels like, you know, day one in June, man. Spam that. It's actually the build as well, almost. Spam that shit. I just don't have Umbro in my build. <laughs> I had Umbro back then. I don't even need that right now. I'd actually, I'd probably like to replace my Edge Masters aspect with something. Like this Edge Masters aspect, I would probably replace that one first. And put Starless. You there. Alright. You there. Let's go. What am I playing? I'm playing the Ammo 4. You can sell with Junk Marked Sigils. Oh, did it did it change that? You can salvage all the junk sigils. Wonderful. Now, if I can take this to T one hundred with the same pace. It's gonna be an S tier build. We're just 55 tiers away. Can we do it? <laughs> Take this 
my friend. Take this, my friend. Okay, I see the boss here. Almost there. Okay. This one's a bit higher. There's no beast fall. I moved to beast fall. We need the resources on, on a setup like this. And if you remove something like resource and put breaking, we don't need the last trapper, I think. Could get an extra aspect there. Although I have no idea what I would put there, to be honest, without Star Disguise. Uh, there's like no weapon. Fuck. What do I put there? We, yeah, we could do corruption. Corruption is not terrible. 40% extra, so this gives me uh, not too much, but it's like. Wait. Okay. Yeah. It's 1.3% DPS with mixed chat environment. This is not really relevant, and then just bigger pops that we also don't care all that much about, to be honest, so maybe not corruption. We could do in our calm, but it only works on a boss, really. Right, not even guaranteed. Yeah, this build really needs to start a skies. Retribution. I think Retribution will be better than Blast Traverse, actually. Don't have one. So I champion's demise. This is Monster Level Hunter 4. Did it change? Victimize? It seems extremely weak now. So nothing changed. This is preparation, nice bird. Yeah, we have Tibbot's Will, Shadow Step, Concealment. I don't have any resource cost reduction on my amulets, all my boots, and the setup works. <laughs> it's kind of wild, actually. If I had like one resource roll, this would actually feel pretty smooth. Like and now, I, I gotta be a bit careful, and I think it would actually get to the point where I would actually get two points back on my uh, on my skills. Okay, wait, we, we don't actually, we have, uh, consuming shadow, I mean, don't have consuming shadows. Okay. Alright, I think Blast Trappers is actually needed at all in the setup right now. Now I think about it. We have also the concealment making stuff vulnerable. Blast Trapper is really useless. Even on the boss, I can just like spam my uh, vulnerable basically. Because it lasts for 6 seconds, and my hit also lasts for like 2 seconds or 3 seconds. So one concealment makes the target vulnerable for like 9 seconds, and then I have exploit cliff, 3 seconds, every 20 seconds. And then I have my death trap that resets my concealment. 
So I need to try to find like a relatively tanky boss and actually see how reliable I can give it up. Not quite, I guess. Terry Shrine. Yeah, the real drops are supposed to have max rolls, they just um, messed up on the like with the movement speed. Do I have flirty RF? No. Well, it's gonna be fine. That's some good old blasting, man. With tracing blades. I like it. Now with the new and improved WSD movement. to my armor. Dude, armor breakers. Holy shit, I just realized. <laughs> That's why everything hurts so much, yeah. 7k. Was DJ, yes. Hey, Jonathan, I heard about this, yes. I also tweeted about it. Kinda cool. Is this just pen rapid fire? Yeah, that's pretty good. Also disabled in Virtual 4 because of the connection issue. Ah, it's not a bad move, I guess. Make sure that people don't run into that problem. Okay, let's see this boss. Okay, we're not staggering him. But a bit longer and we would, and then the <laughs> power. And he's a death trap again. Yeah, we can actually sustain like this. Oh nice, this was a whisper. Go a bit higher. I'm running Death Trap, but a no compound variation. Uh, well, that's a neat damage. Do we have the Rana's Instinct board on this? I guess that's kind of what we're missing, right? We need to put the Rana's Instinct somewhere. Then we put... We have Comet Glyph here, but... It is done. Uldor's Cave. Crit resist. This is hardcore, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. I wonder how... I wonder what happened. You know, they didn't really touch Walter Loom or anything, right? In this patch. Like, how did it suddenly bug out and... You know... You can see in Walter Loom on that one portal out of all portals. Like, what happened? <laughs> you know? Why? Bugs, man. So much fun right now. Love it. Also a new season of shirt and no pants work. No. Not too bad about that series fan, but melting. Okay. Okay, lots of sure apparently. Hell yeah. Let's try this. Anyone needs a Duria killer? I'm down bad, no keys. <laughs> Killing Duria is not the hard part. The mods are the hard part. Especially these days. I think I'm gonna see a lot less of people trying to get carried with their bald, duped nuts now. So I wouldn't really count on just getting invited because you can one shot the rail. No work here. Thanks for subs. Enemy horde incoming. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm on the way. Any big changes in Ibanez so far? Yeah, I'm trying to find anything, Chronix. So far, I've noticed anything. I've been running a few. I'm not sure if you're also running, but yeah, I don't really find any changes in Ibanez. If anyone finds like a dungeon that is different from Repatch, let me know. Because you have to investigate. Yeah, this was almost, this was like a almost like a bar actually, in like one oldest cave. Where's this reach? Guran canals. Let's try this one. Let's go and like do some night runs for now instead of vaults. Let's see if we can notice anything. I also wanna try. When I, when I see like where's the sweet spot for the for farming with the bosses, it seems like so far we can actually sustain resources on boss without any resource rolls. That's actually nutty. We don't have cooldown either, actually. We only have cooldown on the helm. Yo, James, thanks for coming. But with resources on pets, true. I can remove it though. I don't think it's really necessary. Let's try it without. So, safeguard, efficiency. I'm just gonna put the braking now, I guess. Which also doesn't really matter, but whatever. I was running this earlier without the resource. But let's see on the boss when we get one. That's not a boss dungeon though. Knowing the fun police that changed dungeon domain tunnels. <laughs> well, that's that would be interesting actually if they did. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind if Domain Tunnel's meta is just dead and the buff whispers a little bit. And if the buff whisper XP by like 50%, that would be probably good enough to just like kill Domain Tunnel meta. Or even more interesting would be if they like made whisper zones just like a higher level, you know, more temporarily. Uh, what the fuck? Bugged. Okay, then. Uh, Underroot. I have no idea if Underroot has a boss. I've checked out the patch, it was the same. So the mental has not changed. Interesting. Now we have to play it through like 120 dungeons to figure out what did what is that one thing that changed. Yeah, let's see. With the barrier mod. It's a blast everything now, but it's only around 100 months, so this should be like 106 now. We're gonna level up efficiently. I'm just trying this because it's a new dungeon. I wonder if I should run uh, the cooldown twisting blades actually.
Good times. Did you play it as well, Skrax? Oh, they nerfed it. Okay, we turned the stash here, so I guess this means we have a boss here, right? I guess the fly boss, or maybe sea hack. Ah, shit, no boss. I wonder if this pace would be the double swing. Could be pretty close. But the thing is, I require more uniques. Like, without Tibbot's will, this is not feasible with this. You can't get Tibbot's will in a race. Did a new learning screen patch? Did I change uh, character selection as well and stuff? I think. Looks a bit different. Let's try a bit higher and try some of the boss dungeons. So the reason I play in 60 FPS. Yes. Number one. I record in 60 FPS, I stream in 60 FPS. Number two. I strain on the PC. What did I remove here? Yeah. This stuff, I guess. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Let's just do this. I'm gonna fix our glyphs at some point. Crash on faith. Mercy's reach. Faceless shrine. I have no idea about faceless shrine. I don't care much. Let's craft some 51 to 60 and see what happens. He's a 55 bastion. Let's try this one. So, wait a minute. All junk. Okay, this doesn't work. All junk sigils. Wow. So you can't do it at the blacksmith, where most people probably do it. But you can do it here. Cool. Welcher Rogue Build macht am meisten Bock? Hey, Aunt Lady. Uh, Panareth. This one is also really cool, though. I like this one. Old school, Death Trap, TB. It feels very nice and smooth right now. The constant shadow explosions really help. Push this like 30 tiers higher in vault so I don't have to worry about bosses. And I think this actually works, if you ask me.
Es arbeitet jetzt mal nicht. Mit ein bisschen mehr Ausrüstung. Stufe 85, sicher drin. Ja, wir sind, wir sind gerade selber nur Super 96 und meine Glyphen sind auch nicht gerade im besten Zustand. So also warten wir mal, bis das geregelt ist. Die Waffe ist auch nicht toll. Gibt's hier einen Pass? Ich glaube, ne? Ne, es gibt keinen. Das sind glaube ich die drei Elite und das war's. Ab geht's. Okay, wir müssen aber mal aufräumen hier im Nachrichtenkanal. Das wird mir zu deutsch. Das ist schon, schon ein ziemlich genialer Bau hier. Für diese verfluchten Brunnen zum Beispiel. Einfach rechtsklick gedrückt halten. Noch eine Runde. Ah, okay, nicht schlecht. Okay, let's go back to English, guys. Not clinging the shrine here. Check my transmog. Oh, shit. Here we go. By Chronix. Alright. Nah, this build is pretty much on Maxwell, it's just not this exact version. There's a common point death trap TV version. I might make like a variant or something for it. I mean it's all this only works if you have like you know a pretty much full setup. Doesn't mean it worked before. Level 100, I guess. Okay, this room usually goes to the top left and not to the top right, remember. Can 
Na, hat Spaß. Going for a sweet hundred. What do I do now? Uh, you said you didn't check my transmog, so I'll link your transmog. Give me a screenshot or an image or something. Let's save this one. It's kind of funny when I think about it. This is like almost one to one the build I played back on launch. We yeah, we went like full circle. <laughs> But it actually works really well right now. Lights are huge. Does this have a boss? Let's see. Inspect me. Okay. I can do that, I guess. Hi, Alex. How did I come up with Rudijo? How many languages do I speak? I speak three languages and I came up with Rudijo. Pretty randomly, to be honest. Uh, am I gonna die here from something? No. View profile. Okay, so Chronix wanted to redeem my transmog. Uh, check my transmog redeem. It's, this is like something from the shop, right? What is this? Yeah, I've seen Chronix walk around like this. Okay, I mean, number one, he has like this fucking level one shield. Broken. <laughs> it doesn't go at all with the rest of the theme. That is like, you know, fancy. With the hats and the pants. Look at the shiny pants, man. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like everything. I don't like the shield. So the shield just doesn't fit at all. Maybe that's the meme. Even the maze is kind of cool. Like, it looks like it's a wand, I guess, but it looks like a maze. But, uh, yeah, the color theme, like, it's kind of cool. Is this like a combination of stuff from the shop or something? Or, like, how, how does this transmog made? Can we see this? Transmog 2? No, we can't. 10 out of 10 shields. Yeah, the pants, man. The pants are definitely a highlight on this thing. They do a pretty good job, I think. Now, what build is he playing with this? He has a wand. Is he doing Bone Spear or Bone Spirit or something? He's just like strolling around. It's a free season pass stuff. Ah, okay. I didn't realize that's some stuff actually. What do you get from a rogue? Travel to Thunder God's Refuge. Uh -uh. I don't remember this dungeon that well, but I know I like this one because it has this nice layout. Yeah, it's just like this open layout. It has a really cool theme. Is this the same auto for every class? The free one? I know like there's also some stuff like this, like demon-like armor set or something. That is like from the paid battle pass, I guess. All classes, okay. I can check. I should have that too, right? Okay, there's actually no boss, you just run through, and that's it. Ah, that's our dudes here. Yeah. This guy's insta staggered.
I'm not someone Chronix poo transmog. Okay, unlucky Chronix. See you later. Yeah, of course it's manual. Mercy's Reach, that's not this one. <laughs> we rock this in the gauntlet, he says, famous last words. Before the hammer swings, kapa. I noticed any difference with the rogue after the patch. There's no difference with the rogue, unless there's some hidden change, but there was nothing in the patch notes about rogues, so I don't really expect anything. What? I'm actually down here in the last corner. F. Much helling. I live in Bulgaria right now. Shit, I should have saved my left up for the big room. That's wasted. That's better. Thanks for subs. What's the third language? Uh, French. I mean, I, I can understand some things in Greek, but not really all too much, I wouldn't say I speak it. I've also studied a few other languages a little bit, but none of them, you know, I can really like have a conversation in or something. I know some basics. But the internet is better here. The internet is pretty good, yeah. This is the main reason we moved here, actually. Well, that's not the reason why I left Germany. But why we went here in the end. For now. I think I've been breaking band of trickery. I think it's awful. Why did I leave? Because Nini is Greek. So I went to Greece. And then I realized the internet sucks. And I said, I want good internet when Diablo 4 comes out. And here we are. Mania has better internet. True, but it was also further away. Okay, fucking Tomb Lord, man.
If you can stack him a bit faster, man, that would be sick. I have an idea. We just go smiting. It's not such a terrible offensive aspect. I mean, realistically, I should probably just put a resource one on this, like the Ravenous. If I put just Ravenous on this, I think it will be chilling. Doesn't have a damage on Boston. We have a smiting. Oof. It's been a long time since I ever considered running a smiting. <laughs> we have this one, what is this intended to be? A weapon to save, right? Axe, overpower, close, berserking. Uh, that's a pretty good item. If you want work done, let's get started. Yo, Falzor Monarch, thanks for the two subs. Single target setup for Seneschal. Seeking piercing multi. Firefly, yeah. All green. Number nine is more XP than Waltz. Uh, no. Oh, wait. Well, we had a few guys already. Thanks, uh, Mir says two. Good plan. And then, we share subs. Oh, my runs feel nice after 1,000 world runs. <laughs> I agree, man. At least you get more variety and stuff. Like, it feels pretty nice to run some Nightmare Nations right now. And actually kill a boss. And actually see, like, you know, my actual damage, you know. Boss damage is pretty important in this game, usually. And this, this season is just like, nah, who cares. Attack speed, attack speed after dodging attack and lucky hits. Hmm. Feels good, man. Death Trap, Adelis, Kapow. Very fun. Yeah, Mercy's Reach is always fun because of those two rooms, man. There's really a highlight in this dungeon. I hope they never change this. Like, it just makes Mercy's Reach what it is, dude. <laughs> you walk in, and there's like 10 elites, and you blow them up, man. I mean, the rest of the dungeon is actually not that impressive, so... I don't think there's a reason to nerf it.
Yeah, I think it's the strat here next time. He's gonna bait this thing to the side. Out of all the builds I've done, which is the favorite and why? I mean, all the builds, like, ever or this season? Well, to be honest, my favorite build is probably the one I also played at launch. Probably maybe also because of the good memories attached to it. Death Trap. So that's basically what I'm playing right now. It's definitely one of the top, top, top builds for me. This is Vault of Stone. Not to show no house or this. Uh, establish all sigils. Blind burrow, so shed resistor. Collapse water, I don't know well enough. Howling warren. There's this reach on the root. We just did an under root. It had like this was like the drowned map and it didn't have a boss, so goodbye. I'll try the howling Morin. Mercy's Reach, and you see it in the Elite Room doing Season 1 Rush to 100 and Hardcore at level 99. Oof. Oh, I also had my DC in Season 1 at level 93. And I was like two levels ahead of the next guy. F. Right after I finished an event, and there was like one little bat that killed me. Nice death puzzle, no joke though. It's a pretty squishy setup I have here right now. This is like the main problem of this right now. Look at my chronics. I mean, I'll become good with the shrines next week. I mean, the shrines will also be in vaults now, so. I don't think this will be the matter. You also have the extra shrines, affix and vaults and everything. Dodged. Just the sound was loud. I love the new zoomed out character select screen. Hmm. Is that like a. Uh, or shattering of a bigger zoom in game as well. Copium. Yeah, out of all the builds ever, I guess this is probably my favorite actually. Death Trap. Death Trap is so satisfying, man. Maybe Kratos Barb. Kratos Barb was also really cool. Definitely gonna play that again at some point. It starts getting a bit rough though, 60. Still have 25 tiers to go. Fourteen K life. Rocked. F. 
Uh, the fuzz is too heavy, man, at this level. That's too much. I think the first time this rogue actually procs. Didn't even, like, when I went to, like, about your 4 at level 50. What is it? 51? Tax speed, lucky hits. Ditch, yeah. Yeah, death pass is too much at this point. I wonder if I can make it tank, yeah. I guess I could. I mean, this helm is optional. It doesn't really do anything specific. Now, what would I put, though? The problem is without a left click, I can't do might. Protector sucks really badly at this point. We already have Juggernauts. We don't need more armor. <sighs> like, I don't know what to put there. You know, Shako, man. <laughs> Shako is like actually GG because you get more life. You get like two defensive aspects in one from the Shako and power. Shako is actually insane now. 51 World 4. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's fucking like nutty, man. Great Barrage. Precision. Cold imbue. Like you walk up to your lead, you throw a smoke grenade. Kapow, gone. That was fun. Even Herald of Malthus, I did in one combo. <laughs> I walked up to Held of Malthus after I ended World Tier 4. Smoke grenades, ice imbue, kapow. That was, that was pretty cool. <sighs> well, what to do? Could clean this up a little bit here, to be honest. Can extract a few things as well. It's the Tempest Roarer. I also have this here, what is this actually? Quite so 78, this is like an old emulator thing, right? That I try to roll at some point. But I think it's like 5 million per roll. But I just have double cooldown and set the fuse, but no movement. So I'm not sure how valuable this will be. Is it an essential? I should probably not run more death pass basically. Death pass is just too much at this point. Yeah, this build would actually greatly benefit from a shako. Like the resource is good, the cooldown is good, the life is good, the skills, everything, the damage reduction. It's basically exactly what this build needs. And this time was not really doing that much for it. You have the 20 close reduction, which is okay. No life. And a Starless. And if I have a Starless, I probably have enough all rest to just like not run triple rest on my chest. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't think I should run that much rest. I got overcut by 60 on poison. Nice. And you can also do it one here. I can definitely I can run only one res or so right now on the chest. That would also help with the DR. It would actually be in a good spot then. I don't have enough space for this right now. Okay. 
everything but two. Let's see. Not every Uber Nate becomes available to drop. I need a five monster level, but forget about it. It's just farm the real. Okay. So this is nine, seventeen, twenty, twenty one. It's like any other aspect, like one more aspect. It's like one perfect one. It's a perfect icy alchemist, for example. Let's just throw this in there. We can mule this soon. Okay. Let's finish this. The aspect stuff is the least favorite part of the game. Yeah, I think a lot of people agree with that. Luckily, it's changing in a few weeks. Oh, three months, I guess. I won't miss this aspect hoarding for sure. Okay, no boss there. Ancients of Planner? Soon. I got two Burnix. Found it today after like nearly 100 runs finally. Let's try Blind Burrows, but it's Shadow Resistance, so let's see. Yeah, aspects are going away. A new itemization change is good for season four. Yeah, they're a massive step up, I think, from what I've seen at least. Which arguably was a pretty early look. But uh, the system seemed very nice. The big angry spiders here, man. Holy. That was a shadow and poison. Oh, the, the sigil is shadow resistance. And vulnerable resistance, actually. It's like the worst combo, actually. Blind Bros is back in the rotation, pork, and no one has noticed until you see it on my stream, because everyone was in vaults. F. <laughs> I guess for group farming, this is still like really fast if you want to boost someone. This dungeon will always have a special place in my heart. Season 0, man. 
Farming Morgans works. I remember I was doing like this nice rotation because I didn't want to do like this dungeon reset strat. So I was still doing like uh, rounds, you know. Doing like a dungeon here, a night dungeon there. Doing the PvP zone every half hour or something when everything respawns. Going around to circle back to Morgans works. So it was really fun actually. This little route I had. This was also the first dungeon I've cleared T100 in Season 0. Best 9 minutes rotation wasted. It's true, man. This season is definitely the best. Because the quality of dungeons is pretty nutty. The boss is not tanky enough, man, to get staggered. Fuck. It's just, most of them are just not staggering fast enough, to be honest. Like, it's not bad, but it's too slow. This is already like a 20 something second fight. Okay, I got this finally. Uh, well. Ranger Infusion Control. Chip Turf. Let's do Turf. Sue's on the loose. Next, what's up? You heard the seasonal theme could be better. I was putting it mildly. But uh, the patch they've done was quite an improvement. More blind burrows. Actually, I see a direct comparison with a non shadow resistance map. It's the same tier. Hello, my Korean friend. Hello, Mary. Nerf. What do you do once we hit 100? Well, you start grinding out good gear, your glyphs, and farm Dorio. Get ready for Gauntlet. Have some fun. Do some T100s or something. Get Lilith. It's time to send a physical resist, I just realized. And from shadow resist to physical resist, so not not much better. Or any bird of any class using pink or just gone, but yeah, Arc Lash and Stormclaw. That's really gone but matter. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't know if there's like any special monster scaling or affixes or anything. We don't know like how tanky stuff is gonna be. But you'd have to play a build where you can kill bosses instantaneously on tier 70. And there's not too many builds that really do that, to be honest. But tier 70 is a pretty good difficulty. It's like, you know, some something speed farmy, but not like super hard. And also not super easy to like just kill everything. So it's kind of a good, good tier, I feel. But then we don't know if there's like extra, you know, HP modifiers or anything like that right now. So it could be just like 9 minutes in tier 70, it could be like uh, higher. I mean, 9 minutes actually have like, you know, some monster HP and monster damage nerf, right? 
the next special from the rest of the game. They're an easier. And funny enough, give more XP as well. And uh, I don't know if this, like, for example, also is the same in Gauntlet. Maybe. A new Bonium. New Bonium. So, Rogue is my favorite glass to blast with. Yes. I would say that. But you can ask the bot if you want. Just charge, explode five bosses. Now you will see if the. if charge actually survives the mid season patch. Maybe, but maybe not, and even if that's true, they're still rogue that I want to compete on. And his rogue doesn't have charge, so... Playing uh, Death Trap Pissing Blades right now. All the bot knows though, anyway. Oh, here we go. I mean, stuck it on Kapow. So that would just melt. Three scrolls right next to each other. What are we going to do with all these scrolls, Chronix? That's the question. I feel like now that they actually find these scrolls, I have so many of them now. Because <laughs> they actually see them. Fast travel. <laughs> oh man. Fracture Peaks, Helltide started. I'm there. <laughs> Easy. Okay, still prison. How many is last? 34 minutes. It's more efficient to farm small chests than large on hell times, so we just need Forgotten Souls. Now, the Forgotten Souls seems to scale up the cost of the chest. Which is kind of interesting, because the Living Steel doesn't. I don't know, understand why. But somehow this is how they roll. I do not comprehend. Dude, what's going on with five points here? Then And my FPS. A 
for first time rogue player. Are you playing Tissing Blades or NRF? I feel like some of the best right now. Or oh, Barrage. Barrage is pretty decent. Also fairly simple. Maybe to 50 with Pen Earth. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, then keep going. It's really powerful this season. Retry. I mean, it's pretty fast clear, yeah. I think the saving speed is good. Now... Okay. Yeah, I need one resource roll for this build, man. One. Or status. So it's one maximum guy to use ice blades, so many variants. Yeah, I guess Norfolk did all stuff there because I mean this was also all preseason, right? We didn't know how everything would play out and stuff. How can I help? And then I guess we'll see where it consolidates a bit. Bolt of the stone. Good pen glove. See, not using a specialization. <laughs> That's a funny question. You understand there's more than one. The question even made it sound like you know there's more than one.
Oops, yeah, buff Ranger Cliff. Ah, uh, we can do something here, I guess. Let's do a bit of like hell tide for a change. I don't know these. 24 minutes, like, let's finish this and then a hell tide. Tassets, man. I don't really need any pans anyway. We have enough tibbles from doing elf grind. There's no pants I really want down. There's no chance I'm gonna run something like Temerity or something, so it's fun. He's a smiting. I was considering running smiting on his build. I might actually put it on and see what happens. See if we can like make us stagger the boss. Definitely would be interested in the difference it makes. So let's do the health a little bit and stuff. Let me come back. I wonder if I should go this way, actually. As well as we don't even have the armor there. Maybe you want it. Let's do an armor right there. For two points. Is Spotify sponsoring me now? No, it's not Spotify sponsoring me. This is basically my own stuff I have in the rotation there as well. It's the, the synthwave that we have on Spotify. I have my own synthwave music that was produced by Lowef Records under my name on Spotify. There's four albums. And if you want to check it out, there's uh, Expansion Rock Music. That's the main time playlist, plus that. Yeah, it's really cool. I really like the music. I don't know how fast I can kill something like Vashan, is this? I didn't work on the music exactly, not even as, so as I said, this was in, in collaboration with uh, Low Wave Records. And uh, they have music producers and stuff. I, I mean, I, I, I worked with them and talked with them and stuff, but I wasn't like actually the guy like, composing it or something. Basically, the idea is they make this music, and you know, I have it, I can use it, and you know, I advertise it, and people are free to enjoy it. So, I have my own stuff, and you know, I want kind of profits. It's really cool. It also helps me because I can actually use this in like my videos, it's copyright free on YouTube and all that, so that helps a bit. Yeah, exactly, got filtered through my taste, so pretty much that's how I can say it. Like, we did actually like have like some revisions and stuff, and I was like, okay, I don't really like this, can you change that, and you know, this kind of stuff. And uh, they did, and yeah, it's pretty cool stuff now. I think it's on Apple Music as well. I just don't have the link for it there, but you can find it under my name. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, they changed the presser. Yeah, actually... I haven't really noticed it so far. You gotta pay attention to it. I gotta change the presser, so... You can play the game now.
Bit of leveling, kind of slacking. Yeah, I only did like 100 durials today. And like uh, 15 Marshans, Grigoras, and like 100 Whispers. And like 15 level ups on my characters. And also changed my build like twice. Definitely mega slack right now. So got this. Uh, this is not a regular TB build. This is kind of where we ended up after trying a lot of weird stuff with Beastfall, Boots, and Rapid Fire Death Trap, and then I did some Pen Shot Death Trap. And now we're doing this here. And yeah, it's actually very close to like the original like Speed Farm Death Trap again. And it just works so well, man. This combo is just so nice. Death Trap TB, man. It's kind of funny how we got back here again. And it actually has some single target compared to the pension variants. Like the new gold explosion animation, I don't like it really. It's a bit much. Is that a guy in stealth or something? the fuck? Must be a guy in stealth. I can go stealth too. Where is he? The fuck? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> what the hell? He wasn't stealth, man. He was standing there. <laughs> Got him with the death trap. Easy. That was funny. Oh, that's a ring, man. Okay. Nine more faster, faster than vaults or leveling. Nope. That was like a PvP battle. Two rogues in stealth. Okay, let's extract this. Just put it on a ring. And see how the smiting feels once we get there. What's the difference between the double swing and the mono maxwell? 
I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, I think it has like one or two showers there, and I'm not sure if they play Steel Grasp. Mine is like really heavily focused on like mobility. I'm just like going fast, basically. I guess the one Max was probably a bit like more sturdy and powerful. Like raw output. We have 20 minutes left, easy. Wish there was a more exciting unique for the B of Flurry. I don't really have like any specific uniques, right? But honestly, I don't think they really need it right now. Okay, let's see this. Let me stagger him. Uh, kicks off his like really big stagger HP. Can't stagger him. So I'm not even close to like a normal bossman, holy. Okay, what's the timer? I have not hit in the last four seconds, okay. It's very important. So I need to make sure I don't shadow step too often. I get the cooldown reduction. Take man, this boss. Who designed us? I need names. Can you do one hundred nine minutes of CBA? Yeah, you can. But not with exactly this variation, I think. I go corn points again and poison. I have never gotten a decent drop from this thing. Well, I mean, my kill speed was way too slow for this now, but I wanted to just see like how long it takes. With my damage, I would not really go for kickstart, but he does drop souls. He does drop a, f a few cinders. If you can kill him in like 30 seconds or so, it's definitely worth doing it. Or well, if you're low on souls, it's usually always worth. Because souls don't really happen, happen that fast. When I'm blasting Palvert, uh, most likely never.
Can I stop? Oh, this guy's waiting now. That's about this guy. This is talking to your bar post patch and your weapon and the amulets are gone. What? <laughs> what were these weapons and amulets they had? No <laughs> refunds. <laughs> I don't. Did anyone else lose some gear? The standing build for Rogue is pen shot. Yeah, pen shot I would say is nice. Pen shot NTB, yeah. they're both fun. Try Blizzard apparently doing 3 million damage. Wait, what happened with Blizzard exactly? Bought by Microsoft. Ah, okay. So they buffed Blizzard. Yeah, someone said so apparently Blizzard is doing 3 million damage now. But I don't know, like the patch didn't change anything on Blizzard, like did something happen? Like, where is it coming from?
If possible, a rope build with only basic and trap. Sounds like a terrible idea, if you ask me. I mean, traps don't really do that much damage. And neither do a rogue basic attacks. Even with pain gorgeous. Okay, can we do too much chest actually in 12 minutes? We can probably. Let's see. But a pen I have on if you use a tier 100 bag on board, it would be good for any tier dungeon. Yeah, of course. I mean, you can still run lower tier dungeons with that. It's just like more optimized because the the T100 setup that I have is actually like a I think a physical version completely, right? There's like no Night Stalker and Shadow imbue and stuff. So it's just like pure physical, and you don't have like the Shadow Pops, but you just have like more raw output and stuff. So this is why I did that. You can definitely try to farm like you know 90s or something in vaults and just play the normal build. Team Rebuild will be recommended for T90 plus. Yeah, that's the poison variant. I have that on Max Roll as well. One of the variants is the, the high tier poison stuff. I think that's probably still the best. It's just to like go full bursting venoms and everything. And melt stuff. Salvage or sell rare items. Better nice salvage. But at some point you will have enough mats that you don't really need them much anymore. Ah, Bob was on 15. I think I'm gonna go there anyway. Do I get uh, Zia's blood? Even if I don't have a Whisperer? I guess so, right? We still get it. Everything is hard times by engine TV, which clearly sucks, as you can see on the screen.
Okay, seven minutes for the chest. It's in the southern area. It's very far. Let's see, we can do it, I think. The only one who doesn't drop 925 triple resistance move speed boots. I mean, boots don't have that much armor. You can definitely get away with lower item power. Doesn't have to be 925 on boots, I think. You can buy with chest more and, you know, your weapons and stuff. Boots, I mean, these are 823 and who cares. Yeah, Poison TB is the best for high tiers. Even with the nerfs, like it's definitely significantly weaker than it was, but it was relatively powerful, and there's still x files Wing, which wasn't nerfed really. So, with x files procs, you easily pop like even the entire pack sometimes. Minus elites, maybe, and you have like single target damage of Poison. And unnerf TB. I mean, technically, they didn't really nerf TB, they just bug fixed this. And I'm very glad they did, if you ask me. And I mean, Hoda and Charge are both getting destroyed next patch for sure, I think. So. To hurry, man. Three minutes. Or like 115. It's looking bad. Very bad. Maybe just open like two small ones, and that's it. The mount is slow, nothing here. Oh shit. I think this is over.
I'm gonna hop into the little consolation prize. I think it's just open my gut here and ignore the big chest. F. If it was already down there, I could, but it's also so far. I have to like straight run now. We have a build for Poison DB. Yeah, the Maxwell Guide has it. One of the variants is... Uh, in the Testing Blades Guide, one of the variants is uh, Poison DB. 4100. Wait a minute, sigils. Okay, I wanted to try... I think Howling Warren also doesn't have a boss, right? Let's try a bit of a higher boss, so let's do... Let's go up to 61 to 70. Marina's Refuge. This is a good one to try. I'll try this one. Rapid Fire Rogue, good for leveling in endgame. Endgame, yeah, bro leveling, it's not that great until you get the aspect. The aspect is somewhat important for it, I'd say, for leveling. And it's not in the codex. I don't know if a dagger or a sword, doesn't matter if you use ranged, it's just a stat stick like for barbs, the same thing. Hey, these things actually moved. I thought it was usually one way closer. Interesting. Three minutes for help us, by the way, guys. I've tried any of the unique bows yet. I have tried Eaglehorn and Skyhunter. Skyhunter is very good. And Eaglehorn was actually working as well in the build I was doing earlier. If you don't play precision, you can actually play Eagle Horn for pen shots. I told me I'm missing. A lot. Okay.
on 65, world tier 4, world boss, surely I'll be safe. Ah, if you have like close to 9k armor with a juggernaut aspect, easy peasy. Okay, how long? 47 seconds. I can do it. How's Barrage looking in game? Very good. Barrage is popping off. Oh my god, I could have that spawn too. No. Go away. I should be a shadow step close quarter combat instead of counter's position for a full range build. And because Ring of Arrows is mostly a dot build and position there's nothing for poison imbuements. I was going to maybe try like a combo point Rain of Arrows build with rapid fire and then just like press Rain of Arrows sometimes and use figure set to reset sometimes. But it's like very different, you know, it's like not really like the main Rain of Arrows build anymore, it's just like Yeah. Like the idea of the random arrows build was that you spam rapid fire all the time and then you reset with uh, preparation and you have like very frequent random arrow users. In late game you do it more with flicker step. But yeah, even so you still want to have the preparation in there. I don't really want to play combo points, and if you don't play combo points, then precision is not that strong. And again, since most of the damage actually comes from the poison imbuement, and poison imbuement doesn't work with precision either, it's just like kind of like not really a good synergistic combo. So did we get blood? We did, okay. There's more health touch with whispers. Kind of like this. I'm using Elon, how far does the arrow travel? I don't think it really travels further actually. Or maybe a bit. So it's just like a screen or something. Wait, were you there, Walden, or what? Is Bliss in general listening to the community and what the players want? Yeah, they're doing a really good job at that actually, I think. That the, the ability aspect working for any class? Yes. And I talked about Barrage, it's it's very similar to Pen RF, I think, in capability. I played some Barrage on this Rogue here and I had an absolute blast. I went to World Tier 4 at level 51. It was just destroying. It was nice. Should probably uh, gamble soon. Eight of the nine nine, they can gamble.
got a Tuscan, is that instant equip? As long as it doesn't mess up your rest, yeah. Tuscan is a really powerful item. It's like nearly Shaco level, honestly. Exclamation for Uber drops. Uh, I don't think we have a clip on the command or something. But we're gonna make a little like clip for YouTube tomorrow. Kinda of strange how one aspect, man, the Struggernaut aspect just changed so much, I feel. It's an interesting aspect, to be honest. Like on a Rogue, there's like so many of these armor nodes and all that stuff on the Paragons, and you just don't need them anymore if you have Juggernaut. Respect them into other stuff, but you know, it does have its downsides. Armor level 83. Well, time for T100 push. What are you waiting for? Still, there's a like ground control, yeah, that works. I think the battle pass is like an entire season, even if I go softcore, I think I have it. Nice is and any rope but usable. You can use it. I wouldn't put it in into any like if I had a shako at least. But you can definitely like try to fit it in until you get a shako. I think if they actually give us an option to uh, like transform unused Uberniques into others. I don't really see many people actually using Adarials. But there may always be like some opportunities for an item like that to be pretty insane, so...
And there looks nice, only for Rogue. Yeah, I mean, Rogue definitely has the best synergy with it, because Rogue doesn't even run barriers on any build. So the lifesteal is good, attack speed is kind of nice on most Rogue builds. And the poison can also be scaled and, you know, gives you like debilitating toxins and these kind of things. So there's definitely some advantages for Andarials, for Rogue in particular. Also for Druid, I guess Druid also has some poison synergies with Envenom and Titan Malice. Like just wearing uh, Andarials on like a Polarized Druid, you get like easy uh, Envenom. It's kind of nice, I guess. Also, Shadow is trash even with plus six ranks. Yeah. What do you think about high tiers and hundred? Would that be good or bad? Uh, I mean, we had high tiers and hundred, and it was generally kind of bad. I mean, it was good. There was an actual like end game challenge, but you know the way it actually worked was not too pleasant, I guess. I think it would be fine to make higher tiers where. You know, it's a bit more like AOZ, where it's more about your damage done versus your damage taken. Like in AOZ, you know, you're mostly kept by DPS and not by survival. And, uh... Yeah, sure, you know, if they make something where they actually have a bit of like a challenge where stuff is like difficult, but... Not to the point where everything one-shots you. Like in the old T100 dungeons in Season 0. And stuff is very tanky, then... Yeah, I mean, they could do that. Question is, what are the rewards for it? I mean, right now, there are no more rewards you can give us, really. And they could implement new rewards, or they could just make it something like, okay, you know, if you go T100 or higher, you have a chance for Uber Unix. And that chance increases with the higher you go. Or something like that. Sure, right? So this, something like this would make sense. I always hope that Mythic Plus, uh, sorry, that um, the, the Nightmare Nation system would be something like Mythic Plus from WoW. Where, you know, you have like these affixes and maybe there's gonna be like a leaderboard for it and then, you know, there's like those 30 dungeons and, you know, every single dungeon, like, you know, the highest clear gives you like a ranking and then it has like some combined score or something like that, you know, this could be kind of cool. Especially if they make it like a, you know, near infinite system. And then you can, like, you know, you push that dungeon, and then at some point you're happy with the clear, you push the next one, and do the next one, and so on. I think Nightmare Dungeon definitely still has the potential to have some kind of a competitive mode like that. You could also make this something like a weekly challenge, right? Where you have those 30 dungeons, and in, in this week, you know, every dungeon has, like, a, a fixed set of affixes. On any tier that you do it, or like you know, like in that competitive mode, let's say there's like a special mode, not just the sigils. And then you go in and you do those dungeons. I think it could be pretty cool. I could make it even a bit more exciting, like instead of these like shadow resistance mods and all the stuff, you can't really do that because it will just like you know, hamstring some builds more than others. But you know they could they could make like two like a combination of two of those like environment mods, right? So there's like a lightning storm and a stormbane's wrath together, or something like that, or death pulse and a lightning storm together, or you know these kind of things. I just give them more HP. Yeah, I mean, that was like the minimal requirement, yeah. But if there's nothing going on and the enemies do nothing, it's also not really too exciting. 
I think the environmental affixes, and they could also make more environmental affixes, right? That's just an example, like, and these are the existing ones. They can come up with, like, another 10 affixes just for that mode or whatever. And since Nine Balances always have, like, the same, you know, or similar layouts and, you know, same boss, same monsters and all, there's, like, little RNG in between runs. We should make this, like, you know, a very good system for competitive, like, rankings. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm talking about not having these damage reduction affixes, you know, you can't, you obviously can't put something like monsters take less shadow damage in there because, well, it just, just fucks some builds and others that don't know them, right? So this is fine for like regular sigils, but it's not fine for like, you know, a competitive mode. So if there was like a competitive nightmare dungeon mode, this would have to have like some separate rules a little bit. So let's say there's, it's only two affixes. Which affixes is always fixed per week, per dungeon. And there's like, you know, an extra pool of affixes, you know, it's like only the environmental affixes. And no, like, you know, vulnerable resist, physical resist, etc. Can also just make it one affix, you know, just like remove all the like extra bonus damage and extra defense and stuff. That would also be okay. That's me, I'm describing the gauntlet. I don't think the gauntlet will have any affixes, and the gauntlet is also not very hard. The gauntlet is like pretty low-end content, you know, it's like speed farming content. Like what we're talking about is like a Nightmare Dungeon push content. It's like the opposite. And then he set like a certain timer depending on which dungeon. Like every dungeon has like a cer certain timer similar to Mythic Plus. And you have that time to beat it. You know, like Goa Ruins, I don't know, six minutes or whatever, or five minutes. Or I don't know. And then you have like Blind Burrows, like, you know, seven minutes or whatever, right? And you can set like a certain time. Something that is like, you know, that forces you to go at like a, a good enough pace. But, uh,. You know, not just like blast through and also not like fight everything forever. But you know, just the right pace basically. And like, you know, one problem is in the current game, like depending on how much they buff or nerf players, the pace of the game is changing a lot and well, mostly to become more rapid. And that actually takes away a lot of the gameplay and you know, also the viability of many builds. Like, this current meta is like so hyper fast right now that. Half the builds in the game can barely keep up because the mechanics just don't allow it. You know, like to ask a Bloodlands Necromancer. Bloodlands is a very powerful build, but it doesn't help you because, well, by the time that you Bloodlands everything, the barb is already three screens further with a charge, right? So it doesn't really matter how powerful you are. The same shit with like Firewall and, I don't know, Incinerate. It doesn't matter how strong these skills are, you know? So, if you give it like, the right pace for like, such a push mode, it would actually allow a lot more builds to thrive and have its place. Like, you need like a pace of combat where like elite fights are something like, you know, 3 to 10 seconds, I would say. That's like optimal for something like this, I think. Or 3 to 15, maybe. Where the hell is the chest? Yeah. Soon we'll be deleting screens. I mean, we are deleting screens already, man. That's the thing. And then, we're like, you know, inevitably, it's just like delete many builds from the game as like meta builds or um, viable meta build choices or something. I mean, yeah, I mean, these builds will still be fine and you can give them a lot of damage and, you know, they will be slower paced, but they're strong. Sure, but, you know, you can delete a screen or you can 
delete the screen with a uh, five second delay and then, well, you know what people are gonna choose. Basically the game has like become too easy and sped up too much so that a lot of builds kind of like lose their place. And you can't just buff them and fix it, like this. you can't just throw more numbers at some of these builds. And I think mean, it's totally fine that, you know, parts of the game are extremely fast, as they are right now. You know, it's fine that we are deleting screens and whispers and whatever. You know, there should be easy content like that, where it's just like, you know, blast through and you don't care. It's okay. But the thing is, we don't really have, like, the opposite. At all right now. Like, even T100s, you know, this is not, like, a challenge for anyone, really. If you have, like, an endgame build. be performing like a lot of pen shots. Yeah, similar pace of farming for sure. Maybe faster even. But it's not as powerful. I'm gonna notice it on the bosses and on the higher tiers. So. It's also not as safe, like pen rifle is very safe actually. Zero couldn't do a sigil 100 or summoner necro. Okay, I mean, they also changed like the nightmare dungeons and made them much easier and stuff, right? So, this alone basically, like the season season one change, it was season one, right? The season one nerf, the nightmare dungeons, yeah. That alone basically enabled like pretty much every build suddenly to just do T100s, even though you know some slower and faster, but yeah. I mean, it was generally a good change. In particular, because they made the monsters just not one-shot everyone right away. It was like very hard to even survive a single hit. You know, even with like all the defenses in the game, and that was a bit too much. But now we're kind of on the other extreme, where we just like we are just one-shotting everyone, even on like the highest tiers. And something like AOZ actually worked pretty well. It was like not too crazy hard to survive, and uh, outside of the Bloodseeker fights at the end that destroyed many people. But you know, regular dungeon bosses are much less risky than three Bloodseekers. And you know, everything else in there was actually kind of like a decent pace, right? You were, you were able to like make pulls, blast them down, get some progression, so kind of like this, you know, it felt the pace was pretty good, I think. This is uh, Twisting Blade's death trap right now. Thanks for all the fun for the prime. Ah, uh, it's gonna farm more cinders, I guess, on this. Wait, we, we also had uh, Whispers here, right? Okay, maybe I'm gonna go. If a build variance of like 500% different damage potential, it's impossible to make the game feel challenging. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, you can always nerf the good builds. And you can still have challenge that is not necessarily tied to the power of the build, you know? Like they're trying this a bit with like the environmental affixes and nightmare dungeons. And just like what the monsters do. And this kind of stuff, right? If there are certain, like, you know, monster effects that you have to dodge, or else they wreck you. Hmm. 
They said they aren't nerfing anything unless it's a bug. But they said they're not going to do this like mid-season. But of course, after the season, they're going to nerf stuff. So, they didn't say we're not nerfing anything. They will nerf things, you know. <laughs> they will nerf charge. 100%. It's not a bug. They will nerf it. That's just how it is. They were by 30%. Yeah, realistically, I think they just need to have the cooldown. I think like, giving the charge, like, some cooldown reset was not really such a bad move. But making a charge just completely reset every time we charge is... pretty bad idea, turns out. <laughs> I think what the video should do is they should, you know, make some, maybe some new unique or something that is, like, designed for charge that kind of gives you back, like, a similar playstyle to what we have now. Less OP. But, you know, kind of like remove charge as like the thing from like every other build. Right of knees because the stats are always shit. I uh, don't necessarily. They've done a relatively good job at putting good stats on Uniques at this point. And yeah, on the other hand, it also doesn't matter. You know? It doesn't matter if the stats on Unique are shit. What matters is the overall power level of a Unique. If that power level is higher than what it can otherwise have, then that Unique is good. You know? It doesn't matter if there's a shitty stat on it. Like, there's three potion slots on the Tibbot's Will. And Tibbot's Will is, like, literally the most used Unique in the entire game. You know? <laughs> so... Three potion slots, by the way. And you know what? I think that's cool. I think uniques should have these kind of stats that you would otherwise never take. Because now these stats, you know, they just give you like a nice little perk, you know? It's nice to have more potions, but you never take them on your own. You would never purposefully roll more potion slots on your, on your pants. But you are forced to have them when you have a table as well, and that's actually a cool thing. Because the item is strong anyway. You know, you can just tweak the rest of the stats to be really good anyway, if you want. But you give like an extra thing that you would otherwise not have, which makes the you know the item feel special in a way. And not that the potion stores are really impactful for anyone. But you get what I mean, you know? There's Gore's devastating grasp and it has attack speed and everyone is moaning, ah, oh, Vorbin doesn't scale with attack speed. Yeah, but if the item is still good and it's still the meta of choice, you're gonna run the item and you're gonna have extra attack speed. And if you have extra attack speed, it means you can do your generator faster, you can do your leap faster, and all that bullshit, and, well, it just makes the build feel better. So, what's the issue? You want to remove the attack speed now? Make the build feel more shit? Why? <laughs> you know? And there's also like similar stuff, right? There's like, for example, the Charge Bolt stuff, the stuff of Lam Eason. Which is a pretty bad unique, they slightly buffed it. And I just gave them the feedback, what the fuck? Pretty much. And... Well, it has like, you know, restore resources on it, for example. And that's a really cool mod, you know, that they have on a weapon there. And he would never really, like, he can't even get resource on, on like, you know, uh, weapon, you know, Ramalantni also has that. And it kind of feels cool, because sometimes it's just procs and you have, like, more resources, and it feels nice, you know? Even though you would not really prefer to have this on a weapon, right? You would prefer to have, I don't know what, like, vulnerable damage, close damage, stats, whatever. If you could choose, right? Like, the meta choices are different. But that's a really cool thing about Uniques, because you can't change their stats. You are forced to take them as they are, with their stats they have. Like, if you, if you equip a and Dyrus' Ash, you're gonna have 60 poison res if you like it or not. Or Tempest Roar also has some res. 
But Tandaris has more, I think. Tandaris has 90 res even, I think, right? It has more, I think. So you will never ever have to worry about poison res. You know, even against the resistance breakers. And that's a cool thing, you know, it's just like a nice, nice perk. It's also flavor. You know, you want to know why Banish didn't proc or that? Sizzle. Oh, you kept your Banish or Talisman stacks? But he still did a 500 million. And he got the old power. But he kept your stacks. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen that before. Weird. Yeah, that's the title of the video. <laughs> no clue. You like the movement speed on Mad Wolf's Glee, eh? Yeah, I mean, movement speed is actually one of the best stats in the game, right? Having movement speed on a chest is like absolute DGG. And yeah, it's also like one of those things, you know, it makes Mad Wolf's Glee unique, literally, right? This is like what makes it cool. That you have fucking movement speed on your chest. It's nice. And it's actually like a, you know, one of those cases where it's like a stat that you really want on an item where you usually don't get it. But we are talking about like potion slots on Timbot's Will. And my argument is it's nice to have this as well. As long as the item is, you know, budgeted in a way to be useful, which it clearly is or Tibble as well, because almost every build wants it. It's fine. You can have a shitty stat on it, why not? Got ten damage here of one chest, you got lucky. Yeah, that can happen once sometimes. Plan on trying Nazi Puck. A lot. Don't see how it's healthy or fun to have more than five Phoenix on a build while the Uber's dropping. Yeah. I agree, they made some of the uniques too good, I think. With like two little alternatives from normal items. But with the itemization changes, that might, that might actually you know, be different. So maybe Uber uniques will remain like some of the you know, most powerful, kind of like sought after items, but not like necessarily for like every single build, you know. Maybe there will be like some new helm mods that you can roll that are like so powerful and like, you know, that's so transformative for certain builds that you really want to get them. And you just can't get a Shaco instead, or something like that. I mean, you know, it's possible. They make, like, cool enough new stuff that you can do with your items, and especially like, raise the high end of rare items. You know? Right now it's, like, very easy to get, like, really good rare items. But in the new system, I don't think that will be the case anymore. And it's going to be, like, very, very difficult to actually, like, you know, hit the, the top mark, basically. And then, you know, if you actually have, like, extremely rare, you know, crafts and, like, you know, finds that actually compete with uh, Uber Nix, not necessarily for every build, but, you know, for most builds, I think that would be really good. That's cam. That's crazy. Yeah, Tascam is really good.
Can we get in those homages in? How many souls do we have? 460. Looking pretty good, actually. Part of the problem is that he's getting something unique and getting base of good rules. Yes, but that's what, that's what I mean, you know? Like, I think ultimately they make, like, you know, the uniques good when you find them, but, you know, the the higher end of crafted items, like, at least even or better. You know, depending on the build, you know? I mean, of course, there's, like, some build transforming uniques that are pretty important. Let's say, like, Gloss of the Illuminator, right? It's hard to imagine a rare item that could compete with Gloss of the Illuminator for a fireball build. But if you're talking about, like, say, Condonation, Ashira's Kanjar, you know, Sky Hunter, like, these kind of, like, generic, just kind of, like, good items or whatever, they don't really do anything super special. Yeah, I can definitely imagine, like, rare items becoming better than those, you know? Did I see the rogue who hit for half a bill? Uh, ah, that rogue that starts with an M? I mean, the, the, the rogue who just uh, joined Maxwell like five days ago? I've seen him. Leaderboards are out after the event. That'll be the worst possible timing in the history of timings. Unless we're talking about an unspecified time, any point after the event, then I would say, okay, yeah, probably sometime after the event. Far in the future. Have an idea of my endgame drill builds. Well, it's time to farm beast in the ice soon. I should probably do it with another 89. We could still get a bit of XP there. And I have decent boss damage, I think. So, why not? And then we're gonna... I have the Tempest War already, so I can just do like the full Lightning Storm combo if I want. I really like this time slide build, man. It's fun. Yeah, maybe did like a half billion with pen shot. Not rapid fire. And you take this uh, boss one shot meme build to the absolute max, it gets pretty wild.
I mean, my level, what is it, level 92 rogue or something, already did like 100 mil plus with rapid fire. And Penshot is like, I don't know, half of that maybe or so in damage. And yeah, and then he just needs another times 10 combined modifier. Which you can get for sure over my rogue. <laughs> oh, rogue one shot at home. <laughs> Oof. Where's our corpse? It's worth the little rogue to try to build a current char character, Lanny Storm Druid. Uh, Lanny Storm Druid wants Tempest Roar. There's no room for any other helm. And Andarius is not really like powerful enough to enable a rogue for, in my opinion. But it's not a bad item, you can definitely use it on rogues. A yeah, clip of the 500 billion. I've seen a screenshot. I don't know if there's a clip. Maybe he released it because someone asked in chat, so maybe there's a clip. I can't find his corpse, man. What the hell? I think we'll be able to use many of the same uniques to turn in for one you don't have. Yeah, it might be something like a 2 to 1 trade you can do or something, I imagine. Maybe they're gonna make like a vendor and I don't know. Maybe they're gonna introduce like some new salvage material you get from Uber Uniques. Maybe even any unique and a lot. You get like, you know, a lot from salvaging Uber Unique and like very little from salvaging a normal unique. And this allows you to get like some special, you know, unique vendor currency or whatever. Something like that, I think. Where the hell is the thing? What? Can't find it. We came from the top here, no? It's fuck. Look, everything's dead here. What am I doing with my life? I'm just going to this event here. Yeah, I've seen that screenshot. Pretty good. 500 mil pen shots. Did you use pot? It doesn't have a pot on the bar. It's even without a potion, that's kind of crazy. I guess he is buffed by Warcry. I wonder what other party boss they are that they could potentially have. So I think this is in our calm there. Ready? Yeah. Good.
Ah, we opened it already, right? Let's go to the other one. It's like, yeah. Oh. There's no barb in our group. Isn't that a barb? What is that? Dude, why can't they just make like an, a class icon or something? Dude, I have I have no idea actually what these guys are. Looking at these portraits, like how are you gonna how are you gonna identify them? There's no class icon. Sexy is a rogue. So there's a rogue. Okay, I see here is a dark shroud. Okay, so there's a rogue, another rogue. I don't know what this is. Okay, so no barb actually. So he's not buffed. Nice. Yeah, pretty nasty man. Five hundred mil. Necro. Ah, what? Here's the corpse. Should we do like one more chest on the barb? Also, we have 40 minutes for this. I think it's on the top of the picture. What? There's no icon here. I was looking here. Like, where are you looking? This is the party leader. Better pick auto or arsenal selection for all skills, for barbells. You generally always want to select arsenal selection. Because weapon swapping is sometimes important. Like early game is important, for example, to get extra fury. For creator's barb is important because, you know, you need to get all the walking arsenal stuff. And for like double swing, you just put everything to like one hand, for example, at some point. When you don't have this weapon swap stuff anymore. And the, the one handers are faster and stronger. A lot built. Yeah, I don't understand why it's not a class icon. Or like a color at least, you know, make this like a colored or something. Like, I have no idea what these guys are. If you look at this here, like, can you tell this? If you look at this, okay, I mean, this one is obvious here. This is a rogue. And I guess this is also a rogue. But here, could be anything, man. And this one, this looks more like a sword than anything to me. So, what the fuck, man. Yeah, it's not a sword, it's also a rogue. <laughs> like, you baited, man. Where's the chest? You're completely on your wrong side here. I am playing an E when it comes out. Ah, here. Yeah. Let's see how long it takes, actually. Oh, where's it going? Very great. Resources. Mm. 
We're not gonna leave him. Don't really have time for this right now. Let's open this. First Uber was uh grandfather, second was the Doombringer. Cold Uber for Rabbit Fire is better now with the passes. Uh what passes exactly? I mean Cold Uber is not bad for Rapid Fire for sure. For high higher tier stuff, it gives you lots of burst damage. Against the elites and stuff. Bridget. I mean, Bridget was always there, not, not, really, not really changed. But yeah, Bridget is nice. And you can do like um, Icy Alchemist now. Icy Alchemist made Bridget in general a bit better now. Because uh, Shadow and Human is really important for some builds. Including Rapid Fire. Maxwell build for this? Uh, no, but I think it's probably pretty close. Okay, we have to kind of hurry here. Eight minutes until all this stuff is uh, done. Dude, what the fuck? One little bee. A robot bee, actually. I'm better keeping Shadow for Pen Rapid Fire Rogue or go Poison for late game. Uh, with Precision builds, I was just like generally not go Poison, I gotta say. Like, Precision makes your hit damage so powerful that Poison doesn't really catch up. I think it's just not going to be a thing for now to run poison and precision together. That looks warm. I can fix it. Ring of Stardust, guys, on double swing barb. Hell yeah. Snake constructs. Actually, still missing a bunch. So, let me show it quick.
Maybe no overshells, actually. This is me luck. It's not true to play Dying Storm without Tempest Raw. You can definitely do it until later when you get it. Especially if you get the gloves. And you can get the gloves much earlier than Tempest Raw. The gloves are the bigger item, I think, than Tempest Raw. New long screen looks kind of cool. Seeing the full character. New plays Unrelenting Fury or Zerg Fury for Starless. Uh, either way it works, to be honest. I haven't even been running Berserk Fury because I just never found it until very recently. I just didn't even put it in the build. It's kind of optional. Unrelenting is probably better than Berserk when I think about it. But both are fine. It's gonna be tight. We have like two and a half minutes or something. When we lock on the rogue, we have like maybe one and a half. Can like rush to do the herald. Let's see if I can do it. Right, good luck, block one. It is done. Okay, two minutes. Nah. I don't think I can after this. I have to go for the loading screen, finish this, go to the harvest. It's too much. Come back on the barb. Oh, level 13. Oh, shit. Oh, we've done them. Wait, what? Okay. Hold on, I guess. Apparently, we've done it. This guy uses Max, or what do you mean, Nick?
Ah, they're actually on a 1 hour 15 rotation, not a 1 hour 30. Interesting. So basically they're always up in like one of the zones, maybe, okay. Should we do it? All of angles just the open world ones. Let's just do open world ones. I was so insane, yes. That was a bit nutty this season. Again. <laughs> Look at the gold popping out. <laughs> There's only two caches, man. Imagine I do the thing that I did the other day. With like 30 caches at once. And these huge gold piles. Looks very goofy. Not crazy to change the gold animation. Yes, they did. Vault of Ink, monster level 100. It's kind of cool. How do you guys like that it displays the monster level now? Is that the expansion of the Pulse Gun this year? Oh, it will be like one and a half years after launch. You know, I mean, it's like 10 months away or something, I guess. Which is longer than we had time since launch. So, yeah, I guess it's just like you know, so much is happening in this game, right? Like, there's like these big updates every three months and stuff. And it's like, okay, there's... It's kind of like still like this initial period where we're like all like learning the game and exploring and everything. And then there's gonna be an expansion, yeah. It's kind of interesting how fast things are moving, basically, right? Especially when you're used to Diablo 3. <laughs>
Rats, man. What the fuck? Is my lighting not capped? It is. My poison creeper just poisoned this wasp there for 39 damage per tick. And the 90. Okay. How much does this do? How does it do 39? This thing has this 2800 over 6 seconds. What the fuck? I have half as our hell tide. Gonna go on the rogue, it's gonna be nice. Gonna marry. Do you have much anticipation for the gauntlet? Oh, I'm definitely excited. You know, I'm like grinding. I'm trying to try to have like multiple builds ready just in case. Oh, hello. Let's see what I can do against Butcher. I mean, I think Gauntlet will be fun, at least for a while, probably. What is that? They got me or something. I'm gonna go out there. I think he stunned me, and I didn't have my stuff ready. I spent my Earth and Bulwark at the moment. What are the affixes on this? Bleeding... Backstabber? Okay, I guess he got me a backstabber. This is why he bursted me down so hard. So it's a bit unexpected. Okay, this is gonna rock. Go to the hell tide. Yeah, he stunned me and he hit me. Okay, he, yeah, I think he charged me from, from behind. So I got the backstabber thing, he made me vulnerable and extra damage. And he stunned me. Okay, so this. What do you got here? Out of ink. We do this one vault, then the robot whispers, and then we go hell tight. And I think then it's time to actually start converting mats. I need to do a lot of Greek rars and stuff today, so I have them ready for tomorrow. I have to bring at least 15 durials tomorrow. I have to kill a bunch of Ashans and stuff. Actually on the right, right side. Didn't see this thing. 
Very millions of your life for one Doriel try. Yeah. I mean, if you're really fast, let's say it's like 15 minutes for the Grigoire side. And it's definitely faster for the hearts. Like, and he's also a butcher, man. What the fuck? What's up with all these butchers? Okay, this time we don't have a nasty monster. Oh, actually killing him pretty nicely. Snake is stunning me. Do we have breaking on this thing? Yes, okay. Okay, break is not doing shit, man. <laughs> I'm just eating through the barrier myself. That's okay. If that was like 20 tiers higher, I would be happy. What are we getting now? This is the uh, Death Trap build I'm playing right now, but not exactly from the guide. I'm playing a no common points version. Cursed chests, but I don't think I care enough. With no generator feels so weird. Uh, it's so used and conditioned, right? It used to like the common points, I mean. But it's, it's like the original build, man. What I played. Inner, I played with Inner Side back then. Out of preparation. Great, that job is cool. My favorite skill, I think. Can okay, I see those suppressor dudes? Yeah, seems like it's not too bad anymore. Gotta say, when you have like <laughs> 20 elites, when you constantly reset your transhumant, you have like this uh, plus 10 auras. Kinda cool. Actually, makes the tanks against all these like explosions. My inventory is full before I even open the chest. Holy. Yikes. Okay. Um. Did I find a bomb unix for Duriel or luck? Duriel. 
I think I did find a random task helm at this point, but yeah, I've been doing a lot of the reels, so. Okay, so I'm smiting. Oh, I, did, I still didn't have, I haven't tried the smiting. Okay, before we do the tide, I want to try the smiting. I want to see how fast I stack up bosses now, because I have this 40% crowd control duration. It's mostly just for staggering bosses and a bit of extra crit against injured, but that doesn't matter all that much. Thanks for the sub. Ral Dadar. Wait, where's my loot? What if I go out of town and the portal closes? Two thousand eight hundred plat for the win. <laughs> nice. Thanks again, Ral Dadar and RXR. these things. Okay. Thanks, Gorse, but no. Two hearts. It's crazy when these guys just drop two hearts like that. Oh shit, against bosses, I still have poison better. Yeah, poison is definitely like still the the build to play if you want to do like high DPS against bosses and stuff. But you know, here first of all, Vault doesn't have bosses, so this is gonna be fine even until later. I think you know, as long as I figure out like my defense a little bit, I can easily also like farm 80s, 90s with this at some point. Maybe at least with a Shaco, I think. Shaco is actually relatively powerful in Star Skies as well. If I have both of these items, this build is actually gonna pop off real hard. Is this viable to play without pit bolts? No. We need pit bolts for this. Oh, five stuff gifts on Pilmite. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Okay, Marina's Refuge. I gotta try this one. It's so a 62 Marina's, so we have a C hack there, which is a pretty tanky boss. Let's see. I wanna see the stagger and then see how fast he dies. Oh, so many smitings. It's a really high roll frost burn in case I want it. Shadow support. Uh, 11 hour stream. Yeah. I'm doing like around 12 hours a day right now. It's time to stop soon. I think I'm gonna. Uh, maybe I'll skip the hell tide right now, actually. Let's have a zone. I think I'm gonna do the two chests in hell tide. And then we're gonna start converting some mats in on the bosses. So you're gonna stop in like an hour or so, maybe. You there. Okay, how much armor do I have? 8.7k with 3 stacks of armor breaker. 
Yeah, one big downside is when you don't have like any armor percent, no disobedience, and just rely on Juggernaut, man. Like armor breaker just destroys you actually. <laughs> Look, I have seven thousand armor with with the armor breaker. That's horrible. Because it's all uh, it's stacked additively and like you know percent armor and disobedience and armor breaker they all stack additively. So if you have disobedience in your build, for example, then armor breaker doesn't really do much. It just reduces the bonus a bit. But I don't have any bonus. I just get like minus thirty. Kapow. Yeah. Holy. No, no, no. What are these items? 900-ish. Okay. We should have pretty high loot already here. Outside of weapons, it's actually fine. So the difference between total armor set and the armor from Juggernaut. Yes, I mean, the total armor does this percent. It takes all of your armor and multiplies it. And the Juggernaut is just flat armor, so that goes actually before the multiplication. Like, this adds to your, you know, equipment armor, and then it gets all multiplied. High item power Juggernaut gets so much armor. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. Like, you rely on Juggernaut so much, they don't stack any other armor sources. And then you have an armor breaker map, and you get minus 35% armor, and they fucking wreck you. Like, let's say you are barely capped. Yeah, I have like, let's say I do like tier 80 or whatever, I need like 12k armor. Let's say I have 12k armor. It's exactly what I need. And then I get armor breaker, I get minus 35%. I have 8k armor. These guys are gonna do like triple damage to you. Or, or something like that, at least. You're gonna have basically no armor. And if you had like 1% armor roll on your gear somewhere, it will basically mitigate the entire downside of armor breaker. So technically you could have like you know, a second chest piece or something lying around in your sash that has an armor roll. And just equip it. And then you can like negate the downside of armor breaker and just run that. So that's like, you know, the, the strat if you want to do that. And otherwise you just run if you are like max life rolled or something. Like almost 100 actually. Yeah, are we stacking her enough? Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, the stagger is really good actually. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Stagger is actually pretty insane. But not that much faster, I think, with smiting. I guess it's not really that much worth it, but it helps. It also kind of kicks in, like the smiting with the extra Christians, it kind of kicks in at the end when they staggered and it's just like melt. It's just died from like 30%. These are slow, attack speed, flurry. Pure flurry. Anyway, start up last thing. Thanks for watching. You salvaged all armor and resistance breakers and backstabbers. Yeah, I just walked in there with my druids. <laughs> like, I saw the butcher. It was a, I don't know, bleeding and backstabber map. It charges me. Pow, man, holy. That was kind of scary. What am I gonna do with all these points, man? I want something. I want something better than what I got here. There's all the shadow damage here. 
This can also be increased there. There. There's only like five nodes, yeah. I was also missing this one. And this one. I wonder if I want to go to the left side here. It's 250 flat armor. What is this closer? This can also have robot legs there. There. There's also one. It's actually a lot of decks here, it's all kind of stacked. I guess that's where you put the last point right now. Anyway. Let's finish this little rogue here. Hello, Prial. Best rogue build now. Uh, Pen RF, I would say. Alpha is disabled right now, yeah, there's a bug. I try to trap with pen. Uh, I have the rapid fire death trap planner in in Discord, and this is what I use as a base to make the pen death trap. And I still have like the same paragon board and most of the same stuff, and I'm doing this now with death with death tracing blades as well. So it is it gives you an idea, but I didn't like make the rest of the planner yet. I'm gonna work on that tomorrow, I guess, when we're back here. Fresh. Hmm. We don't stack him, unfortunately. How much faster he dies if I do this? Kind of test the body one end, right? So firefly, one, two, three. Go, little guy. Uh, I didn't do the... I, I, I will farm the gloss on the druid tomorrow, I guess. From Beast in the Ice, and then we're gonna probably do a respec at some point. Let's see how Beast in the Ice will go. <laughs> I'm not low from iTunes. Thanks, it's chill music. I got you, like it, man. Yeah, they make pretty awesome stuff. Oh, 
Bist du was bewappt? Ja, okay. Nice, hast du das? Yeah, I might uh, play Lightning Storm, either like a full character or we go like just respec with a full build. I mean, you can, you can do both, I guess. You can do like an early game Lightning Storm until like, I don't know, Torment. And then respec to whatever other build I want to do on a second druid. And go with that. And then we're gonna have Lightning Storm, we're gonna have Travel Slide, and we're gonna have whatever third build. I definitely want to do much on druid this season. It's like the class I've explored at least so far on the higher end. Any app that helps in game besides mobile addicts. I mean, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff, but nothing of it is allowed as, as far as I know, so. Nice, that was too easy, more of a challenge. Ah, can go more YOLO, more squishy, bigger boss damage. Boss damage seems to be like a common problem with that build, so I want to see if I can fix it. Yeah, the fact that you can just like go to a suppressor do like one twisting blades on them and turn off the bubble with the days, it's actually insane man. It's so good. Ah here we go. Hundred boys. Second time on the rock. Again. Let's go with that. This border drew is still a thing. It has become a lot more of a thing a few hours ago. Off to the left. <laughs> yeah, not of this build. <laughs> I mean, I will do a little at some point. I think she's part of the season journey anyway. So we have to do it at some point, but I'm not really in a rush anyway. I was just like messing around last time, just so having some fun with uh, the one shot build. Good night, Tiger. I did enjoy it.
Any points of work with this build? Yeah, I mean, if you have like even more resource recovery and stuff, you could try, but I think they're not that much worth it, and they will definitely make you struggle on boss a bit more as well. It's gonna have less resources. Well, maybe not. I mean, if like double resource and a shako and a resource reduction roll, I think it would be fine with the boots. But then you have resource, uh, you have rest as issues because they have only one item that can have rest. So you have like a triple or quadruple rest chest. You're gonna have kind of low defense. Because they only have a shako and you have 20 clothes from the tibbles. That's actually, uh, actually, the boots also have some defense. Maybe it's okay. We definitely try the boots. I've, I've been doing it with the rapid fire. And here, yeah, it would be like a nice damage upgrade as well. And you also get extra resources back from using combo, from using a, a cooldown, right? After using the boots. So every time you shadow step, you get a bunch of extra resource. And you press the of stuff. So it could work. Tamers and resource support scales of resource gen. Yes. But I also want to try to not make this rely on, on the pet. Sky and Dark Crossbow Bissel Pen Earth. Uh, Sky and Dark, yeah, it's very good. You can also run Crossbow if you want. It's so kind of a side grade, I would say. Alright, I think enough for now. House is looking. How many gears do we have to kill? 15, 20. I have 200 living steel. Do I have more actually? I have way more actually. So much shit. There's more living still. Uh, it's time to kill some Grigars. Okay. I'm going to get a drink to OPB. Hello. Hmm. 
imagine Boulder being more of a thing than early on. Yeah, because they just nerfed suppressors, and Boulder is definitely the build that suffered the most from suppressors. And Boulder is not a bad build, actually. It has decent damage, decent AoE and everything, from what I've seen. I haven't played it yet. But maybe I'm gonna try to get the neck, actually. Yeah, actually, I realized we only have like one Druid kill on a Druid, and boom, <laughs> and then left. But I want the Dolman Stone maybe as well, and try to do it at Boulder build. Uh, let's just do 20 Grigars, I guess. <clears throat> Fun. Faulty buttons, thanks, my friend. Mount is uh, Biscon. One shot rogue. What was that about, Asterix? Also, I'm really fast leveling and hold on other bot builds. Yeah. I am both the fastest in the world and the second fastest in the world, so we're a double swing. Of the solo levelers, at least those that I know. So, yeah, it's pretty good. How do I, how do I have a billion gold? I have found many whispers, that's how. I mean, every time you turn this thing in, it's like, I don't know, 5 to 10 million gold. If you turn this in like 100 times, it's like 750. Yeah. Sounds about right. The actual double swing itself is underwhelming. Well, uh, it feels not underwhelming anymore when it one taps everything, including elites, and kills bosses in like five seconds. And you use it properly. You have steel grasp, and you can also like you know you can like walk and attack. Like you can walk up to a target and swing at it already. And you can like you know you slash through half the pack, and you walk to the next target while you slash on cooldown. You slash again, and in like two or three swings, the entire pack is dead. And the rest is the charge and the steel grasp. I play a lot, yeah. I, I would say I play a lot. I have four characters at almost 100 now, so... <laughs> and found, like, over 100 duels and stuff already. Yeah, double swing in the early game to 50 is not that crazy, that's true. So it might not feel that great on the early game. One thing you can do is get a ground stomp in there. It allows you to just get a lot more resources. Instead of leap, for example, or uh, something. Just ground stomp and then you walk up to an elite, ground stomp and swing, swing at them like five times and you have like infinite resources. It's kind of nice. And yeah, Pendulum starts popping off really early already. Especially with the high density and like the uh, seasonal quest line areas and stuff. Oh, 0 0.4, but it's kind of low. Well, 
I think new Uber stuff that I talked about will be. Yeah, I think they're gonna allow you to like, I don't know, maybe trade in some of your Uber Nicks or salvage them for like a new material that you can use to make other Ubers or something like that, perhaps. Nah, unfortunate man. High fury, high rolls. And then it's like an 860. Fusing to increase the stats of other Ubers. Yeah, I think Ubers definitely need to have higher stats than they already do. Yes. That sounds like a great plan. Yeah, so far I've not seen any like changes to any nightmare dungeons. I've, I've been running a few. I'm not sure what they changed. Maybe they just changed some that were not actually nightmare dungeons. Yeah, I think they're gonna give us like something to like, you know, do with our leftover Ubers. Because right now this is like pointless. So yeah, as I said, you know, maybe if you find like three of the same, you can turn it in for anyone you like or whatever. Or you know, maybe they do it a bit like the three where you establish a primal into like a special material and you can use a special material, you know, and then make a another Uber or something. Maybe they're gonna give the blacksmith some option to craft it or whatever. I mean, some kind of like fusing of items could be interesting though, in general. Not for the Ubers to make them more powerful, but in, in general, you know, a bit like a sentinel crafting or some shit. That could be a pretty interesting. This guy's never gonna drop a high level sword, huh? 884, man. I don't think I've seen a 900. I don't remember it recently, at least. Yeah, I think I'll just make it like Primal Dust, like an E3. It's a kind of like a boring system. And it's also kind of bad news because it means that they probably don't have any plans for improving the Uber grind very much in the following seasons. So I was hoping you're gonna get like another Uber boss, or like gonna keep Malphas around, put like three of the Uber uniques on Malphas, put like three on Duriel, maybe it's gonna make another Uber boss, and they're gonna put like two on each, and then you can like target them a little bit and stuff. You know, that would be way cooler. No strength or power is looking. That's huge, actually, for Hoda. You don't need a dummy Uber. Yeah, it would be cool if they also made like some actual like more endgame challenge bosses, right? It's a huge stats they can, look at that. Sword.
I don't think they have to add like five new Uber items immediately. It's okay, you know, maybe they're gonna add like one or something every season and stuff. That'll be fine. I think they need to like spread out the loot table a little bit. Like, you know, Duro just throws too many of them. That's why I get duplicates and then everything sucks. And that's why they have to do, like, do this thing now. But what they're doing now, or what they might do now, whatever exactly it is, it's probably unnecessary if they just had like, you know, different bosses dropping different Ubers, you know? Like imagine at some point you're gonna have so many different bosses. Let's say we have like you know five Duriel like bosses or Indulf like bosses or something. And you just put like one item on each of them and you can like target the one you want. Easy. And you give them like a two percent drop rate and or whatever, one percent. I carry the may the light keep you. No double drops so far. Put Chuck on Uber, let people will cry. Yeah, I mean, you can also change the little fight to be, like, you know, more acceptable, I guess. Rudolph has 200 million HP, she's been power creeped to hell. And not just that, I mean, she used to have a lot more HP. Like, before season 2, like, she had like, I think 200 or something. She had like t t t t times 10 or times 8 of what she has now. Yeah, for sure, defenses, baby. I agree with that. I'm not sure why they're putting, like, you know, they're not putting like, some of the old content into existing Nami Dungeons, for example. I have a favorite sock build. Frozen Arp. Age 50. <laughs> Did I get a two unique stance? The aim point of farming Malthus? Nope. Ninety one double swing buff should be able to do Duriel? Yeah, you can do Duriel at ninety one. If you have like nine K armor, a bit of healing, take your pet for healing for example and stuff. Yeah, it should be fine. Also here, make sure you have a migrating fury. So the poison takes or the hit that applies poison and makes it explode. Uh it's complicated. But it's the poison imbue that has a lucky hit chance that procs it. And also bursting venoms on a rogue, for example, if you use it on rogue. Bursting venom pools for some reason have a lucky hit chance and proc back spells.
Okay, let me see nothing disgusting. I missed that earlier. Use shadow stuff. Can I ask why not dash? Um, well, it depends. If you don't have Tibbot's will, you can do dash. But once you have Tibbot's will, you want to have dash. Maybe you want to have shadow steps. The unstoppable. It's also for Ghost Walker. I think there's Ghost Walker in the build, and you don't really block that all the time if you don't shadow step. Absolutely, let's walk, yeah. Twelve hours live, question marks, question mark, no need sleep, question mark, question mark. Uh, where I come from, we don't do siesta in the middle of the day. So, nope. The chance to go to the siesta, better quality of life. Yeah, I mean, not about that quality of life though. In Germany, it's fine. I have blasting to do. Do you want that? I guess for rent you would like swords and for overpower builds you want maces, right? So X just doesn't really have a spot. There's a stat stick. <laughs> That's unlucky. How old are you? And axe fits in all palm builds. And I usually want maces, but this is I'm talking about the one handed here, this is the one handed. It has really good stats. So this would be something for rend, but for rend, if you, at least if you go gushing moons, you want you want uh, swords. I'm not bashing Nations to do siestas. I was just doing a joke, man. Like, someone on YouTube chat said, 12 hours live, no need sleep. And I was just like, yeah, 12 hours, you know. The day has 24 hours. Like, how long do you sleep? <laughs> like, Nine eighteen man. And it's zero point three. Has good stats too, but it's zero point three. Do we do more? I use the more now with the barb. Twelve hours doing something I presumably enjoy. Imagine I'm doing <laughs> something I'm presumably enjoy. Oh, what?
<laughs> I can't believe this guy, man. He thinks I'm enjoying this. He thinks I'm having fun and leveling my characters and trying builds and talking to chat all day. Unbelievable, man. What do I have you for? I'm gonna save that axe just in case. Gets the Mora. It is here. My god, you have so much living still. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, man. Only keeping uber dupes. Are you gonna get all duplicates just in case? Yeah, of course, you're gonna keep duplicates of the important items. <laughs> 